Mexico for Monday, March 25th, live Facebook record sale. When you're on and watching, be sure to let us know. Matt Ketron is the first commentor. Welcome, Matt. Let's go ahead and start getting this thing shared and rolling and going. Welcome, everybody. I'm going to start getting it shared and rolling and going myself. All right. Let's hit the thumbs up, everybody. Get this thing shared. I'm going to hit share myself and copy link. And I'm going to click here. And let's see here. Let's get share, copy link. Now let's hit share group. Let's get it shared there. Get it shared there. And um, get it shared there. All right. So let's go over the group and see where I've posted it. I'm going to mumble among myself for a couple of seconds. If I actually shared that hot picture, okay, that's all right. We'll share it over here then. All right, that's share. Let's go over to here. Make sure everybody hits the uh, like button on the video ASAP. That would really help me out, and it'll help you out. That would be the best thing. All right, let's hit the like button there. Let's go copy, share link. Let's get this over here on our story. Instagram. Boom. Story. Let's go over here. Let's do it right here. Live now, exclamation point. Let me click on this a few times. Your story, and let's go chat. All right, we are officially live, as in right now. Actually, we've been live, but I can officially see comments as of right now. So Let's go ahead and uh, start showing some records. I'm going to go through this crate that's a uh, new, new LP right here. Uh, we're going to see what's in here. I'm going to go through this. We'll call it a warm-up bin. And Tanner's sticker in some new, new vinyl right now, which uh, we got three crates of new, new vinyl to show. And then I've got a couple crates of new vintage arrivals. Today's been like a cleanup day at the store slash... Uh, What's that, Tanner? Yeah, today's been a cleaning plus processing day at the store. Uh, we just got probably more an influx of new arrivals of uh, records than we've ever had before. Uh, literally a truck and a trailer and a U-Haul. So we've been playing like a processing sorting day today. We do have some new stuff, but uh, one thing Tanner asked me right before I went live, he said, well, when are you going to tell them when the new stuff's officially going to be shown? I was like, well, we have some of it tonight, but we plan on getting a big bulk, brand new batch of massive new arrivals out by um, hopefully tomorrow. We do have some new stuff tonight, but man, we've been trying to organize the store. We have records literally stored and stashed everywhere. So we've had everybody here really just playing cleanup and... Uh, that's what we've been doing. But I'm going to go ahead and grab some of these first auctions, which is Masters of Metal and Great White. And we're going to get the show rolling with an incredible batch of new arrivals here. First thing I have is Great White, Twice Shy. This is Great White, Twice Shy. What a way to start an auction with an album like this. It is a U.S. OG copy of Great White, Twice Shy. It has the original on her sleeve. This is going to be going up for a $25 start. The vinyl is about... EX, it just has some light sleeve scuffing, it looks like. Purple capo label, that's going up for bid for a $25 start. Great white, twice shy. Great white's catalog is not in print, not really 
uh, being reissued. So it's just the originals there. And then we have Masters of Metal, another great way to start a night. This is actually a K-Tail compilation. This is actually a K-Tail compilation, Masters of Metal. The vinyl is extremely nice, about a VG Plus jacket, but as you can see, extremely nice vinyl. How about a $1 start on Masters of Metal? MM, Masters of Metal. Both of those will be getting lots of activity. If you haven't already, please hit the like button on Facebook and YouTube. I'm going to start showing some new vinyl, then I'm going to show you some new new vinyl. Then we're going to go through the other uh, then we're going to go through the other bins we have ready for tonight. Then some discount stuff as we prepare for these new arrivals we just got in. First, we have NWA straight out of Compton. We auctioned a copy of that last uh, Saturday night. There's a new and sealed one, $36.99 for straight out of Compton. King's X is a limited numbered gold vinyl pressing from Music on Vinyl, limited to $1,500 on gold vinyl. That is $39.99. That's King's X, Gretchen Ghost in Nebraska. Dirty Dancing is new and sealed, $29.99. Dirty Dancing is new and sealed, $29.99. That is the soundtrack to the Dirty Dancing film. And then Stevie Ray Vaughan is also for music on vinyl, which is numbered, blue vinyl, limited numbered, and colored vinyl. So Stevie Ray Vaughan is number 209, and it's on blue vinyl, and it's $34.99. That's our first few records there. First, let's update our auctions. I put up a Great White, and I put up a Masters of Metal. Great White has bids for $35, $25, $35, $30, $35, $25, and then I put up Masters of Metal, M-O-M, or MM, and that has bids for 20. Great White got another bid for 40, then 45. Masters of Metal got bids for 10, 15, 20. Great White got another bid, but we still were at 45. Masters of Metal, 22. Masters of Metal, 25. And we have Alice Coltrane at Carnegie Hall. That's $54.99. That's a new release from Impulse. Alice Coltrane at Carnegie Hall. That is $54.99. That's a 2LP new and sealed. So just for a recap, Great White's high bid, Josh James is at $45. He was the first one to bid $45. And Nick Bargeron just bid $27 on Masters of Metal. So that's where we're at. Fritz the Cat is $33.99. That's the soundtrack to the Fritz the Cat movie. And we have Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. $34.99. Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. I only have one copy of that available, and it's $34.99. Also a gatefold. Pussifer C is four. That's on gold vinyl. Pussifer is $29.99. And we also have Pixies Bossa Nova. The Pixies is $29.99. Scott Oman wants the Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. Scott Oman got that. Thank you. And Scott, you're officially the first sale of the night. And the first sale of the week. That's so to Scott O'Man. We have NWA's Greatest Hits. That's a 2LP, $39.99 for NWA's Greatest Hits, 2LP, and Creed Human Clay. Creed is $39.99. I actually just got some more of these in, the new arrivals that Tanner's pricing. Creed's $39.99. And as always, Pearl Jam Unplugged. Hope everybody has a copy. Amazing live performance. That is from MTV's Unplugged. It is an unofficial pressing. It's on red vinyl. That's $39.99. Romy Lucy on the Alice Coltrane. Nice pickup there. That is so to Romy Lucy. That is so to Romy Lou. And we have, yes, I have a set available. I have a volume one and a volume two. Sometimes these bootlegs are, they get separated because somebody needs a two or a one. I've actually got a set together. Four LPs total, $44.99 and $44.99. So that's $44.99 each for volumes one and two. That's Yes Live, 1974 in Boston. Dwight Yoakam is $33.99, new and sealed, also a gatefold jacket. Blame the Vein, that's $33.99. Rami Lou wants a Pearl Jam Unplugged. Thank you, Rami Lou. Let's update our auctions for those just topping on. I think when I put these up, we had 140 viewers. Now we got 240 viewers. This is Great White, twice shy. It's in the original inner sleeve. It is an original OG pressing. The vinyl's in about EX condition, just some sleeve scuffing on that. And then the cover's nice. VG Plus, just a couple stress creases. There's a little bit of a crease right there on the cover, but overall it's glossy and it's very nice. We just got a new bid on that. Darren Wartman just bid $52, and he is the high bidder. Freddie Dixon just bid $60. Nice copy of Great White Twice Shy. And then Masters of Metal is a K-Tail record. It is extremely nice. No condition notes on the vinyl. The vinyl is extremely nice, actually. This is like closer to near mint minus. The cover's in VG+. Plus. And the last bid that came in on Masters of Metal was Hector Moran at $30, or Hector Morin. Hector Morin uh, bid $30, and he has the high bid on that. So that's where we're at on both auctions. Uh, I don't think I've got any new claims since Pearl Jam. We have Fleetwood Max Greatest Hits, $33.99. Rhiannon, Don't Stop, Everywhere, Gypsy, Say You Love Me. 
That's the classic Fleetwood Mac greatest hits. Depeche Mode Violator, $33.99. Enjoy the silence. Depeche Mode is $33.99. And we have Ray Wiley Hubbard, co-starring, $33.99. Joe Walsh plays on this album. So does Ringo Starr, Larkin Poe, $33.99. Ronnie Dunn. So that's Ray Wiley Hubbard. I have two of those, co-starring two. And then here is the newest release from The Cure. This is Paris, 30th anniversary 2LP set with previously two unreleased tracks. That is $39.99. Rain, Wayne Carr wants a Ray Wiley Hubbard. That's so to Wayne Carr. We have new bids on Masters of Metal. Randy Tabor just bid $35 on that. And Great White has a high bid of $68 with Darren Mortman, now $70 with Freddie Dixon. Sleep. Sleep's Holy Mountain is $39.99. That's for Sleep, Sleep's Holy Mountain, and Yes, the Ladder, $34.99. Yes, the Ladder. That's a 2LP, $34.99 for Yes, the Ladder, and Queen's Rock Condition Human. Queen's Rock Condition Human, $33.99 for Queen's Rock. Also, Miles Davis Sketches of Spain. It's pressed at RTI. It's in mono, new and sealed, RTI baggy. $33.99. Great White has a new bid of $80 of Jeffrey Dunlap, and it looks like Masters of Metal just got a new bid for $38. If you're just hopping on, make sure you've liked the Facebook page. Make sure you've liked the YouTube video. Make sure you've liked everything. Make sure you've also subscribed to Facebook, or YouTube, that is, and you followed or liked our Facebook page. I would greatly appreciate it. This is Masters of Metal. It's a K-Tail record, Black Sabbath, Rainbow, Y&T, Zebra, Dio, Van Halen, Kiss, Crocus. The vinyl's in near-mint minus condition. That's our first auction. Randy Tabron has that for 40, and Great White's at 82. Bruce Dickinson, Tattooed Millionaire. This is actually uh, something that came in, I think, on Friday, and I never did show it, but I, anybody that was on a waiting list, uh, I pulled it. It was one person, actually, but this is actually a new uh, rival that I didn't get to show on Friday or Saturday. This is $33.99. That's Tattooed Millionaire. Yes, the Stevie Ray Vaughan that's in here is on colored, numbered vinyl. Stevie Ray Vaughan is on blue vinyl. It's colored and numbered to $1,500, Also, we have, uh, oh, here's what's left in stock that we have with Greta Van Fleet. I have Greta Van Fleet, Anthem of the Peaceful Army. That's $36.99. I have Greta Van Fleet from the Fires, $36.99. And I think this is now out of stock again everywhere. And we still have four copies left from 2022. I've never marked them down because I've sold some on Discogs for as much as $60, uh, $60, and that is Greta Van Fleet, the white vinyl indie exclusive of Battle at Garden's Gate, and I've still got four of those, and that's white vinyl, and I think we still have some on Discogs for uh, uh, $59.99, and we sell one every once in a while on there. Larry Drish will take the Stevie Ray Vaughan. Kevin Doxey, if you want on a waiting list, I always order more of these. They're actually about to release this again on red vinyl, same thing. They're about to put it out again on red vinyl, limited and numbered to 1500 But this one's on blue, and Kevin Doxy, I'll put you on a wait list if that's okay. Now, evidently there's people having trouble seeing the Facebook chat. I've seen people say that since I've been live. So if you're having trouble seeing the Facebook chat, the only thing I can say is two things. You might want to reset your feed and hop back on, but you can always see it right here. You can always see it right here with my hands going up and down. Everybody can see that. That's Facebook, YouTube, and X. Let's go ahead and sell Romilu this right here. Uh, this is uh, so to Romilu C. That's so to Romilu C, the Miles Davis. And we have Great White. Let's get an update. So if you're just hopping on, we have an OG Great White twice shy. OG Great White twice shy. And Darren Wartman has this for $82. He's the high bidder. Everybody else is out. EX on the vinyl. Nice clean copy. Darren Wartman, $82. That's a final call. And let's go ahead and move Masters of Metal to a final call. Randy Tabron has this for $44. Randy Tabron has this for $44. M-O-M, that's at $44. So that's where we're at on those. Let's go through this first bin of new, new vinyl. Just some recapping here of some stuff from last week. I've got two crates of new vintage stuff to go through. I've got three crates of new, new vinyl to go through. And then we're going to hit some discount bins. I'll tell you more about the collections we've bought over the weekend. Uh, in just a second, but let's go ahead. I'm just going to read what's left. If you want a price, let me know. First thing is NWA, straight out of Compton. King's X, Gretchen Ghost in Nebraska. Dirty Dancing soundtrack, $29.99. Fritz the Cat soundtrack. Pussifer, CS4. Pixies, Bossa Nova. Also, NWA's Greatest Hits. We have Creed, Human Clay, Yes, Boston Garden, Dwight Yoakam, Fleetwood Mac, Depeche Mode Violator, Ray Wiley Hubbard, The Cure, two copies of those left. Final, final call. We're about to sell Great White. 
And the final call on this is the Darren Warman for $82. Masses of metal still getting bids. 47 now 50 with Randy Tabron. Stacy was at 47. And we have Kings X. Kings X, Gretchen goes to Nebraska. Jason Waldron gets Kings X. That is sold to Jason Waldron. We also have uh, Sleep, Sleep's Holy Mountain. Yes, that is Yes, the Ladder. Queen's Right Condition Human. Bruce Dickinson, Tattooed Millionaire. And then the Greta Van Fleets. Like I said, I have Anthem of the Peaceful Army. I have From the Fires. And I have the White Vinyl, indie exclusive of Battle at the Garden's Gate. That is $44.99. Thanks, everybody, for joining us so far tonight. I'm about to show our first crate of new new stuff for tonight. I have some kiss auctions, too. Yes, you heard me correctly. I have some kiss auctions. And, Tanner, I think there's some more I left back there on the metal shipping table Some with the action figures. There, I left some more back there. They were on the shipping cart, but I'll take the first crate of new new vinyl Tanner's got priced. I think there's several things in here of waiting list and maybe even a pre-order in here. But, yeah, I have some... I have some... Uh, um, uh, kiss stuff to auction, some random collectibles. Uh, back up to the top, we had uh, Masters of Metal. Randy Tabron was at 50. Great White was at 85. Masters of Metal, 52, 54. Great White, 87. Masters of Metal, 56. Great White, 90. We're still bidding on our first two auctions. These are our first two auctions. They've been up for officially about 15 minutes, but when I put them up, I said, I'm going to start off with these. We're probably going to be bidding on them for a while, and we have been. First is the Highwayman. I accidentally got, I got these three in, and I just ordered three more last night when I put in a huge new vinyl order. So this is available, and there's more on the way. So if you, if we happen to sell these three very quickly, and you're like, man, I don't want to go on a waiting list because I don't know when it's going to be billed. Don't worry. There's for sure more on the way, like another two or three for sure. So let me put up the waiting list. I think there was two people on a waiting list as of right now, so I should have an extra copy. But let me go ahead and pull up my spreadsheet for the first time tonight. But Music on Vinyl, anytime we get an OG copy of this, it, you know, it either goes really fast out of the bin or we sell it at auction and there's a lot of activity. And the first thing here is Highwayman. Yeah, WVU Mounties and David Johnson. WVU Mounties and David Johnson. So I had two people on a waiting list for this. WVU Mounties and David Johnson. This is a new sealed music on vinyl. So I've got one extra, but I have at least two or three more already on the way. So if you get on a waiting list, they're for sure coming. It's only Monday. They will definitely be here. Of course, that's Waylon, Willie, Johnny Cash, Chris Christofferson, $39.99. David Schroeder wants the other copy, so those two are already sold. There's one for David Schroeder, and if anybody wants on that waiting list, they will for sure be in this week. All right, we're still getting bids with this. Great White. Let me had two people ask to see it one more time that just topped on. Original Inner Sleeve, Twice Shy, OG Pressing, EX Vinyl, VG Plus or Plus Plus Cover. Nice, essentially. I just got a new bid for 105 And then we have Masters of Metal compilation, Sabbath, Kiss, Twisted Sister, Van Halen, Dio, Rainbow, a classic K-Tail. Stacey Metternich has it for $58. That's the high bid right now. Now, uh, we have Tony Lewis on the Highwayman wait list. There's one person. If anybody else wants on there, let me know. There's at least two more copies on the way. Creed, Human Clay. I just had this in the last bin. There's another one. I've been grabbing them because when they go out of stock, they're always, they always come back. But, man, if something like this ever went out of print, whew, be glad if you have a copy because this is such a big seller. It's very expensive on new vinyl, or the OGs are not easy to get, and they're quite pricey. So that's why these craft pressings, they're very well made. Craft does a really good job. Of course, one of the biggest selling albums of all time. Are you ready with arms wide open? That is Creed. I now have three copies available. Next is Guns N' Roses Unplugged. This is on colored vinyl, $38.99. $38.99 for Guns N' Roses Unplugged. It's on red vinyl. It's a 2LP. It's also an unofficial from Parachute. Parachute carries some very good unofficial pressings. That is $38.99. You have nothing to worry about with those as far as sound quality. And I have uh, Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. I went through his catalog. I hadn't shown any of his stuff in a while. The Boatman's Call, Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. That's $39.99. I've only got one of those. Let's update these auctions because I see an out. Masters of Metal is at $60 of Randy Tabron. Stacy Metternich is out. Final call, MOM, Masters of Metal. Randy Tabron Jr. has that for $60. And then Great White, Jeffrey Dunlap has that for $110. 
now 115 with Darren Wartman. We have Jeffrey and we have Darren battling out over that. Once again, Great White's catalog has never been reissued. These original studio albums are not in print. I wish I had big stacks of them to sell you, but they've never been reissued. Hopefully that's in the pipeline one day. Jim Hickson also gets on the highway man waiting list. Brian Lacey, I don't have any more Kings X on stock, in stock, but as always, if you want on a waiting list, it is Monday, so it's Monday. If you're going on a waiting list on Monday or Tuesday, real high possibility that it will be in this week and it will be on your next invoice. Eric Smalley wants a Creed Human Clay. We have a new bid on Masters of Metal. Aaron's at $61, Aaron Civic. So we have a new bidder. Aaron's at $61. Great White's at $115. First two auctions are still getting bids. I better put up something else new. We've been on these for a while, but I'll go ahead and put up something else. I got a whole crate of unadvertised metal up here to auction. Yes. And here in a minute, I'm going to ask Tanner or uh, Paul to go get me the other crate in the back. I have a sealed, unofficial pressing of Motley Crue Dr. Feelgood. Uh, this is a sealed, unofficial pressing of Motley Crue Dr. Feelgood. I'm pretty positive it's on colored vinyl. I'm pretty positive it's on colored vinyl. This is Motley Crue, Dr. Feelgood. It's going to go up for a $1 start. You heard me correctly. Sealed Motley Crue, Dr. Feelgood. And I'm pretty sure, let me double check one thing on this before I say it's an unofficial. I'm almost positive it is. I think this was pressed when their catalog was out of print for the longest. And bootleggers were definitely taking advantage of that. Uh, yeah, it's an unofficial on green vinyl. It's an unofficial on green vinyl. It is on green vinyl. It is an unofficial bootleg copy. It is sealed, unopened, and it's on green vinyl. That's now up for bid. So there's our next three auctions. Great white, masses of metal. What is this, Metal Monday? Is this Metal Monday? It might turn into that because anything we have to auction tonight is probably going to come out of a metal bin. And like I said, I have some KISS collectibles to auction as well. So be prepared for that. Masses of Metal got new bid, 61, 62. Great White got a bid for 120, 125. Todd Tipton, Guns N' Roses Unplugged, 1993 is 38.99. Only copy available. Motley Crue is getting lots of bids. And we have Disturbed, The Sickness, featuring the song, The Sickness. Disturbed is $33.99. That is Disturbed, $33.99. And White Snake, Washington State Wipeout, White Snake Live in 1984. Another 2LP colored vinyl, unofficial, and that is $39.99. $39.99. That's White Snake Live, an unofficial. Got new stuff here we've never shown before. And this has been one of our best selling unofficials as of lately because it's Aussie and it's Randy Rhodes, and it's on red vinyl, and it's a great concert. It's a single LP, just one LP. It's on red vinyl, gatefold, $36.99, $36.99. So that's Ozzy, live concert in Montreal, 1981, featuring, of course, Randy Rhodes. Boy, wouldn't you like to own that Gibson Les Paul right there? Whew, I wonder where that thing is. I'm sure somebody owns it. $36.99, red vinyl. Let's go back up the top. So we got three auctions going. Great White was at 125 of Darren Wartman. And then Motley Crue got bids for 5, 20, 25, 40, and then 50, and then 50 again. And then Hector Moran is first on uh, Disturbed. He wants to disturb. That's so to Hector. Hector, I keep saying Moran. I think your last name is Morin. Sorry about that. Hector Morin. I do have somebody else that's Moran. It's M-O-R-A-N. So sorry about that. Hector Morin gets disturbed. Thank you. Eric Smalley did inquire about Guns N' Roses, and he will take it. Eric Smalley gets GNR, and Guns, and then Great White got a new bid for 130. And then Brian Lacey wants an Aussie. That's so to Brian Lacey. Eric Smalley also gets an Aussie. That's so to Eric Smalley. And uh, Great White's at 130. Can I ask one more favor? Back there where the metal stuff is, there's uh, the Last of Dawn's collection. There's two crates. Can I get those up here? Because I'm going to be pulling auctions. I just told Tanner. Summon the metal crates. We're going to bring them up here and we're going to auction metal tonight. Sort of unadvertised. We've, I'll explain later today about the collections or here in a minute. When we get slowed down, there's so much activity. I'm going to tell you all about the collections we bought and when to expect to see some of that. Some of it will be shown tonight. But I want to give everybody, while well, I have everybody on and paying attention, when to expect some of these records. But right now, I need to really update Masters of Metal because I think it's a final call. We had one bump from one buyer, but I'm about to sell it to Randy Tabron. I think we had one person try to bump, 
and he never did say out. Randy, in about 10 seconds, I'm selling that to you for $62. I don't think anybody else is bid. Masters of Metals at $62. We pulled Guns and Roses. Well, I pulled an Aussie for Brian Lacey, and I pulled an Aussie for Eric Smalley, and we have White Snake, Bill Samus. White Snake is $39.99, Bill Samus. $39.99 for White Snake, Bill Samus. And we have SOD. This is Stormtroopers of Death. $33.99. Was there only one of these, Tanner, or did you price one in a different crate? Stormtroopers of Death. Yeah, should be two, if not three of these. This is SOD, Stormtroopers of Death. It's a gatefold, $33.99. $33.99. Yes, I have four of them. Good. Because the last time we had an OG of this, we had an OG in like VG minus condition. We bid on it for like an hour. And I was like, man, I hope I can get some more of those. They were out of stock. I back ordered them. I back ordered like 20 and they've sent me four. So that tells me it's a pretty desirable title whenever they come back into stock. $33.99 on that. All right, I want to go ahead and sell the Masters of Metal so I can clarify what's going on with Great White and Motley Crue because I think Great White's done too. But first, let me go ahead and sell Masters of Metal. This is sold to um, Randy Jr. Tabron for $62. Let me go back up to the top and confirm that. Let me find it. Randy Tabron. There's been so many bids since then. Yeah, Randy Tabron, $62 on Masters of Metal. And let me get down to the bottom. And yes, yeah, $62 on this. $62 on this. All right. Let's put this away. That's our first auction of the night. That was quite a war. I bet there was, what, 20, 25 different bidders on that. I think I put it up for a dollar, and now it's sold. All right. Now, Great White is an original pressing, a twice shy, original under sleeve. And uh, the vinyl's EX, just some sleeve scuffing, very clean. Haven't had a copy of this in a while. It has the original winter sleeve and a very nice jacket. And this is a final call. Final call. The high bid is Jeffrey Dunlap at $130. Jeffrey Dunlap at $130. We're about to sell that. So that's actually our first auction of the night. And it's almost done. And then Motley Crue is a green vinyl, unofficial, <coughs> excuse me, unofficial, bootleg pressing. It's on green vinyl. It is sealed. And Kevin Voitosh has it for $71. $71. That's our current two auctions. Now, up at the top, I pulled out the uh, Aussie for Eric Smalley, and that's where I stopped. And then next, we priced White Snake to Bill Samus. And then next, we had David Polkey get one of those Aussies. That's sold to David Polkey. Thank you, David Polkey. Bill Samus said he will take a White Snake. That's so to Bill Samus. And then Dustin Riviera got an SOD. That's so to Dustin Riviera. Sean Holford got an SOD. That's so to Sean Holford. Two copies left, but I'm still going to the bottom. Robert Phillippe, I am fresh out of Aussies. If you want on a waiting list, I'm definitely going to get more of those in. So Robert Phillippe, waiting list for Aussie, Montreal. Sean Reed on an SOD. Sean Reed, are you a first-time buyer? I don't recall saying your name, nor do I recognize that spelling of Sean or Reed. So... I'm going to go ahead and sell you one and then let me know if you're a first-time buyer. Sean Reed gets an SOD. Motley Crue got another new bid for $70 and then $71. Dave Kavanaugh, same thing. I'm fresh out of Aussie, but if you want on a waiting list, let me know. And then Kelly Gabney gets the last SOD. Wow, what a way to start a night. Are we done on uh, Great White? I think I have got to the bottom and nobody else's bid. And let me go ahead and sell that to Jeffrey Dunlap for $130. This is sold to Jeffrey Dunlap for $130. All right. So welcome, everybody. First thing, we've essentially bought three different collections that's uh, just arrived at the store last night. Let me tell you first, since we've turned this into a metal night, let me tell you about the metal collection first. Metal collection first, since we're auctioning all of a sudden a lot of metal tonight. The metal collection uh, was picked up in Houston. S hundreds of LPs. We'll just talk about the vinyl first. Everything is high grade. We're talking OG pressings, everything you can think of in the realm of metal. For example, OG Masters of Puppets in shrink wrap, that kind of stuff. So that will be officially start. We'll have our first big metal night. We're having some tonight, but our first big advertised metal night for that collection will be this Thursday as normal for, uh, as normal for, um, uh, metal night so um that will be and then we that will be thursday sorry i'm doing multiple things i'm looking at grateful dead records i'm looking at comments that's metal so extremely incredible um 
batch of metal. Here's our next auction, Grateful Dead, Wake of the Flood. This is from Dale's Pittsburgh Collection. This is from Dale's Pittsburgh Collection. It's a copy of the Grateful Dead, Wake of the Flood. So there's the information about the metal. So essentially, incredible batch of metal, hundreds of albums, Japanese pressings, OG, shrink wrap, hop sticker, near mint minus. Paul will tell you everything is pristine. Everything is pristine. We're going to be putting that stuff up. First look at that stuff will be Thursday. This is a 1988 UK copy of the Grateful Dead, Wake of the Flood. We actually found some stuff in the back from Dale's Pittsburgh collection that we're going to be selling tonight. He clipped out a newspaper clipping uh, about the Grateful Dead there, 2011. This is an 88 UK copy of Wake of the Flood, $1 start. Extremely nice vinyl. The cover is glossy, about VG+, plus. just some minor shelf wear. Very nice. $1 start on the Grateful Dead. That's our next auction. All right, I'll tell you about the other collections in just a second. So that I checked off the metal. Motley Cruz at 95, Motley Cruz at 100, Motley Cruz at 110, Motley Cruz at 111, Motley Cruz at 120, Motley Cruz at 130. Next is Casey Musgraves. Same trailer, different park. Casey Musgraves is $33.99. I've only got one copy of Casey. Also, somebody asked for waiting list on White Snake. Kev, Scott Marchheim wants on the waiting list. Scott, you got it on White Snake Live. If anybody else wants on there, White Snake Live, 1984, unofficial, red or it's definitely colored vinyl. I don't know if it's red. $39.99. Scott Marchheim on the wait list for that. If anybody else on there, let me know. Scott Marchheim, let me know on that. Or, or if anybody else, Scott Marchheim definitely wants on there. Michael McCarter gets a Casey Musgraves. That's so to Michael McCarter. If anybody else wants one, I've only got one copy. Casey Musgraves is sold. And I got a restock of Massive Attack by Mezzanine. There might have been a waiting list for this. Let me see. Mezzanine Massive Attack. It is $46.99. It's a 2LP. And let me look up this and see what we have. Uh, Paul Brothers was on a waiting list. Yep, Paul Brothers. And when I showed this the other night, everybody was talking in the comments. Great album. If you've, uh, It's always in their like, top sellers for my new vinyl. So that's so to Kelly Gabney. Uh, or excuse me, that's so to Paul Brothers. He was on the wait list. And then Kelly Gabney uh, on this one right here. So that's so to Kelly Gabney. That was their sold. Out of Massive Attacks again. If anybody else wants one, let me know. I think we had an out. This is an unofficial green vinyl pressing of Motley Crue. Kevin Voitosh has it for 130 It's a final call. 130 on that. That's where we're at. And then Grateful Dead, Sleeker Van Slyke has it for $45. 88 UK copy. Extremely nice of Grateful Dead. I've only got one copy. This is Susie and the Banshees. It is a 2LP clear vinyl, $36.99. Susie and the Banshees, 2LP clear vinyl, $36.99. It's kind of like a singles collection, a.k.a. a hits comp. Susie and the Banshees, only one copy of that. Only got some stuff tonight I've only got one copy of because it's Monday. I'm restocking some stuff for the first time and then taking some waiting list. If you're watching new for the first time, first of all, here's Tyler Childers, a restock of Purgatory. $26.99. If you're watching for the first time, I'm sure we have a lot of new people because of all these new collections. Our page have been getting lots of activity. First, Shane Devers was on a wait list for Purgatory. This is $36.99, or excuse me, $26.99. $26.99. This has Feathered Indians, and this is $26.99. I got a restock. Boy, I've sold hundreds of these. Literally hundreds and hundreds. One of my best selling records, Feathered Indians, is on there. Lady May, Universal Sound. That's Purgatory by Tyler Childers, $26.99. I do have about five other copies. Now, uh, I don't think anybody else bid on uh, the uh, Motley Crue. When I get to the bottom, I'm going to sell it. And we have Grateful Dead at $45. And I, then we had a bid for $55 with Barry Seagrave. So Barry did come back in on this. It's 88 UK copy. Extremely nice of Grateful Dead. Uh, and this is from the um, Dale Pip Dale's Pittsburgh collection. Still finding stuff in the back from that. The NWA Greatest Hits. Jason, there was an NWA Greatest Hits and an NWA Straight Outta Compton. The NWA Greatest Hits was $39.99. The NWA Straight Outta Compton is $36.99. That's the two different ones. Freddie Dixon wants a Tyler Childers. Jason Short wants a Tyler Childers. Leslie Silvely wants a Tyler Childers. Those are sold and sold. Pam Murray does want the Susie and the Banshees compilation. Two Tyler, two Tyler, two Tyler Childers left. Say that five times fast. And Motley Crue is officially sold to Kevin Voitosh for $130. $130 to Kevin Voitosh. Okay. Collection number two, why I'm putting up the next auction. Collection number two is the stuff we bought in New Orleans, and that's the big, that's the big one. That was over 13,000 albums, 5,045. Paul is in the back right now sorting through those. 
That is going to be some very unique stuff. We're talking about unusual sight, funk, soul, garage, punk, rock. It's just the most unusual batch of records. If you're into something odd and unusual, this stuff's going to be for you. If you're into something odd and unusual, I mean, it's like the most interesting batch of records. And if it is something that you know, it's a really good record. If it's something I know, it's a really good record. So it could be, I, I, don't, I can't even give you examples of how unusual and odd this collection is. Y'all are really going to like it because I know everybody's always looking for something odd, unusual, and new. And this collection is full of it, like 13,000 odd and unusual records. So look forward to that. And it's got, I mean, I don't know if y'all seen some of those pictures, but it's just an incredible batch of records. It's, it's really hard to explain. You're just going to have to tune in. That stuff will start. I think we got some of it ready tonight, but a lot of that will be starting put out officially as soon as tomorrow. Here's our next auction, Triumph Thunder 7 Near Mint Minus Copy, as in almost unplayed. It has the original winter sleeve. Triumph is just a $1 start. Just a $1 start on Triumph Thunder 7 in shrink wrap. It is a top copy, a U.S. original. $1 start on that. Grateful Dead, final call. Barry Seagrave has this for $65. Barry Seagrave has that for $65. Uh, we have Jason Waldron want the NWA from the last crate. He wants the straight out of Compton from the first crate, that is. This is sold to Barry Seagrave straight out of Compton. That is sold, or excuse me. Jason Waldron, Jason Waldron, Jason Waldron. Barry Seagrave has the Grateful Dead for 65. That's a final call. Triumph is at 110, and Triumph's at 5, and Grateful Dead is at 67. We have a new bid. John Dorsey has bid 67. It's an 88 UK copy, extremely nice. Dale's Pittsburgh collection. It includes a newspaper clipping he put in there. VG++ cover. Grateful Dead is now at 70. Back to the bin. Blackberry Smoke, you hear Georgia. Blackberry Smoke is $34.99, and I think I just ordered more of these this morning because they were still in stock, so I already have more on the way. This is Blackberry Smoke, and you hear Georgia. I don't have, I don't hear, ugh, I don't hear a waiting list. <laughs> I don't have a waiting list. So Blackberry Smoke is $34.99. So I've actually got two copies on hand, and there's already more, $34.99. So, yeah, this collection's incredible. I don't know if Paul can give me any other words for it to help explain it. He's uh, right around the corner. I don't know, Paul. How do you explain the New Orleans collection? The best collection we've ever seen. Paul says, as I put in the post, Paul is saying the best collection he's ever seen. That's a direct quote from Paul. It is. I mean, it's just, un it's so much rare stuff. Just unusual, odd, If, like I said, you just have to see it. We'll start putting it out as soon as possible. We've been spending today just cleaning up the store. I'll stop talking. I'll start showing more records. Deidre Schultz, first on Blackberry Smoke. Deidre Schultz on Blackberry Smoke. There's one extra copy, and I have one already ready, or I still have two already on the way. And here's Disturbed, 10,000 Fist. Disturbed is a 2LP, $39.99. I've only got one copy. 10,000 Fist is $39.99. And we have... Casey Musgraves, Golden Hour. This is my only copy. $36.99 for Golden Hour, Casey Musgraves. That should be on clear vinyl. Jonathan Feller on BS for Blackberry Smoke, and I have more on the way. So if you want on a waiting list, there'll be more here probably by uh, Wednesday. I put in a huge order. Um, so if to this week we should have an influx of new vinyl bigger than we've ever had before. So Disturbed is sold to Hector Morin. Disturbed is sold to Hector Morin. Thank you. I don't have any more of those, so if anybody wants on a waiting list, let me know. White Snake. This is the 1987 White Snake album, the 30th anniversary edition, 2LP, $59.99. $59.99. Grateful Dead is an 88 UK. It's an 88 UK copy, a 1988 UK copy. And now we have a final call on this. The final call is Barry C. Grave is $70. John Dorsey never did say out, but I've got to sell it. That's been up for a while. Barry C. Grave has it for $70. i am about to sell it. White Snake, that's the 2LP, remastered plus previously unreleased and live tracks. So you get the classic album remastered like Steel of the Night. And uh, here I go again. And that is uh, a 2LP, 1987, 30th anniversary edition, $59.99. So I get caught up. I'll be right in the middle of talking. I'll be reading comments. Like Calvin Ward is the high bidder on this superb near mint copy of Triumph Thunder 7. That's at $30 of Calvin Ward. Barry right back in on the Grateful Dead at $75. Next is Primus, Sailing the Seas of Cheese. Only one copy of Primus, $36.99. 
And we have The Clash on Broadway. I've never had this one before. New York, 1981. It's a Clash unofficial from Parachute, $44.99. $44.99. And then we got another restock of Slayer, Show No Mercy. This is $84.99. This is the gold vinyl box set, 40th anniversary edition. This is 28 page, 28 LP size page book. Slip map, poster, flyer, signing card, Slayer. Only copy I have, $84.99. We have Jerry Stone first on Promise, Sailing the Seas of Cheese. That is sold to Jerry Stone. Triumph is out and out, and now we're definitely about to sell this to Calvin Ward for $30. They're still bidding on the Grateful Dead. John Dorsey just bid $76. 88 UK copy of Grateful Dead, Wake of the Flood, $76 of John Dorsey. Dustin Riviera, you get the Slayer. John Howard gets the Clash. This is our first crate of new, new vinyl for tonight. And it's been a busy one. I bet there's like five or six waiting lists. There's still a few records left. I'm going to go through them one more time, then we're going to go through our first crate of vintage stuff for tonight. Now, the other collection, let me go ahead and get a new auction going. Our other collection is um, the Jimmy Johnson collection, which is from Muscle Shows, Alabama. Now, that collection has, it's not a massively large collection. So there's only about, I think, 500 or 1,000 albums and it was just uh, stuff he personally listened to, um, stuff that he uh, worked on and played on. So it's it's a short out, it's a short collection. But what we're going to do is we're going to sticker those whenever we get to them. We're going to put stickers on them so everybody knows that it came from his collection. And Paul said they actually had a lot of certificates printed up and put them in there too. So very interesting batch. The kind of music you would expect, Muscle Shoals type music. That seems like a lot of albums. Uh, 500 or 1,000, but compared to some of these other collections we just bought, it's kind of got lost in the shuffle because we bought 13,000, 5,000, and his was like 500 or like 1,000 albums, I think. But we're going to be showing some of that. I don't know exactly when it's going out. You'll just have to tune in because we'll probably pull some some night. We'll pull from a different collection. So his stuff will kind of be mixed in, but it will be in the bins, and we'll have it marked that it's from the Jimmy Johnson collection. Here's our next auction. White Hot. Here's another compilation from k -Tail. Another k -Tail metal compilation. One dollar start. This is called White Hot Masters of Metal. We sold the first uh, k -Tail. Here's the other one. White Hot Masters of Metal. One dollar start. Black Sabbath, Dio, Judas Priest, Crocus, Quiet Riot, Rush, Scorpion, Slade, Triumph, Twisted Sister, Y&T, and Zebra. That's now it for bid. Triumph if it's officially sold. Thank you, Paul. Triumph is officially sold. Nope, we got a new bid. Oh, oh, we got a new bid. Tr uh, Calvin Ward was at $30, and there was a new bid since I stepped away. Uh, we had a bid on Grateful Dead for $80, and Bobby Moyes bid $35 on Triumph. Calvin Ward, you got outbid on Triumph. We got three auctions going. Bobby Moyes is at $35 on Triumph. Uh, the Slayer that just sold was the Show No Mercy box set, $84.99. Scott, you got one on your invoice. I tagged you for it this morning. It was on your invoice that went out today, Scott. That went, went on your invoice. And then we have the metal compilation, and we've got Grateful Dead, and Triumph just got a new bid. Okay, so let's go through this crate one more time. I've got two copies of Creed left, Human Clay, $39.99. I have Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds, The Boatman's Call, $39.99 for Nick Cave. Two copies left of Tyler Childers' Purgatory, $26.99. One Casey Musgraves left, Golden Hour, $36.99. And one White Snake 87 left, $59.99. That's all that's left from tonight. There they are. So I really need to get an update. I really, really need to get an update on Triumph as soon as possible if you were bidding on that. I've got uh, new check condition stuff here, I believe. Yeah, I've got a whole bin of new check condition stuff to go through. Let's go through this stuff right now. Uh, just a couple crates, just a couple crates of new vintage stuff tonight, new, new vintage. And then we're going to go through some discount stuff. Uh, John and Paul have spent most of the day trying to, it's when you, our back room is already packed, as y'all know. And then when we unload like 20,000 albums, uh, we've really just been playing cleanup today in the store. So uh, we should be getting into the new stuff, uh, more, a lot more of the new stuff, hot and heavy tomorrow. But we do have new stuff to show tonight. And, of course, still new vinyl to come. And then lots of discounts. Lots of discounts. Let's go back up to the top. Now, all three auctions are getting a lot of bids. So let me clarify this. The last thing, John Dorsey set out on Grateful Dead, and it was between him and D Barry Seagrave. 
I don't think anybody else bid, so I can go ahead and take one off the table. This is officially sold to Barry C. Grave at $80. We got a few really cool dead albums to do tonight. This one's officially sold for $80. I do have some Kiss collectibles to auction. Tanner just brought the box up here. I got a couple uh, baggies of uh, random odds and ends I've put together, so hope that Kiss Army is here tonight. They're still bidding on Triumph. It is a near mint copy. I mean, it looks like it's unplayed. Triumph, Thunder 7, original inner sleeve in shrink wrap. It's a top copy. Calvin Ward has it for $42. Bobby Moyes just set out, so that's a final call. And then I put up another k -tail compilation, White Hot, Masses of Metal, another k -tail compilation, and Wolf's Burner is the high bid at $38. That's called White Hot, Masses of Metal, and that is at $38. That's another k -tail compilation. That's now what for bid. Triumph's the final call of 42. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything else. And I think I'm caught up. If I've missed any claims or waiting list, let me know. Let's see what's in here. We have Dio Dato Prelude. This has the theme from 2001, A Space Odyssey, on it. Also known as the Elvis Presley song and the Rick Wakeman, or not the Rick Wakeman, the Rick Flair song. $14.99. This is Dio Dato Prelude. CTI, VG Plus condition. Why can't I get it back into the original inner sleeve? This is a poly, nice poly line bag. Boy, it's not one to go back in here. There we go. I'm going to keep it behind the jacket, too. Let's do that right there. There's Diodato, sold to Jackson Blaylock. That record is gone. We have Triumph, now sold to Calvin Ward for $42. Let's get a new auction going. I have a couple dead bootlegs. This is officially sold to Calvin Ward, and like I said, before Tanner and Paul just left, they brought me two crates of metal to dig through, and uh, there's Triumph. That is sold. And we have White Hot. Now a final call. I think it's a new bidder. Another k -tail compilation. Wolf's Burner has it for $38. k -tail, Masters of Metal, $38. Final call on that. Let's get a new auction going. How about we put up Queen's Rock Rage for Order? Queen's Rock Rage for Order, and this is... Uh, very interesting. Uh, I, I don't know if I've ever seen this before. It has uh, like club markings right here, like R, but it has like um, almost something blacking out something down here in the copyright. Very unusual. But it is a black ring, Rage for Order. It has the original inner sleeve, and the vinyl on this one is about VG plus condition. It has a little bit of wear kind of right in here. It's VG plus, Queen's Rock, Rage of Order. Uh, it's still clean looking, very clean, but we're going to call it a $1 start. And that's Queen's Rock, Rage of Order, original inner sleeve. I've been starting more and more auctions at $1. And yes, this is a club. It has all the club markings right there, and then they kind of covered something up. But right there is the R for RCA Music Club. Queen's Rock's up for bid. Good luck, everybody, on that. All righty. Uh, white Hot. New bid from Sean Holford, $40. Can you get the Show No Blood Bloodfield? No, I cannot. k -tail has a bid for $39. Queen's Rock is at $15. All right, let's go through some albums in here. The best of Three Dog Night, VG condition, $9.99. This is VG999, Joy to the World, One is the Loneliest Number, Sean Ba La, Let Me Serenade You. That's VG condition, $9.99. Head East Live, that's in VG condition, $12.99. Head East Live, VG Condition, $12.99. I haven't seen that in a while. It's a 2LP live compilation. Dan Moran gets the Three Dog Night. That's so to Dan Moran. And Autograph, Sign in Peace, is in VG Condition, $12.99. Autograph, Sign in Peace. That's in VG Condition, $12.99. That is Autograph, Sign in Peace. Black RCA label. That is called Autograph. And we have Savoy Brown, Raw Sienna, VG Plus Condition, $14.99. Savoy Brown, Raw Sienna, VG Plus, $14.99. All right, Will Spurner, the third. Rick K was fourth. We have Queens Rock, a uh, new bid of $41. Joshua Day, fifth on autograph. And we have Rick Wakeman, Journey to the Center of the Earth. Rick Wakeman is in EX Condition, $17.99. Journey to the Center of the Earth. That is Wick Wakeman, EX Condition, $17.99. Raspberries featuring Eric Carmen and the hit song Go All the Way. VG Condition, $12.99. Raspberries, VG Condition, $12.99 for the Raspberries. And Nielsen Schmilson, this has the lime and the coconut song on it. VG Condition, $9.99. This is Nielsen 
Schmilson, that's VG Condition, $9.99. Brandy Klein, first on the raspberries with Eric Carmen. That's sold to Brandy Klein. Sell that to Brandy. Bill Samus, you were second. And we also have Van Morrison, TB Sheets. Van Morrison's in VG Condition, $14.99. Jamie Wills Erickson, first on the Nielsen. That is sold to Jamie Wills Erickson. The Nielsen is sold to him. Let's update these auctions because the feed just froze the white hot. I'm about to sell it. Sean Holford has it for $40. I'm about to sell it. This is white hot masses of metal, $40. I'm about to sell it for $40. White hot masses of metal. And then Queens Rock Rage for Order. Queens Rock Rage for Order. The last bid that came in on this was Jeff Carter at $41. I'm going to give those a couple more additional mi minutes because it looks like some people had some freezing problems. I'll keep showing records though. We have War Deliver the Word, VG Condition $12.99, War Deliver the Word, VG Condition $12.99, and George Benson in concert at Carnegie Hall with Hubert Laws. I don't recall seeing that one before. CTI EX Condition $12.99. Hayden Ernest first on War. That is sold to Hayden Ernest. New bid on Queens Rock for $45. We have an out on that and I'm about to sell it. Jill Berry wants to George Benson, and that is sold to Jill Berry. I don't think everybody's feeds Benson because I'm selling records faster than I can show them, so I think some people's having connection problems. I'm not, and a lot of other people's not. Jill Berry got George Benson, Jason Fran second, Jim Sadal third, Rami Lou put JB, and if that was for George Benson, then you were fifth on it, and then Rydell Martin was sixth, and we have already sold the autograph. That has been sold for a while. Sean Holford gets the white hot metal compilation. Sean Holford, that is sold to you for $40. That was another K-Tail compilation and that is sold for $40. Now I got to make sure everybody knows where we're at on Queens Rock. Queens Rock is Rage of Order. It is a club copy. It is a club copy. It has the original inner sleeve. The vinyl's VG Plus. The covers VG Plus are better. It is a club copy and Jeff Carter says he's out. The last bid was Alan Montgomery at $45. Allen Montgomery at $45. That's where we're at. Let's keep showing some new records. Two more, then I'm putting up a new auction. Joni Mitchell, blue, nice. VG condition, $34.99. Joni Mitchell, VG condition. It has the original inner sleeve and insert. Original inner sleeve and insert. VG condition, that is $34.99. Uh, Rod Stewart and Faces Live. Rod Stewart and Faces Live. EX, $22.99 on that. Let's put up another auction. How about... The Grateful Dead. How about the Grateful Dead? Another bootleg from Dale's Pittsburgh Collection. This is the Grateful Dead, regards from the Gulf Coast. Now, a couple of these uh, bootleg copies here, I don't have all the details on. They're from Dale's Collection. I'm just going to show you it. I'm going to put it up. We got a lot of it cleaned already. Paul had these cleaned from prior, uh, in prior time. I just took pictures of them. I'm going to put them up for auctions. This is a Grateful Dead bootleg from Dale's Pittsburgh Collection. The vinyl's nice. We're going to call it EX or EX+. Plus. I never grade bootlegs near Mint Minus because they're bootlegs. Sometimes I do, like these new ones maybe. But here is uh, Grateful Dead. It's got a paste-on cover. It says Coast to Coast. And let's go ahead and put it up for a $1 start. That's the Grateful Dead, regardless from the Gulf Coast. It is a live, unofficial Grateful Dead. $1 star from Dale's Pittsburgh Collection. Now, the chat's really glitchy tonight, I think, for a couple reasons. One, there's a lot of people watching. We're almost at 400 viewers on both platforms. That's a lot. I told Tanner, I said, it's going to be very busy tonight because we just bought all these collections. People's going to be tuning in to see what's going on. But here's the thing you got to know. You should tune in every night this week for a long... You should tune in every night all the time, but definitely this week because we have amazing stuff to show. Here's Sabotage. I'm putting it right here. I do not have the Grateful Dead tracks. I don't want to read what's on the back either because it could be misleading. And then we have Queens Rock as a final call. We're about to sell it. Alan Montgomery had that for $45. Now, I left off by saying Matt Lawson gets Savoy Brown. Matt Lawson gets Savoy Brown. That is sold to Matt Lawson. Next, we have Grateful Dead at $25. And we have Grateful Dead at 25, Grateful Dead at 20, Grateful Dead at 45, Grateful Dead at 50, Grateful Dead at 51, and we have a new bid on Queens Rock for 54. I had a feeling we wasn't done on Queens Rock yet, and it doesn't look like we are. Nice. Hot Rocks, the Essential Early Stones Collection. VG Plus Condition, $29.99. The Rolling Stones Hot, War Hot Rocks, VG Plus Condition, $29.99 for Hot Rocks. 
And the Rose Garden, this is in VG condition, $12.99. The Rose Garden in shrink wrap on the Atco label, VG condition, $12.99. George Share first on HR, that's Hot Rocks. That's so to George Share. Grateful Dead has a high bid of 66 with Charles Verano and Alan Montgomery. You're out bid on Queens Rock. Steve uh, Bodet has it for $54. That's the VG Plus Club copy of Rage for Order. Next LP is Marshall Tucker Band, Where We All Belong. Marshall Tucker Band is in VG Plus condition, $17.99. Marshall Tucker Band, VG Plus condition, $17.99. Christopher B. on Rose Garden. Christopher B., can you remind me, if you're a, if you're a Facebook viewer that's watching over on YouTube, let me remind me of your name. If that's, that might be Christopher Brusha. Or if you're a new buyer, let me know. But this sold to Christopher B. for right now. I'm putting that in a sold bin. And let's go ahead and get another auction going. Let's go ahead and make the auction block even crazier. Whew. I'm out of breath. Sabotage. Fight for the rock. We're talking shrink wrap and hop sticker. Kevin Jordan, if you can hear me, I do have you on a waiting list for Van Halen. Sorry, I just hit me that I didn't answer that. Kevin, I do have you on a waiting list, yes, for the David Lee Roth era. Yes, all right. Sabotage. Fight for the rock. Original inner sleeve. This is a nice copy. This is an extremely nice copy. It is Sabotage, Fight for the Rock. Just a few sleeve scuffs. I'm still going to call it EX. If I've had these before, they're usually beat the heck. Let's call this one EX to be conservative. There is the original inner sleeve of Lyrics. The cover's in shrink wrap. Now, it has some pieces of tape on the shrink wrap, but it's on the shrink wrap. It does have the hop sticker. This is Sabotage, and this is the one that was autographed. Yes. What we had, I had it up one night. And I was like, we put it up, and I kind of forgot about it, and I rediscovered it last night. This thing is autographed, sabotage. And tonight, we're putting it up for a $1 start. Sabotage is a $1 start. You heard me correctly. And it's signed by the band on the back. This is a $1 start. Sabotage is autographed. It is now going up for bid. I'll have to show that again in just a second. That is autographed by the band, EX Copy, Shrink Wrap, and Hop Sticker. You heard me correctly. $1 start on a fully signed Sabotage. All right. Now, we have up at the top, Christopher Brusha got Rose Garden. He says, it's Brusha. Sorry. Okay, so Christopher Brusha got the Rose Garden LP. That was the last thing I pulled. And then we have uh, Time for a Monster. It, it's almost that time for sure. Grateful Dead got new bids for 67 68 and then George Scherer needs to put back Hot Rocks. I'm putting Hot Rocks back in the bin. Grateful Dead, 69. Now, we did have a new bid on Queens Rock. Alan Montgomery bid $55. Steve Bodette was at 54. So, Steve, please let me know if you want back in on Queens Rock. VG Plus cop, Club copy. Alan Montgomery has it for $55. So, Steve Bodette, we're just waiting for your word there. And now, we got three killer auctions going. First, we have... Condition and price of Hot Rocks. VG Plus condition, $29.99. Sterling Lee Hulk on the Dead Wax. Definitely an earlier copy. Definitely an earlier pressing. VG Plus condition, $29.99. Tim Kingsley. And then Queen's Sabotage has got a lot of bids. But next is Ducks Deluxe. Don't mind rocking tonight. Ducks Deluxe is in VG condition, $9.99. Ducks Deluxe. Don't mind rocking tonight. VG, $9.99. And... Prima Taya for Neria Maconi. Photos of Ghost. Photos of Ghost. EX Condition, 1999. Now, that's on the Manticore label, which is usually associated with Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. So I bet that has something to do with Prog Rock. Yes, Stones is definitely a 2LP. Yes, Hot Rocks is definitely a 2LP. Yes, 2LP on that. And next LP is Ray Charles. Modern Sounds and Country and Western Music, VG Condition, $9.99. That's Ray Charles, Modern Sounds in Country and Western mu uh, uh, Music. Paul says that's Italian Prague. Italian Prague. I had a feeling that Manticore label is what Emerson, Lake, and Palmer was on. So usually if you see that, it's probably something pretty good. Italian Prague. Hey, I might want to give that a spin. Paul says someone should pick it up. It's incredible. It's absolutely earth-shattering. Okay, back up to the top. Alan Montgomery is at 60 on the Queens Rock. Steve Bodette, you got outbid again on that. Steve bid 58, Alan bid 60. Let's go down the line there. Next is the Grateful Dead, a bootleg from Dale's Pittsburgh collection. It's called Regards from the Gulf Coast. 
regards from the Gulf Coast. And the last bid on GD, that's Grateful Dead, was Robert Warner at $70. Robert Warner at $70. Now, if you glitched or you missed what I was saying on this, not only do we have a nice EX copy of Sabotage, Fight for the Rock, it's signed on the back by the full band. It is autographed. It is autographed Sabotage, signed on the back, shrink wrap pipe sticker, original under sleeve. The last bid was Paul Brothers, Kevin Crowell, that is. Kevin Crowell at $125. Kevin Crow at $125. That was the last bid. And it's autographed. Just FYI. Okay, so that's where we're at on all three auctions. I'll give another update in just a second. We had uh, an inquiry about the stones. And then John Smetzer put RC for Ray Charles. This is so to John Smetzer. Jackson Blaylock says he'll take the prog. That's so to Jackson Blaylock. And then uh, Brian C. was second. Paul Ogley asked about it. And then we have, I think somebody said they'll take the stones, right? Did Tim Kingsley? Yes, he said sold RS. That's sold to Tim Kingsley. All right, my first crate is completely full. Let me set that off to the side here. And let me bring over a crate of new, new stuff here. All right, we're going to clean out some bins tonight. Whenever time I get an influx of new collections, I'm ready to just like empty some bins of stuff we've already put out. So... If you're watching, I'm about to go tonight after we go through new arrivals, I'm about to wipe out and obliterate some new arrival crates from just maybe a couple weeks ago at half off. So if you're watching, get ready. Uh, we're trying to make room for stuff in the back. We're filtering out stuff right now to have a dollar sale here in the store. In two weeks, not this weekend, but the next weekend, we're having a $1 sale plus a store-wide sale. We are running out of space in the back, so we've got to empty bins. we got to get some stuff sold. We got to make room. So that's what we're going to do after we go through new arrivals tonight. We're going to try to empty some bins out, get some stuff sold, half off bins. Okay. Now we sold the Rolling Stones. Uh, there were several people back up on the Prague. And then next is new bids on Queens Rock. Wow. New bids on Queens Rock. I don't think Grateful Dead has a new bid though. Grateful Dead doesn't have a new bid. New bid on Queens Rock. Robert Warner has had this for $70 for about three minutes. He's about to get it. Final call for $70 on the Grateful Dead. And then Sabotage, we still got, uh, we had Kevin Crowd, $130, and it's autographed. Now, I see a lot of questions about new bidders. We almost have 400 viewers on both. Uh, Charles says he has it for 71 Charles, you might want to just go ahead and bid that again. I saw where you said that. Okay, 71, yes. 71, now 75. Thank you. If, you, don't, if, you, if I don't say your bid, you might as well go ahead and bid it again. Let me step over here and get a bottle of water. For anybody new watching, here's how things work. You don't have to be pre-registered. If you're a new buyer, if you're a new viewer, thank you and welcome. You don't have to be pre-registered. If you want to bid on something, go right ahead. I'll probably recognize your name. If you end up buying something and I don't say anything about you being a first-time buyer, remind me that you are a first-time buyer. You don't have to be pre-registered. You don't have to be signed up. We do all that after you buy something. So you get registered with us after you buy. No pre-registration. So if you buy something out of the bin, if you buy something back here on an auction, $7 in limited shipping. Tonight starts a new week. So invoices went out today. We kind of do a $7 shipping charge a week because we do this every night. And we have a private group where we do pre-orders, a whole lot of records. So anything you buy tonight, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we combine it on one invoice, $7 in limited shipping. Invoices go out once a week on Monday, and then we ship. I'm going to mute my mic very quickly to drink some water. Thank you. I desperately needed that. I'm going to keep showing LPs here. We have Carol King, the classic album, Tapestry, VG condition, $12.99. That's Carol King Tapestry. I'm going to show a couple more records, and then I'm going to update all three of these auctions because they're getting a lot of activity still. Next is the Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band album. That's Peter Frampton, the Bee Gees, and others. VG condition, $9.99. And George Thorogood, move it on over. George Thorogood is in VG condition, $9.99. All righty. Uh, Stephen Steele's Manassas is VG condition, $9.99 with Chris Hillman and Dallas Taylor. That's a 2LP, VG 999 
and the world of Charlie Parker. A good way to stop right there for a second. Charlie Bark, Charlie Barker, Charlie Parker is in VG condition, 1999. Now, Queensryche, Mark Trahan set out. Alan Montgomery, you've been bumped a couple times. It doesn't look like you're going anywhere. The other person set out. This thing is over. This is sold to Alan Montgomery for $62. The VG Plus copy of Raise Your Order. That is sold to Alan Montgomery for $62. We got metal auctions tonight. We got a few bootlegs. I got some other random stuff, and I got some Kiss collectibles to put up. Grateful Dead is a vintage original bootleg from Dale's Pittsburgh collection. Charles Verano has it for $80. That is the Grateful Dead, regards from the Gulf Coast, the Gold Coast, $80 with Charles Verano. If you want it, you've got to outbid him. And then we have Sabotage. We have Sabotage here. And somebody asked, who's it all signed by? Uh, I see Oliva and Oliva. So I'm assuming that's both Chris and John. And then there's a signature and there's a signature. I think it's signed by all four band members. Uh in shrink wrap, nice. And uh, the last bid that came on this, the, the record's an EX, and the last bid that we had on Sabotage was 130 with Kevin Crowell, 130 with Kevin Crowell. Welcome everybody that's new, welcome everybody who tunes in every night. We have a lot of people watching who tune in every night, so welcome for those people. Uh, and then welcome everybody who is new. We do this every night. Tony Freeman, first on Sgt. Peppers. Reed Gregory, first on George Thurgood. Next is Dave VH on Manassas. Chris Ferrara on Charlie Parker. That is sold to Chris Ferrara. And we have King Crimson. This is in VG condition, 1999. King Crimson Lizard, VG condition, 1999 on King Crimson Lizard. And Freak Out, the Mothers of Invention. That's in VG condition, 2499. Frank Zappa. The Mothers of Invention, Freak Out, VG Condition, 2499. Grateful Dead is 1 LP. Grateful Dead is 1 LP. And we're about to sell it. And Sabotage, we're about to sell that and then put up new auctions. We have the Beach Boys in Concert, VG Condition, 1299 for the Beach Boys in Concert. And 30A Special, Strength in Numbers, VG Plus, 1799. Grateful Dead has a new bid. We're not done there. And Sabotage is about to sell. Kevin saying, please drop the hammer. It's about to sell to him. I'm stepping over here to get the next auction, which is a live Pink Floyd bootleg. This should raise some eyebrows. It doesn't look like anybody's going to outbid them. Let me go back up to the top and confirm that price. That is $130. The sign sabotage to Kevin Crowell. Sold. This is sold. Sabotage, Fight for the Rock. is sold to Kevin Crowell. Signed by the band, $130. That's probably a really good deal. Kevin, I sold you for 130 Now we have Pink Floyd live in New York City. This is a bootleg Pink Floyd live in New York City, 1977. The vinyl is very nice. This is a newer bootleg. Really cool cover there. Live in New York City, that's from the Animals Tour, as you can kind of see going with the similar theme. Uh, Shining You Crazy Diamonds. Actually, they're doing uh, Wish You Were Here stuff. My bad, they're doing Wish You Were Here stuff. Shine on you, Crazy Diamond. Welcome to the machine. Have a cigar. Wish you were here. And then shine on you, Crazy Diamond. How about a $1 start? How about a $1 start? That's Pink Floyd live in New York City, 1977. Pink Floyd, $1 start on that. Sorry, Chad. I need to put back Rolling Stones. Okay, that's all right. We're going to sell it to somebody eventually. That's the second time it's been put back. But that's okay, because I have a feeling somebody's going to want it. This is an original Rolling Stones Hot Rocks, VG Plus Condition, $29.99. Hot Rocks, that's the Essential Stones Collection. It's going back in the bin again. So if you were thinking about it the third time, there's your opportunity. I don't think I've missed any claims. I pulled Charlie Parker. We got new bids on Grateful Dead for $95, new bid for $100. Pink Floyd, $20, $40, $10, $5. 50, Tony Freeman put 38, and that's for 38 special. Pink Floyd's at 55. Charles is out on Grateful Dead. Christopher Brusha, you may be getting that for 100. Final call. Now the Stones is sold. That is sold to Jamie. That is sold. And somebody said it's Freak Out Mono. The Freak Out album is in stereo. VG Condition, 2LP. Frank Zappa, VG Condition, 24 dollars 24 dollars 
All righty. We have Jimi Hendrix, Band of Gypsies. VG Condition, $14.99. Hendrix, Jimi Hendrix, Band of Gypsies. VG Condition, $14.99. And 38 Special, Special Forces. Original winner sleeve, 38 Specials in VG Condition, $12.99. Some great vintage stuff in here went unclaimed. Carol King, King Crimson, Zappa, Hendrix, 38 Special. Let's go ahead and sell the Grateful Dead. This is sold to Christopher Brusha for... $100. Christopher Brusha, that is sold to you. You know what? Let's roll another one. We've already sold Wake of the Flood. Let's go ahead and knock out this other Grateful Dead. Now, Paul said the last time he tried to uh, research this one, it was just so generic, he really couldn't figure out what show it was from. Or not generic. It does say Grateful Dead out west. He never did, could confirm exactly what show it was from. That's why we never did put it up for auction because when we were doing all the Grateful Dead or when we were doing all the bootlegs from Dale's collection, when we bought that collection where we had thousands of these, we were only wanting to sell them if we could really figure out if we could really figure out what show it was from. And I don't think Paul ever could really confirm he said what show this exactly was. It says Grateful Dead out west. It does say Hollywood Palladium, but we never did, could really confirm that. But it is a 2LP. He said the one I just sold. Okay, the one I just sold. That's the one. This one may be from the Hollywood Palladium then. This one says Hollywood Palladium. So is the one I just sold. He never could confirm which show it was. Some of these they don't know. You know, they were bootlegged and no one ever kept good track of it. And you'd have to have a serious deadhead to listen to it to possibly identify the concert. But, boy, that would be very difficult, I would think, unless you were actually there. Grateful Dead, 2LP. So this one says Hollywood Palladium. That might be where this one's actually from. How about a $1 start? It's a 2LP. It's extremely clean. Awesome cover. Awesome back cover. Nice. Nice jacket, too. Vintage Grateful Dead bootleg. $1 starting bid. $1 starting bid. Now, I left off by we pulled the Rolling Stones. Pink Floyd got up to $55 with George Scherer. George Scherer got up to $55 on that. And then Reed Gregory was first on Jimi Hendrix. Thank you, Reed. That's so do you. Slicker Van Slyke bid 58 on Pink Floyd. Christopher Nagy, second on Jimi Hendrix. Jamie wanted Jimi Hendrix and Carol King. You were third on Hendrix, but I can give you the Tapestry album. That is so to Carol, that is so to Jamie Wills Erickson, not Carol King. John Franz the fourth gets 38 special. And then we have a waiting list for Jakey e. Lee and the New Priest. James, those haven't arrived, but we are getting them. They will be in this week. I'm getting all the Jakey e. Lees that everybody was on a waiting list for, and New Judas Priest will be here. If they're not here tomorrow, they'll be here on Wednesday, guaranteed. They're for sure shipped, and they will be here. Pink Floyd's at 60. Uh, Grateful Dead has got lots of bids. Hallbrook CM wants Frank Zappa. That is sold to Hallbrook CM. And we have, here we go, we have Compost. This is in VG condition, $14.99. This is Compost, Take Off Your Body, Compost. That's an interesting looking record. VG condition, $14.99 for Compost. VG condition, $14.99 on that. And Climax Blues Band is VG Plus Condition, Sense of Direction, VG Plus Condition, $14.99 on CBB. UFO, Phenomenon, UFO is in VG Condition. This is $9.99. UFO, Phenomenon, $9.99. That is in VG Condition. And Urban Cowboy Soundtrack is in VG Plus Condition, $14.99. Urban Cowboy, VG Plus Condition, $14.99. Joe Cocker, his self-titled album, Great music on here. VG Plus Condition, $22.99. VG Plus Condition, $22.99 on Joe Cocker. Played at Woodstock. All right, let's go back up to the top. Now, Pink Floyd. Somebody asked, two different people said, could you tell me what's going on with the Pink Floyd? And that's Pink Floyd. It is a bootleg live recording live in New York City. And it looks like they're doing selections from, uh, from Wish You Were Here. Shining You Crazy Diamond, Welcome to the Machine, Have a Cigar, Wish You Were Here. That's the whole album, pretty much, of Wish You Were Here. Live in New York City, 1977. It's a newer bootleg. It is very clean. Scott Ham had that for $60. Scott Ham still has it for $60. If you want it, you got to outbid Scott Ham. He has it for $60. And then that's a final call. Then we put up the Grateful Dead boot for a $1 start. Lots of bids on this, $25.55, and then we had $65. Then we had a $20 bid. We pulled the Zappa, 
And then we have Grateful Dead 65 again. Christopher Brusha first on the compost. That's so to Christopher Brusha. Jackson Blaylock first on UFO. That's so to Jackson Blaylock. John Smetzer second. Jamie third. Chris Ferrara fourth. Alan Montgomery fifth. Josh Tanner first to the Urban Cowboy soundtrack. Kathy Webb second. Josh Tanner first to Joe Cocker. He's first to Urban Cowboy and Joe Cocker. George, George Sher second on Joe Cocker. Then Kathy Webb. Pink Floyd has a new bid for $62. The Grateful Dead has new bids for $66. And now $70. This is the Exorcist soundtrack. Wow. VG Condition, 1999. The Exorcist. Music excerpts from The Exorcist. VG 1999. So... Up at the top, this is uh, Grateful Dead. We have two auctions back here. These are auctions, and then these are buy it nows for somebody that asked earlier. These are being bid on. These, you just have to be first. There's been some people that try to pay more than what I have them priced for. These are buy it nows. You just got to be first, otherwise you don't get it. And then these back here are auctions. Grateful Dead got a new bid for $85. Josh Tanner first on The Exorcist. Nick Orlando was second. We have Jackson Blaylock third. James Rainey fourth. Grateful Dead has a new bid for $88. Autumn is fifth on The Exorcist. And Grateful Dead's at $95. The Pink Floyd is a live bootleg. New York City, 1979, 1977. It looks like they're doing the Wish You Were Here, uh, the entire album. And the last bit on that was Jason, Jason Short. Jason Short for $62, $62 on that. Tell him, America's number one hit, The Exciters, VG Condition, 1999. Tell him, America's number one hit, The Exciters, that's in VG Condition, 1999. And Elvis, Blue Hawaii, an original living stereo, not bad, VG vinyl, but a nice jacket, $24.99. $24.99 on Elvis and Toto, their debut album, VG Condition, $9.99 for Toto. VG 999. We have the best of Pro Call Harem, VG Plus Condition, $14.99. The best of Pro Call Harem. Jamie Wills Erickson first on Elvis Presley. Let's go ahead and get a third auction. Let's go ahead and get a third auction going. Those two are, I think, winding down, but we'll go ahead and get it winded back up with a MoFi pressing. This is a MoFi pressing of the Raspberries Best featuring Eric Carmen, who recently passed away. Rest in peace. Don't see a lot of MoFi pressings on colored vinyl. They actually did this on a limited edition red vinyl. Beautiful, of course, from MoFi. And it's like on a red and black splatter. And it, of course, is pristine MoFi copy of the Raspberries Best. How about a $1 start? This is the, Rab- the Raspberries Best featuring Eric Carmen, Mobile Fidelity Sound Lab, MoFi pressing, beautiful gatefold jacket, thick, 180 gram vinyl, MoFi, $1 start. And it's in the original baggie with that hop sticker that advertised the red vinyl. So that's a limited. And the number on the back, 195. 195. I consider that a pretty low number. That's 195 for the raspberries. That's now auction number three. Now we left off. I did a final call on the Pink Floyd with Jason Short for $62. Grateful Dead had got up to 85 with Charles Verano. 85 on with that. And then John Dorsey bid 88. Then Charles Verano bid 95. And then John Dorsey bid 96. Jamie Wills Erickson got the Elvis Presley. Jackson Blaylock got the Pro Call Harem. Grateful Dead's at 100. Alan, you were second on Pro Call. Rachel Cross, the first on Toto. Raspberries, 5, 10. 25, 15, 25, and 30. Jason Short, no one outbid you on this. You get the Pink Floyd for $62. This is so to Jason Short for $62. Pink Floyd live, NYC 77, doing the Wish You Were Here album. Now we're down to two auctions. We're still bidding on the Grateful Dead, but Charles Verano has it for a final call at 100, and the Raspberries is at 37. Next is Jay Giles' Bloodshot, and it's on red vinyl. Speaking of red vinyl, it's the run they did on red vinyl, VG Plus 1999. And we have Bob Dylan, Hard Rain, VG Plus Condition 1999. This is Bob Dylan, Hard Rain, VG Plus 1999. And Robin Trower, twice removed from yesterday, VG Plus Condition, $12.99. This is the Robin Trower album, twice removed for yesterday, VG Plus 1299. Jackson Blaylock says he already has Pro Call Harem, so Alan Montgomery, I'm going to give this to you instead. 
This is being put back. Let's sell this to Alan Montgomery instead of Jackson Blaylock. Grateful Dead's at 101. Grateful Dead's at 104. And Elvis Presley, it happened at the World's Fair. A German pressing. A German pressing for VG Plus condition, $24.99. Elvis Presley, it happened at the World's Fair. VG Plus, $24.99. Update on the raspberries. The raspberries, Fred Carnell has it for $37. MoFi pressing on red vinyl. Fred Carnell has it for $37. The Grateful Dead is at 101, 104, 105. Nick Orlando on Robin Trower. That is sold to Nick Orlando. Next was Josh Tanner on Elvis Presley. Tim Kingsley, you were next. All right, let's go through that bin one more time. That's our first crate of new vintage stuff. Both auctions just got new bids. I'm about to put up a third one. Let me take another drink of water very, very quickly. Thank you. Definitely needed that. And next on deck is a Monster Energy drink. I think I'm going to need that too, especially after I put up this Alice in Chains record. All right, this is Alice in Chains. The Devil Put Dinosaurs here. This is a bootleg unofficial pressing. This is a bootleg unofficial pressing of Alice in Chains. The Devil Put Dinosaurs here. Now, a couple good and bad things on this. The bad thing is it's a bootleg. It's not official. The good thing is, this is the only way you can get it on vinyl. It's never officially ever been pressed on vinyl. It's never officially ever been pressed on vinyl, just as a picture disc. Another good thing is it's on very cool white vinyl. This is Alice in Chains. The devil put dinosaurs here. It's an unofficial pressing on white vinyl. $1 start. Alice in Chains. $1 start. 2LP. 2LP. The devil put dinosaurs here. White vinyl. It is a $1 start. This is a $1 start. Good luck bidding. Now, let me get the sleeves the right way so I can show you the other LP. AIC, Devil Put Dinosaurs here. There's the LP. That's now up for bid. All right, now Grateful Dead. Charles Verano bid $110. The Raspberries got bids for 39, 38, 39, 40, and 42. And then AIC has a lot of bids. Grateful Dead just got a new bid for 115. Here's what's left in our first bin of check condition. Now, if you're here because you saw a lot of new collections, I think a few of these are from this that we're printing out tonight, but today for us was really like a clean and processed day. Essentially, if you're here for those metal records that I posted, if you saw a picture of something, if you've seen a picture of anything in the last 72 hours, there's a real good chance, except for these auctions that I posted that I did say they were going to be sold tonight. Any of the stuff from like the New Orleans collection, the metal collection from Houston, We'll get the Houston metal stuff, first big night of like nothing but metal will be Thursday as usual. That's when we do a lot of metal. Now, tonight I've got stuff. Tomorrow night I'm going to have metal records. But if you want like a big featured night, that's going to be Thursday. But what I said earlier, as usual, you'll want to tune in every single night this week because we're going to be putting out new great stuff. And we have so many incredible auctions. We have crates and crates full of just amazing stuff like this to auction every night. You'll be able to tune in anytime and, and buy that. So, and I have plenty of new stuff. I got another crate after this, and I have two more crates of new, new vinyl. Now, up at the top, uh, I'll update everything in just a second because I think all three auctions are still getting bids. Let's show you what's left in here. Head East Live, two LPs, VG condition, $12.99. Head East Live. Rick Wakeman, Journey to the Center of the Earth, EX Condition, $17.99. Rick Wakeman, Journey to the Center of the Earth, EX Condition, $17.99. Van Morrison, TB Sheets, an original Van Morrison album, Gatefold, on the bang label, the vinyl's in VG, the cover's in VG or VG minus, $14.99. And Joni Mitchell Blue, a classic, Gatefold, original label, original inner sleeve and insert, $34.99 on Joni Mitchell. The first auction, which is now a final, final call, the Grateful Dead album, has a high bid of Christopher Brusha for $115. This is the Grateful Dead Out West, vintage bootleg on Impossible Record Works, Hollywood Palladium, 2LP from Dale's Pittsburgh Collection. Christopher Brusha has this for $115. Next is the Raspberries, which is a MoFi pressing on red vinyl, limited edition red vinyl, the Raspberry's Best, and this has a bid with Scott Ham for $50. Scott Ham for $50, 
And then we have an unofficial pressing, a bootleg of Alice in Chains, The Devil Put Dinosaurs Here, White Vinyl, 2LP, Autumn Betts has it's 170. This has never been officially released on vinyl. Autumn Betts has it for 170, and now Marianne also bit 170. In here, we have uh, somebody got head east. I know I've seen it. Homeland Conspiracy got head east. That's sold to Homeland Conspiracy. Next is Rod Stewart and Faces, Coast to Coast. EX2299 doing great songs such as Stay With Me, EX Condition 2299. Marshall Tucker Band, this is called Where We All Belong, VG Plus 1799. Gen Cast gets to Rod Stewart, that's sold to Gen Cast. Ducks Deluxe, Don't Mind Rockin' Tonight, VG Condition 999. King Crimson, surprisingly still available, I love this cover, VG Condition 1999. King Crimson Lizard, VG Condition, 1999. King Crimson Lizard. The Beach Boys in Concert, VG Condition, 1299. 2LP Live Beach Boys, Climax Blues Band, VG Plus, 1499. The Exciters, Tell Him, on the original United Artists label, that's in VG Condition, 1999. And Jay Giles Bloodshot, this is on Red Vinyl, VG Plus Condition, that's the limited edition run they did on Red Vinyl, 1999, and Bob Dylan, Hard Rain, VG Plus, 1999. The Grateful Dead is done. We're done, sold. Christopher Brusha, way back up here at the top because Allison Chains has a billion bids. Christopher Brusha got the Allison Chain, or excuse me, the Grateful Dead for 115. 115 on Grateful Dead. All right, I got another vintage bootleg to do, which is from Journey, which is something very unusual looking. And uh, I don't have uh, much details on it, but I'm about to put it up for auction. We're about to sell it either way. Now, we have lots of bids on the Raspberry Steel. The last bid I've seen on the Raspberries, or has it? No, I don't think anybody's bid since Scott Ham's 50. Scott Ham's 50 still stands. Final call then. That's on red vinyl. It's a MoFi pressing, and it's actually... A low number, 195. Scott Ham has it for 50. Eric Carmen. And then we have Allison Chains, the devil put the dinosaurs here. High bid is $250. We got three people currently at war for that record. They are at war. Gen Cast has Rod Stewart. Stephen A. Young, first of the King Crimson. I was waiting for that thing to sell. Amazing music. I've been listening to some 80s King Crimson this week. The Beat album, the Discipline album. I've been listening to that stuff this week. Amazing as well. Stephen A. Young, Slicker, you were second. Hallbrook, you were third. Slicker Van Slyck, you were first, though, on the Jay Giles. And we have Allison Chains at 275, now 300, and another 300. And the Raspberries is at 51. All righty. Let me go ahead and put up a new crate of new, new stuff. If anybody wants anything in that bin, just let me know. Somebody said, can you go ahead and run one of those things of Kiss collectibles you've been yapping about? And I was like, sure. So if y'all remember... End of last year, we bought an incredible batch, uh, well, I'll say collection, an incredible collection of KISS collectibles up in New York City or outside of New York. It was an entire basement full, an entire basement full of KISS stuff, and we auctioned it and auctioned it and sold it and sold it. We still have some remnants left. I still got a KISS table with uh, bar stools. I still got KISS bust. I still got the big KISS figures. I still got the KISS rug. But then we have a lot of just small miscellaneous stuff. And there's some really cool pieces in here and some original. So what I've done is we had all kinds of small stuff. So I've made little grab bags of just random KISS collectibles. And we're going to put them up for auction tonight. There's all kinds of different stuff in here. I'm going to put them up for auction. $1 starts. And there's new stuff. There's old stuff. I'm just going to kind of show you one time. I can't show you everything multiple times. So we'll run it once and I'll kind of give you an idea. For example, you get a Kiss Creatures of the Night sticker. Here's a ticket stub from Madison Square Garden. Uh, what show is this? Madison Square Garden 2019. There's some kind of like coupon or uh, advertisement insert from Paul Stanley's album. Uh, there's more ticket stubs. Here's some older ones. If you consider 1990 older, there's a Kiss convention. There's Madison Square Garden Psycho Circus. I told you this guy was from New York. So it's lots of New York tickets. There's another KISS convention. There's Madison Square Garden 1990. There's a double platinum sticker. KISS collectibles, $1 start. Now, here's some of the really cool stuff. There's some KISS buttons in here. There's an Ace Frehley uh, solo album button. There's a KISS Special Forces sticker. And what else is in here? We have a rock and roll over pin back. There's a rock and roll over pin back. There is the Peter Chris solo album button. 
Uh, the other two's in here as well. There's the Paul Stanley solo button. Here is the uh, Gene Simmons solo button. I think this is actually an original piece here. There's a Kiss Animalize button. I think that's actually something that's original. Definitely looks like it. Kiss Animalize button. Uh, there's a couple more ticket stubs, 1992, and some kind of ticket stub there, 1987. 1987, Ted Nugent opened. Uh, what else is in here? Lots of more buttons. Let me just see if I can hit some highlights. I thought this was really cool. Almost kept that. Space Ace. It's a lapel pin. It looks like the Batman logo. Ace Freely Space Ace. And there's more buttons. There's some flashers. There's a flasher there from Psycho Circus. And what else is in here? That's an idea to get you. So, random kiss stuff. There's a Peter Chris button. There's a Paul Stanley button. There's a Gene Simmons button, Ace button. Looks like there's two different sets of stuff in there. So, kiss buttons, ticket stubs, and pin backs. That's now what forbid. I'm going to put it all in this baggie, and it's going back right here. All right. Also, I just heard a big flash of lightning and thunder here outside the store, so we have bad connections whenever the rain comes in. Wow, y'all are really quiet in the chat. Scott Ham has raspberries for $55. Final call. Ma Michael Obrick says he's out. Final call. And Allison Chains, the devil put dinosaurs here. Marianne was the first person to 300. Marianne was the first person to 300. The Kiss Collectibles. We got bids for two, five, 20, and 20. Rodney Brown was the first person to bid $20. We're at $20 on that. Here we go. Next is Echo and the Bunny Men, new, new vinyl. Echo and the Bunny Men, songs to learn and sing, $33.99. Going through new, new vinyl here. Echo and the Bunny Men, songs to learn and sing, $33.99. Let's hope our connection holds up. Whenever it starts storming, we have bad connection problems. Raspberry's out, raspberry's out. That's about to be your Scott Ham for $55. We have the Psychedelic Furs Book of Days. Psychedelic Furs Book of Days, $36.99. Echo and the Bunny Men. And Disturbed, this is called Immortalized. Disturbed is $39.99. $39.99. We have Ace IC is at $320. And this is Blackberry Smoke. This is $33.99. It's called B right here. I'm pretty sure I went ahead and ordered black vinyl. I don't think this is. Let me look it up right quick. I don't think this is the colored vinyl. Uh, it doesn't say so on the hop sticker. I think I've went ahead, and I can't even remember now what I've done on this. Let me look it up right quick. 197442. And yes, this is black vinyl. Okay, so I did a pre-order for gold vinyl, and I've not been able to get them all in. We've been waiting for them, and I finally have given up, and I went ahead and ordered black vinyl. I didn't want to order black vinyl and then more gold vinyl come in, but it looks like it's been two another two weeks now, and we're not getting any more black any more gold vinyl. So if you want a Blackberry Smoke, this is their newest album. It's on black vinyl. I don't think we're getting any more gold. They have lots of black in stock. First time I've actually offered it other than the pre-order. Black vinyl, Blackberry Smoke B right here, new album. $33.99. That's what's going on with that. All right, so uh, where's our store at? Lebanon, Tennessee. Raspberries, Kiss Collectibles. We got bids for $23, then $31. Allison Chains, $320. Tony Wade put Kisses. That was, what was that, Tony Wade? And then Jerry Stone got Psychedelic Furs. That's so to Jerry Stone. Gigi Schultz wants a Blackberry Smoke. And we have Chris Wood Sr. on a Blackberry Smoke. Chris, you get one. Let's go ahead and sell the raspberries. This is officially sold to Scott Ham for $55. $55 to Scott Ham. And Allison Chains, the high bidder is Mary Ann at $320. The Kiss Collectibles are at $33 with Tony Wade. $33 with Tony Wade. Let me put the raspberries in new sleeve. Let's get some new auctions started. Let's get some new auctions started. Still got another bin of vintage stuff to go through. And like I said, we just got all this new stuff in. I'm ready to empty out some bins up here and do some half-off stuff. So if you're with us tonight, welcome. We're probably going to be doing some half-off records. Let me put the Blackberry Smoke in a new sleeve. It's already in a MoFi sleeve, but I'm going to try to uh, I'm going to try to put this around a uh, new inner sleeve as well. I don't know if I can do this the way I want to right quick. Let me try it this way. Give me one second, everybody. I'm going to try to put this like this. There we go. Now it's in a MoFi sleeve and in a outer sleeve. All right, that's so to Scott Ham. Okay. Uh, 
Blackberry Smoke. Next is Red Hot Chili Peppers Live, the Woodstock performance from 1994. Woodstock 1994, $39.99. We're about to sell Allison Chains to Marianne for $320. If you want to get a bid on the Kiss stuff, you got to outbid Tony Wade. He has it for $33. Final call on that. Metallica, also Woodstock 1994, 2LP. Metallica, Woodstock, 1994, and we have Stevie Ray Vaughan, the Reading Festival, 1983, plus Manchester, 1988. Stevie Ray Vaughan, that's another 2LP, live unofficial, $36.99. How about some Dale's autographs? I probably will get some tonight. Do have lots of metal stuff on deck, but I'll get to some of that stuff as well. Somebody say, can I get new inner sleeves? You can. Let me go ahead and grab these right here. I've got them right here next to me actually just a few steps away. I have MoFi inner sleeves, packs of 50, packs of 50 MoFi inner sleeves. These are $26.99. Packs of 50 MoFi inner sleeves, $26.99. We have one here for uh, Michael Jacob. New bid on Allison Chains for $350 with Jennifer Schrader. Marianne, you're out. Cassie Center wants a Metallica. Alan, I just ordered more of these. I just ordered more of these today, and there's two more on the way. So if, if you want on the waiting list, it will be here, if not tomorrow, Wednesday for sure. Let's give this one to Cassie Center. Alan Montgomery on a waiting list. Marianne also wants a pack of sleeves. All the invoices are sent out. Yes, all invoices are sent out. First pack of Kiss Collectibles is sold. I've got like five or six more items like this to run. Tony Wade gets this for $33. And this is the one that has the buttons and the Creature of the Night sticker and the Double Platinum sticker. That sold to Tony Wade for $33. I'll put up another back like that in just a second. I've got like five more lots like that to run. Some of them have trading cards. Some of them have uh, stickers, et cetera, et cetera. Let's do this auction. I don't recall seeing too many Journey bootlegs. This is very interesting. It actually may be official. This could be something official. I think it is. Yeah. This is definitely from Dale's Pittsburgh collection. This is Journey Raised on Radio. A two-hour turntable salute to classic rock radio. Journey, raised on radio, Thanksgiving special. A two-hour turntable salute to classic rock radio. So I'm assuming that's a live Journey uh, radio, like uh, originally intended for a radio broadcast, raised on radio, which is one of their albums. Uh, radio International. Interesting. I'm thinking a $1 start. Very unusual Journey record there for the Journey collectors. Journey raised on radio. Very interesting there. $1 start. $1 start on that. $1 start on that. So, Michael Jacobs, so you don't want a pack of inner sleeves. He meant outer sleeves. Okay, I'll put a pack of inner sleeves out or back out for, or uh, I'll take that back out of the bin for Michael Jacob. Uh, next. So, yes, invoices have went out. If you haven't got one, then... You need to check again. Marianne got a pack of sleeves. Jennifer Schrader wants Stevie Ray Vaughan. These are $36.99. Aaron Civic wants on the Metallica waiting list. Alan, like I said, those will be in Wednesday. Whenever they show up Wednesday, I'll pull it out of the bin and I'll put your name on it. And then we have uh, Sean Holford also wants on Metallica 1994 wait list. Journey has high bids for $5, $10, $15, $20. Allison Chains is an unofficial pressing. This has never been pressed on vinyl. Marianne has it for $360. It's only been released as a picture disc. Marianne has it for $360. Jennifer Schrader, uh, let me know if you want back in. You was at $350. Marianne's at $360. White vinyl, that's where we're at. John Dorsey gets the last Stevie Ray Vaughan. There's another Woodstock unofficial. That's Red Hot Chili Peppers, $39.99. Echo and the Bunnymen, live, 1983 in Scotland. Limit edition, $300, $33.99. $33.99. I will show outer sleeves in just a second. I don't have them up here right now, but I'll do inner sleeves. Inner sleeves sold to Jamie Wills Erickson. That's sold to Jamie Wills Erickson. Mike Massey wants Echo and the Bunny Men. And then Journey's at 22. Brad Bolin, I will have to put you on a waiting list for that if that's okay. I only got one that's live in Scotland. Spare us the cutter. That's sold to Mike Massey. And before that, Joe Maynard got the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Jennifer Schrader, let me know if you want back in on AIC. The high bid right now is uh, Marianne at $360. And let me make sure I didn't miss anything from Jennifer Schrader. I don't think I missed anything for Jennifer Schrader. So that's a final call. Tim Kingsley's out on journey. Next is Nirvana Madrid 1992. That's on red vinyl. This is Nirvana Madrid 1992. 
1992. Give me one second on this journey. Let me see what I can. Uh, let's see. Here it is. Here it is. Journey. This isn't official. It's a promo radio show. It's a promo radio show, and actually, it is a two-hour radio show distributed for broadcast on Thanksgiving 1986. Steve Perry, Neil Sean, and Jonathan Craig take over the airwaves and talk about songs that influence them and spin these songs. Wow, this is really cool. Uh, this is really cool. It's actually a compilation, and it's a broadcast, and Steve Perry, Neil Sean, and Jonathan Kane are doing the songs. Uh, or talking about the songs that influence them, but there's also journey music. So here's some of the music. Here's some of the music that's on it. The Beatles, I saw her standing there. Cream, White Room, Journey Faithfully, Jimi Hendrix, Foxy Lady, Journey Light, Steve Perry O'Sherry, Santana, Black Magic Woman, Derek and the Dominoes, Layla, Journey, Suzanne, The Zombies is on here. A couple more Journey songs, Raised on Radio, Don't Stop Believing, Led Zeppelin, Dire Maker, or some people call it. Jamaica or something like that. I call it Dire Maker, but evidently it's pronounced Jamaica. And then The Doors, Love Me Two Times, The Who, 515, Journey Separate Ways, The Rolling Stones, You Can't Always Get What You Want, Manford Man, and then it ends with two more Journey songs, Any Way You Want It and Why Can't This Night Go On Forever. So that's actually a radio broadcast with the members of Journey talking about the songs that influenced them. So it's got Led Zeppelin music on it, Who music on it, Cream music on it, Jimi Hendrix, the Zombies, The Doors, and then Journey Music. That sounds really cool. This is Nirvana, live in Madrid, Spain, red vinyl, $39.99. All right, Brad Bolin does one on the wait list. The Echo and the Bunny Man was from 1983. If anybody else wants one, let me know. It was $33.99, $33.99. This one sold to Mike Massey. Brad Bolin on the waiting list. Craig or Mike Brankle, let me know if you want one. Journey had bids for $26.35. Cassie Center got a Nirvana. If anybody else wants one, let me know. That's so to Cassie Center. Reed Gregory also wants on Echo and the Bunny Men wait list. We have Journey 40, Journey 45, Journey 45, Journey 48. And let's go ahead and sell the Allison Chains. This is so to Mary Ann. Devil put dinosaurs here. 2LP, white vinyl, unofficial. And this is sold to Mary Ann. For a high bid of, let me confirm this, 360. That's so to Marianne. Now, Journey has two people that just bid $50, Scott Hamm and Tony Freeman. Mike Brangle wants on the wait list. Craig Thomas wants on the wait list. Kevin Jordan on the Nirvana wait list. Kevin Jordan, first time via email, first time buyer, send info, we'll send again. Okay, thank you, Jeffrey Sapia. Reed Gregory on the Echo and the Bunnyman wait list. Journey's at 55. Next two records is Smashing Pumpkins Unplugged. Smashing Pumpkins Unplugged. It's also an unofficial 2LP, $38.99, $38.99. right, now, speaking of unofficials, this is Soundgarden. It is sealed. I'm pretty sure it's on colored vinyl. This is Soundgarden live on I-5. I don't think this has ever been officially released to. If it is, it's not very easy to get. But this is Soundgarden live on I-5. That's Chris Cornell. Uh, Spoon Man, Searching My Good Eye Closed, Outshine, Rusty Cane, Burden in My Hand, Fell on Black Days, Black Hole Sun, Seek and Destroy. Wow. Soundgarden doing, oh, that's Search and Destroy. My bad. <laughs> Soundgarden live on I-5, sealed, unofficial, $1 start. $1 start. Journey's at 50, 55, 55, 65. Cassie Center wants a Smashing Pumpkins. There's one more left if anybody wants it. Next is a restock of Nine Inch Nails, Pretty Hate Machine, and there was a waiting list for this. Nine Inch Nails, there was a waiting list for this. Let me look it up right quick on my spreadsheet database here. And the Nine Inch Nails was Fred Carnell. Fred Carnell on Nine Inch Nails. And there's two extra copies. That's Pretty Hate Machine, $29.99. Everything in here is new and sealed, by the way. This is new stuff I've got from my distributors. These are all new and sealed LPs, just FYI. Primus. This is called Pork Soda. $39.99 for Primus, Pork Soda. My Name is Mud. That's probably my, famous, my favorite Primus song. My Name is Mud on there. Let me look at the waiting list for that. That's Primus. My Name is Mud. And uh, it's actually called Pork Soda. But there was a waiting list for that. Jerry Stone. Mr. Stone, Jerry Stone, $39.99. So I've got two extra copies. I've got two extra copies of Primus. That's already sold to Jerry Stone. He's on a waiting list. So if you're new, that's how waiting list works. If we sell out of something, if it's something in the new vinyl bins, I'll order it for you. We'll either get it in like in two days or it might be the next week. But whenever it comes in, 
boom, it's automatically sold to you. Now, we have two auctions. We have the Journey. Tony Freeman was at 68. Soundgarden had bids for 50. And then Soundgarden had bids, uh, we had a bid for 50 right off the bat. Journey was at 70. Reed Gregory got a nine inch nails. Out on Soundgarden, out on Soundgarden, out on Jar uh, Journey. Hallbrook CM wants pork soda. That sold to Hallbrook. And the next three records are Creed, My Own Prison. This is $33.99. Soundgarden was released in 2011 on vinyl. That must be very difficult to get because I have never, ever seen an official pressing of that. I think this is the second one I've ever had, and they've all been unofficials. This is Creed. Let me check the waiting list for this, My Own Prison. I don't know if there was a waiting list or not. There is not a waiting list for Creed, My Own Prison. This has the songs torn on it. And my own prison, what's this life for and one? Creed is $33.99. So the newest bid on Journey is Scott Ham at $70. And this is raised on radio. This is a radio broadcast. The host are members of Journey. Neil Sean, Steve Perry. They're talking about songs that influence them and they play them. Music by the Doors, Cream, Led Zeppelin, The Who, and they do Journey songs. All their best music's on here as well. It's a radio broadcast. And that is Journey. And that's at $70. Soundgarden is a sealed, yes, this is a bootleg, unauthorized, counterfeit, pirate copy, whatever you want to call it. This was released without permission by Soundgarden. A bootlegger made this. This is Soundgarden. It's sealed, and it's most likely on colored vinyl. The high bidder is Jeff Carter at $66. I didn't bootleg it. Somebody did. Jeff Carter's at $66 on that. Dave Kavanaugh wants a Creed. That's so to Dave Kavanaugh. Let me go back up the top, make sure I didn't miss anything else. Two Creeds left. And David Lee Roth, Skyscraper, new and sealed, $29.99. $29.99. Does anybody else want a pack of MoFi inner sleeves? I recommend storing all of your vinyl in anti-static outer sleeves. Those are pack of 50, $26.99. Creed was sold. Jerry Stone wants a David Lee Roth. That's so to Jerry Stone. Soundgarden's at 71. We're about to sell Scott Ham the Journey for $70. Let's get another auction going. Our next auction is going to be Rat. This is called Reach for the Sky. Rat. Reach for the Sky. Original inner sleeve. Now, once again, this album's never been reissued as a standalone release. You can get the Rat box set, but look how nice the vinyl is. This is Rat, Reach for the Sky. And it is extremely nice. This is EX Plus Near Mint Minus. EX Plus Near Mint Minus. This is Rat, Reach for the Sky. The cover, Gold Stamp Promo. It does have a saw mark. It's an original retail copy. It does have a little bit of a ding right there on the spine and a little bit of wear right there. It looks like somebody pulled off a sticker that was on it. Possibly a promo sticker. $1 start on Rat. $1 start on Rat. Next was we pulled Jerry Stone's David Lee Roth. Journey got a new bid for $72. Journey got a new bid uh, for $72. Soundgarden was at $75. Jamie Wills Erickson wants a David Lee Roth. James Vasquez wants a pack of inners. And I got to get outer sleeves up here. Give me a second. I haven't tagged any outer sleeves yet. Give me a second on that because I don't have them up here yet. So hold off on the outer sleeves for just a second because I don't have them up here but I did give James Vasquez a pack of inners. I did give James Vasquez a pack of inners. If Tanner was here, I'd have him go grab me a case of outer sleeves right quick. I don't think I have any up here. I don't think I have any up here. So three auctions going. I'm about to put up another random lot of some Kiss collectibles. Let's go through this bin of new stuff one more time. Once again, not much left in here. First is Echo and the Bunny Men, one of their more popular solo albums. That is Songs to Learn and Sing. $33.99. Also, Disturbed, the only Disturbed album we have left, Immortalized, $39.99. That is a 2LP. And we have Blackberry Smoke, and that is B right here. Like I said, if you haven't got any yet, if you haven't got any yet at all, I don't think I'm going to get any more gold vinyl, so I went ahead and ordered black. That is black vinyl. It's $33.99, and that's the newest Blackberry Smoke album. So, sorry for anybody that missed out on the gold vinyl pre-order. That was an allocated release, meaning... I didn't even get everything that I ordered. It was very, very popular. Plus, uh, I, and I ordered it from multiple, I ordered from two different places. And I still didn't get them all. So, Blackberry Smoke. Let's update the auction. So, I introduced a new auction, which was Rat. 
and we had bids right off the bat on wrap for 20 and then 10 and then 20 and then 5 and then 30 and then 25 and 25. Journey got a new bid for 75. Rat has bids for 25, 30, 35, 30. Rat has bids for 40. Soundgarden has a new bid for 76. Marianne wants another pack of inner sleeves. There's another pack of inner sleeves to Marianne. Rat has bids for 40, 46. Soundgarden has bids for 80. Uh, Rat has a bid for 35. We have Journey 75, Soundgarden 81, Journey 80. Hector Morin wants Disturbed. That's sold to Hector Morin. Soundgarden 85, Soundgarden 86. And we have Smashing Pumpkins, Pure Acoustic, $38.99. That's the Smashing Pumpkins Unplugged. Nine Inch Nails, last copy of Pretty Hate Machine for $29.99. Primus Pork Soda, $39.99. Creed, My Own Prison, $33.99 for Creed. Two copies left. Two copies left. All right. That's our next crate. I still have a whole nother crate of new, new vinyl to go through. But first, I've got new vintage stuff that has not been gone through before. So let's go through it. Right now, I've got some new vintage stuff. Like I said, after we go through what's left here of this new vintage stuff, uh, I'm going to start going through some discount bins. Anytime I get an influx of new arrivals from collections, I start trying to clear out uh, some bins up here because uh, that means we just got a new, fresh batch of inventory. So out with the old in with a new. The Jakey e. Lee come in. Those will be here by Wednesday, Chris. They were getting every copy I ordered, and I ordered 15 extras to sell. All three bids, just all three auctions just got new bids. Journey just came in. Scott Ham is at $90. $90. Soundgarden, Jeff Carter, $91. Sealed unofficial. And then Rat A Rods at $55. Reach for the Sky. Beautiful vinyl and original under sleeve. About a VG Plus cover because that ding, a little bit of wear, and it does have a saw mark. That is what is going on there. I put in a huge order. If you think we have some good new vinyl, wait until probably, we probably won't have too much tomorrow. We're going to have a lot of new vintage arrivals for tomorrow from these collections. Wednesday, we should have a huge influx. And then Thursday, or probably tomorrow, there should be some stuff show up. But Wednesday and Thursday should be huge for new vinyl. Huge. Uh, if all that stuff, I mean... I know one between two different distributors, we ordered like $25,000 worth of new vinyl between two different distributors for uh, just, that is a lot. That is, that's box, that's like 20, 30 crates full of new vinyl probably. So that is a lot. That is a lot. Carl Perkins, blue suede shoes, $9.99. Carl Perkins, blue suede shoes, $9.99. Carl Perkins, $9.99. Cheap Trick, Dream Police, $19.99. Cheap Trick, Dream Police. That's a lot to be showing in one night, but hopefully it all comes in and hopefully we sell it all. So we have Carl Perkins. We have Cheap Trick. These are non-check condition. Ed Bruce, tell them I've gone crazy. Ed Bruce is $14.99. Tell them I've gone crazy. $14.99 on Ed Bruce and Chick Corea, the Mad Hatter. Chick Corea is $14.99. The Mad Hatter. All right, so new stuff in here, new pre-owned and vintage, clean, checked, and inspected. Journey has a new bid with Scott Ham for $90, and that's where we're at. And that's now going twice, going three times. Journey, raised on radio. It's a radio broadcast. Led Zeppelin's on there, The Who, The Doors, etc. $90. Soundgarden. I see an out. I don't think anybody's bid since Jeff Carter bid 91. Jeff Carter's still at 91. Final call. Rad had bids for 60, 65, and 70 with Jeffrey Dunlap. 70 with Jeffrey Dunlap. Hallbrook CM first on CP. That was cheap. Uh, Hall, that was Carl Perkins. Hallbrook on Carl Perkins. Jackson Blaylock on CC for Chick Corea. Wow, we still got the uh, Cheap Trick Dream Police in there. There's Ed Pruce and the Pointer Sisters Contact. $9.99. The Pointer Sisters Contact. That's $9.99. Sweet Substitute, something special. Sweet Substitute is $9.99 for something special. Sweet Substitute, that is available. And we have uh, Dancer. This is a K-Tail compilation. Never seen this one. Stacy Metternich, where are you? Funky Town is the first song. Don't Stop the Music. Fantastic Voyage, Lakeside, $9.99. $9.99. And Million Dollar Memories Volume 2, that's a compilation. $9.99, that's a $9.99. $9 
All right. Uh, where did we get to? I think we were done on Journey. The last thing I said was Scott Ham at 90. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. Rat had a bid for 70. Soundgarden got a new bid for 100. Rat got a new bid for 75. Soundgarden got a new bid for 101. Rat got a new bid for 80. Soundgarden got a new bid for 105. Cheap Trick is 1999. No condition notes. Curtis Marachi first on KTL. That's so to Curtis Marachi, KTL. Susie was second. Steven third. Jackie fourth. Jamie fifth. Christopher Brusher wants memories. Soundgarden 106. Brad Bullen wants the Pointer Sisters. And we have Journey. That was already a final call. Let's get some of those new Kiss collectibles up for auction. Let's go ahead and tag this though. Scott Ham, $90. What a cool bootleg. And the high, some of these had sold as much. I had the Discogs still pulled up. Some of them had sold on Discogs as much as $200. Some of, one had sold on Discogs as much as $200. I have, uh, this isn't official. I have it pulled up right here. So, uh, yeah, one sold a VG Plus. VG Plus sold back May of last year for $200. Scott Ham gets that for $90. That is something you don't see very often. What a cool thing. Journey talking about the songs that influenced them. And they actually play them. That's a cool record. Rad is now at 100 with Robert Phillippe. We have an out on Soundgarden. Jeff Carter has it for 106 Okay, and then Chris Rush got memories. So, like I said, we sold a bag of some Kiss collectibles earlier. Um, here is the next one, which, let me see what this is here. I'm actually going to do, let's do these action figures next. I'm going to sell both of these baggies together. Now, I don't want to get all these out because there's a lot of small pieces, but I think these are... Psycho Circus. I think these are Psycho Circus figures. I know those for sure are. There's Paul and there's Peter. Of course, has lots of little accessories. There are weapons. There's a drum. And then there's the Psycho Circus uh, clown, I believe. And then there's a different figure of Gene Simmons. I'm not for sure where that came from. There's the dog-looking thing. Lots of instruments. Just random, small little kiss things. I think that's from Psycho Circus. But there it is, some KISS action figures and random accessories. Just small. This guy had all this stuff displayed throughout his basement in his KISS collection. Just loose pieces. One dollar start. And that's for both of these baggies. That's for both of these baggies of KISS action. Loose KISS action figures and accessories. One dollar start. One dollar start. That's going up for bid. All right. We have up at the top, Soundgarden at 106. We have Rat at 100 or Rat 110. And we have Scott O'Man says he will take Cheap Trick. Pam says passes. There's the Kiss figures. We have uh, Derek Zaro. Uh, if you say out, I can't, I, I unfortunately can't let you bid again if you've already said out. So Jeff Carter has this for 106. That's one of our many staple rules here. If you've said out, I can't have you go out, uh, can't have you bid again. So Jeff Carter has this for 106, final call. So, and then Rat has a high bid at 110. That's just one of our few rules. If you say out, you can't bid again because sometimes the person hops off and they think they've won it, then they come back to find out that they've lost it. So, sorry about that. 106, final call. Rat's at 115. That is a sealed, unofficial pressing. Let's keep going through some new stuff. I have a 12-inch single of Donna Summer, $9.99 on Casablanca. Speaking of Kiss, promotional copy not for sale. MacArthur Park, it looks like a MacArthur Park medley, $9.99, that's Donna Summer, Casablanca, uh, ride, a white ride a White Swan, that's T-Rex, this is a music for pleasure, there's some cover damage to it, but that's a UK, that is $19.99, that's Ride a White, wide, boy, blah, Ride a White Swan, T-Rex, that's a music for pleasure, UK, I believe that's a compilation, 1999. Nitty Gritty Dirt Band, All the Good Times. Haven't seen that one in a while. Nitty Gritty Dirt Band is 1999. It does have a clip corner, but that's 1999. And we have Uriah Heap, Look at Yourself. Uriah Heap is 1799 with the mirror cover. It actually has the mirror cover on there. So we're still bidding on Rat. Jeffrey Dunlap's at 125. Let's go ahead and sell the Soundgarden to Jeff Carter for 106. Soundgarden is sold for 106. Great records tonight, both auctions and in the bins. And like I said, I think y'all are going to like the half off bins. I'm in a mood just to go ahead and just do crazy deals. Let me drink another monster. There's no telling what I might do. I might start giving stuff away. There it's sold, and Rat is at 115. Let's get a new auction. This looks pretty cool. This looks pretty cool. This is Dwayne Almond, Statesboro Blues. It is Dwayne Almond, and it's an unofficial live recording. Now, what I don't understand is 
It says live recording October 17th. Somebody wrote this information here, but you know, I don't know him to be playing solo concerts. I'm assuming that's with the Almond Brothers. I'm assuming that's with the Almond Brothers, but that's Dwayne Almond. It's an unofficial from Dale's Pittsburgh collection or from some collection. I'm pretty sure all this came from Dale. Very clean vinyl. It says Dwayne Almond, Statesboro Blues. How about a $1 start? How about a $1 start? There we go. Dwayne Almond, Statesboro Blues, $1 start. That's a vintage bootleg now going up for auction. Dwayne Almond, Statesboro Blues. I'm assuming that's an Almond Brothers concert. I'm assuming that's an Almond Brothers concert, but uh, somebody wrote Dwayne Almond. I don't know him to have ever played a solo concert unless somebody knows something I don't. So there it is. All right, let's go back up to the top. Now, uh, back up at the top, we have Rat at 125 is where I was at. Now, the Kiss figures, uh, let me update these. Both bags here, Jimmy LaCroix, Jimmy LaCroix had bid $20. Jimmy LaCroix had bid $20 on the Kiss figures. Jimmy LaCroix still has it. And then Rat was at $125. That's where I stopped. Mike Torrey's got the Donna Summer. I hadn't pulled any of these yet. Mike Torrey's got Donna Summer. Chris Farrar was second. Uh, Brian C. got the T-Rex. Ride a White Swan. That's so to Brian C. Josh Tanner on Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. That's so to Josh Tanner. And Paul Ogley got Uriah Heap. That's so to Paul Ogley. Dwayne Allman has bids for 10, 15, 20, 20, 25, and another 25. John Dorsey was in first. Sweet Revival. That looks interesting. It's on Shelby Singleton, 1999, SSS International, 1999. Is that... What I th yeah, SSS International. That's 1999. Clean vinyl. And we have FM Live. That's Climax Blues Band. 2LP Live. Looks like the radio dial. 1999. Are we done on rap? Did the other bidder say out? Uh, this was 125 with Jeffrey Dunlap. I was making sure Robert Phillippe knew he was out. Robert Phillippe, just waiting for word for you. That's at 125. 125. And Dwayne Allman, this is Statesboro Blues. And it says live recording October 17th, 1971. October 17th, 1971. October 17th was his final show. Final, no. Okay, so yeah. Okay, there we go. Yes, so that's the, yeah, that's that's been officially released. That's the Almond Brothers of Final Note. So yeah, I was about to say, I don't think Dwayne ever did play anything solo. So this is definitely the Almond Brothers. That was that last concert. That makes it even more special. Very cool. Carol Puckett has it for 50 and Robert Phillippe's back in on the rat at 130. I was making sure he knew he was out. He's still in. Now, the Kiss figures are a final call, and that's with Jimmy LaCroix, and he has them for $20. If anybody else wants to bid on the suite, on the... What? Uh, I think a Transformer just blew up outside. <laughs> we have uh, Kiss at $20. That's happened before here. Do y'all remember that night? There was a Transformer that blew up across the street, and it was like... Uh, arcing, and I went outside and showed y'all. Yeah, something. I hear like electrical surges. If the power goes out, that's what happens, okay? We're in the middle of a storm here. It's not too bad, but it's raining pretty steadily. Uh, okay, we're about to sell that. Back to the bin. Commander Cody, 1999, and his Lost Planet Airman. That's a clean copy. Always like that cover. Commander Cody is 1999, and we have the Fabulous Thunderbirds rock this place. That is a 12-inch single, $9.99 for the Fabulous Thunderbirds. Eddie Money, $14.99. There is a stain right here on the cover. It does have the original on her sleeve, $14.99. That's a UK copy. That is a Holland Press. That's a Holland Press, $14.99. George Scherer on CC for Commander Cody. Rats at $140. John Franz wants Eddie Money. Jimmy LaCroix, you get the Kiss figures for $20. Jimmy LaCroix, those are sold to you for $20. Jimmy LaCroix, thank you. That's both baggies of these Kiss figures. Those are sold to Jimmy LaCroix for $20. Those are sold to Jimmy for $20. Let me go ahead and put up the other stuff. Here's some more Kiss stuff. Once again, a $1 start. Once again, a $1 start. In here, we have some Kiss magnets, some matches, and some cards. Matches, maxes, and cards. $1 start. These are all fridge magnets. Gene Simmons, picture of the band, another picture of the band a different picture of the band, another picture of Kiss, and another picture of Kiss. Those are all fridge magnets. There's six fridge magnets there. There's some loose cards. Uh, looks like from 2001, just a loose deck of cards there, trading cards, and some matchbooks. And these matchbooks have Creatures of the Night, Creatures of the Night, 
and dress to kill. So three different packs of matches there and some uh, magnets and some cards. One dollar star. There's some more random kiss stuff. That's now up for bid. All right, back at the top. Christopher Brusha on Climax Blues Band. That's so to Christopher Brusha. We have Rad at 145. Adrian, you were second on Commander Cody. There's the kiss stuff. The best of the love and spoonful with the photos. This has all four of the photos to $14.99. The best of the love and spoonful, $14.99. That is a gatefold with the photographs that originally came with it. The Whalers out of our tree. The Whalers is $29.99 in shrink wrap. The Whalers, nice copy on the etiquette label, $29.99 on the Whalers. And we have Gene Phillips and his Rhythm Aces. I like them fat. I like them fat. Gene Phillips, that is $16.99. Gene Phillips, that's now up for bid. Let's update these auctions. We got three auctions going on. We're in a bin of new vintage arrivals. We still got new vinyl to go through. Then we're going to get hot and heavy in some vintage on sale. Rat. Robert Phillippe was at $140. Jeffrey Dunlap's at $145. $145. $145. And then next is Dwayne Allman. Dwayne Allman has got a high bid of 55 of Jennifer Schrader. This is called Statesboro Blues, which is the last concert. That's at $55. That was the last concert he did before he tragically passed away. Jennifer Schrader had that for $55. All right, then we had Eddie Money, Eddie Money, Crimex Blues Band. We had uh, Kiss, the Magnets, the Magics, the Matches, the Magnets, and the Cards. We had bids for one, 10, 10, and five. Christopher Allen put LS. LS was for Love and Spoonful. And then we have uh, another $15 bid on Kiss. George Sherry got Gene Phillips, a $15 bid on Kiss, a $150 bid on Rap, and we have The Waitresses, $19.99. The Waitresses is $19.99. Red Polydor wait label, Waitresses. Also, Bob, wow, that's his first album, Bob Seger System. Rambling Gambling Man, it's on a yellow reissue label, but that is the Bob Seger System, $26.99. Travis Wade first on The Waitresses, that's so to Travis Wade. Paul Simon, One Trick Pony. Paul Simon is $19.99. $19.99, Paul Simon, One Trick Pony. Update on the Kiss Collectibles. Tony Sean Holford was in first at $15. That's on the magnets, the matches, and the cards. Uh, Sean Holford's in at $15. Everybody else is out. We have Christopher Brusha first on BS for Bob Seeker. Thomas Hujar was second. Cassie Center third. Nobody else. Nobody else bid uh, on Dwayne Allman, right? So Jennifer Schrader gets this for $55. Jennifer Schrader gets this for $55. This sold to Jennifer Schrader for $55. That is sold. I have a bot I need to get rid of. Okay, give me one second. You can go ahead and report them. Sometimes Facebook blocks them right away, but I will take care of that. I've got my laptop next to me. That's sold. They're still having war over rat. Jeffrey Dunlap's at 155. 155. Bot, block the bot. Bot, Chad, there's a bot in the feed. Chad, we have a bot. Block the bot. Please remove the bot. Chad, delete the bot. There's a bot, Chad. Chad, there's a bot. Bot, please take down the bot. Chad, we have a bot. Please block the bot. Bot. Next auction is quite right, Metal Health. This is a $15 start. This is quite right, Metal Health. Very nice vinyl, EX Plus, $15 start. This is quite right, Metal Health, $15 start. Quite right, Metal Health and original pressing, $15 start. $15 start, quite right. Thank you for the bot. I don't like bots. I'm glad people are telling me. Let me know as soon as one pops up. We don't want the wrong person clicking on something, getting hacked, spreading propaganda, whatever it is. We block two different types of people on here. We block bots, and we block anybody that's complaining or has negativity. So if you're complaining or have negativity, and when I say complaining, like just unnecessary complaining, then uh, I'll remove you, or if you're a bot. So if you're a bot, you're going to get blocked, like Rhonda Bryant. Hello there, Craig. How's the weather condition with you today? That's what she asked you, Craig. Ban from page? Confirm. Goodbye, Rhonda. All right. Only two things get blocked. Well, actually three. If you don't pay for your records, if you're a bot, or if you're complaining about anything, you just get blocked. Next records. 
ELO, a new world record, 1999. This has the original inner sleeve with it. Electric Light Orchestra, a new world record. And we have Stevie Wonder, Songs in the Key of Life, 2LP with the booklet, a classic album. Stevie Wonder is $34.99. $34.99. Stevie Wonder, Songs in the Key of Life. Back up at the top. We left off. I think we were done on the Kiss stuff. Sean Holford had it for $15. That's for the magnets, the matches, and the cards. If I get to the bottom and nobody else's bid, I'm selling that to Mr. Sean for $15. We so we had Rad at $160, and then quite right at $35 and $20 and $20 and $40 and $26. Rad had a new bid for $165. Chris Ferrara got the Paul Simon. Nice pickup there. That's so to Chris Ferrara. And if you got an invoice, then you send Christopher either reply to the square invoice. Send us an email, send us an email through Square or send us an email directly. Ed will take care of you. Next is Jason Franz on Stevie Wonder. That's so to Jason Franz. We have Quiet Right at 41. Tony Freeman is on the Kiss merchandise at 16. And we have Rat. Did anybody sell it yet? Robert Phillippe, you've been outbid again. Jeffrey Dunlap has it for 165. Never mind. Robert Phillippe's at 170. Jimmy LaCroix at 41 on that. Mr. Sean, I got to the bottom, and there was a new bid. Mr. Tony bid 16, and now Rat's at 107. Wow, not much left in here. Well, let's do a quick update. Wow, nobody got ELO? 1999, Tracy Soinger, Whalers. I thought I pulled that for you. I, let me make sure I didn't pull the wrong record earlier. Tracy Soinger on Whalers. Did I, I thought I already pulled that for you. Let me make sure. Waitresses. Nope, I didn't. Okay, so Tracy Soinger on Whalers. That's so to Tracy Soinger. There's another one gone, and we have uh, ELO, a new world record, 1999, Electric Light Orchestra, original on her sleeve, 1999, amazing music on here, Tightrope, Telephone Line, Rockeria, Mission, So Fine, Living Thing, Do Ya, Shangri-La, 1999, somebody please buy that. We're going to go in backwards order. Fabulous Thunderbirds, Rock This Place, that is $9.99. We have Sweet Revival. $19.99 for Sweet Revival. We have Sweet Substitutes, something special. Sweet Substitutes is $9.99. And we have Ed Bruce, Tell Them I've Gone Crazy, $14.99. All right, now we can move the Kiss items to a final call again. Tony Freeman has that for $16. We have uh, Rad at $170. Uh, Quiet Ride at 43. Tracy got the Whalers. Rad at 175. Rad 180. Rad is a USOG. It is a gold stamp promo. It has an inner sleeve. The vinyl's near mint minus. It's a saw mark. It has a little bit of wear there. And it has a spine crinkle. That's at 185. All right. Somebody, please buy Electrolyte Orchestra. I'm begging you at this point. I've listened to that album so many times. Shangri-La, Do You Do You Want My Love? Thank you, Michael Ruckman. I was about to say, what is? I was concerned about the status of the earth. All right, let's go through some new, new vinyl over here. Thank you, Tanner, for marking all these before the show started. Otherwise, we wouldn't have had hardly much to go through at all tonight, even though we just bought 20,000 records. Um, somebody's asked about posters tonight. Posters tonight is an if. For a couple reasons, one, we got so much to do to get ready for tomorrow, and I think it might be a good night not to do posters, especially since it's Monday night. But stick with us. Come back around 11 or 12 when the show's probably more so wrapping up, and I will let you know, okay? So uh, let me know. I'll take Sweet Revival that's still available. Jim Hickson wants Sweet Revival, and somebody got ELO. All right, so they only left two records in there, The Fabulous Thunderbirds, and uh, that's actually Sweet Substitute. Nope, that's Sweet Revival. Okay, yeah, Sweet Revival. All right. So, uh, yeah, posters are kind of iffy for tonight. I really haven't made up my mind. Uh, I've got all the stuff. Uh, Paul, where he was gone for like four days, Paul's going to be off tomorrow. So John's going to be here, but we really got to start getting this new stuff out. So you may see some Chad crates tomorrow. I got to start marking some stuff myself. All right, now somebody asked, what's the KISS items? Clay, you just extended the clock on this by asking. These are uh, KISS matchbooks, Dress to Kill, Creature of the Night. There's some KISS fridge magnets, various KISS, KISS fridge magnets, and some KISS cards. And the high bid and the final call 
was to Tony Freeman at $16. Tony Freeman has that lot there for $16. Kiss Matchbooks, Kiss Magnets, and Kiss Cards, $16. Michael Ruttman got ELO. Rat got a bid for $190. We have Rat at $195. Jim Hickson got Sweet Revival. And we have Rat at $200. Now, Quiet Ride is definitely a final call. The last bid was with Robert Phillippe at $43. Robert Phillippe at $43. No posters, I know. I'm going to have some disappointed people. Clay, let me know if you're bidding on KISS. If you say out, I'll go ahead and sell it. All right. How about this? Everybody let me know where you're watching from. It's We got a lot of people on. I got, I'm showing 356 people on all three platforms. What a great turnout. This usually happens whenever we have a lot of new stuff uh, come in. Everybody's very curious. All that stuff will be cranked out all this week. Big metal auctions all night. I still have stuff over here I hadn't even got to yet in the realm of metal. Uh, we've had some incredible auctions. Lots of battles already tonight. I'm very curious where we have viewers from. If you're new, say hi. Welcome new viewers. Don't be afraid to say hi. I'm, uh, I'm going to make sure the money I spend uh, on advertisements is working. I think it is. Otherwise, we wouldn't have new customers every night. The power of Facebook is at work along with YouTube. Uh, YouTube is, we get all kinds of new people on YouTube right now. I think we surpassed another thousand followers this week or subscribers, which is incredible. Last Monday, last Monday I said we surpassed. A week ago tonight I said we've got over 7,000 subscribers on YouTube. As of earlier when this video started, we had about 8,200. So we've had 1,200 new subscribers on YouTube in one week. That is incredible. So thank you for subscribing to our YouTube page. If you hit the notification, even if you watch on Facebook, make sure you get on YouTube and you turn on the bell where you subscribe and it will send you a notification as soon as we go live. Even if you don't watch on there, you'll get a direct notification whenever we go live. And it's that way you know we're on and then you can hop over to YouTube. I got new new vinyl. Let me crack open an ice cold brew here. This is Monster Rehab. They do not sponsor this show, but I have been drinking these since 2012 almost on a daily basis, and uh, they need to sponsor me. There's no telling how many exposure, uh, how much, man, there's no telling the value of advertisement I've given them free on this show and on my post and everything. Somebody who, does anybody have any connections at Coca-Cola? I need some free monsters. I'm going to mute my mic right quick. So essentially, essentially, welcome. Wow, we got a lot of new viewers. Or we got a, a, a lot of new viewers this has topped on. Okay, wow, here we go. Uh, let me figure out where I left off. We were at, Quiet Rot was at 43, and Rat was at 175. Then Rat was at 180. Then Rat was at 185. Then we pulled ELO. Then Rat was at 190. Then Rat was at 195. Then Rat was at 200. Clay Moore bid 18 on Kiss. Tony Freeman, you got a bid. Clay Moore bid 18 on the Kiss items. Quiet Right 44. Iowa, Montana, North Carolina, Kentucky, Texas, Texas, Louisiana, Nebraska, Memphis, Florida, Oklahoma, Los Angeles, North Carolina, Michigan, Minnesota, Washington State, Nebraska, Texas, Tennessee, Colorado, Louisiana, Louisiana, Chicago, Canada, North Carolina, Indiana, Las Vegas, Kentucky, Indiana, Iowa, Kentucky, Alabama, Louisiana, Texas, Virginia, Florida, Indiana, Michigan, Chicago, Pennsylvania, Texas, Kentucky, Texas, the Netherlands, Oregon, Illinois, D.C., Knoxville, Tennessee, Middle Earth, Texas. Down by the river, I have a vice president sale. I do, but it will cost you. Well, a sponsorship costs me. It's supposed to be the other way around. Uh, we have uh, Quiet Right 45, Nevada, Montana, Florida, South Carolina, California, Texas, and Spring Billy. Brooklyn, New York. Wow, Brooklyn. Rat. Where did we get to? Robert Phillippe. I need everybody to update their bids because now they're buried in the comments. The last bid I had was 200 with Robert Phillippe. And Jeffrey Dunlap, you had been outbid. Robert Phillippe had this for $200. 
Robert Phillippe had this for $200. And then we have Quiet Ride at 45 also of Robert Phillippe. Tony Freeman, in case you missed it, you got outbid on Kiss. Clay Moore has these items for $18. $18. All right, new, new vinyl. First thing is the Psychedelic Furs, New York, live, 1982, un unofficial from Parachute, 2LP, Psychedelic Furs, 1982, $39.99, $39.99. Also, additional viewers in Florida and Florida. Do you have any Latin salsa LPs or 45s? Yes and no. I do have them, but I don't have them out for sale right now. Next is the Eagles, Hotel California, remastered, a new and sealed copy, gatefold, $33.99, $33.99. Another Blackberry Smoke, this is like an arrow. Let me check the waiting list for this. There actually might be a waiting list for this Blackberry Smoke. Let me check right quick, Blackberry Smoke, and let me type in Blackberry. I love Blackberry Jelly at Cracker Barrel. Uh, like an arrow. Yeah, two people on a waiting list, Charles Verano and Billy Humphrey. Charles Verano and Billy Humphrey. So these are already sold. These are already sold. Now, I know for sure I just ordered more like this morning. So they'll be here, if not tomorrow, then by Wednesday. So these are sold. If anybody wants on a wait list, this is the one that has Greg Almond on it, $36.99. So those are already sold on the waiting list. If you want, if anybody else wants on there, let me know. I got more on the way. Charles Verano and Billy Humphrey. Now, does Jeffrey Dunlap know? He, he said out. Okay, this is done. Thank you. I'm just now seeing that. This is done. Let's get some fresh auctions up. We've been on this thing for about 25 minutes. It's going to Robert Phillippe. He gets it. Gold stamp promo, $200. That is sold. And let's go ahead and get some new auctions. I'm also about to sell Clay, the Kiss collectibles. I got a Kiss, a CD box set to auction and some other random smalls like those. We call these smalls. In the collectible industry, we call this kind of stuff smalls, this little small stuff here. That's sold for $18 to Claymore. That packet is also sold. I'm gonna put that over here with the other items. And uh, quite right, I think Robert Phillippe had that for $45, right? Robert Phillippe had this for $45. When I come back, I'm gonna sell it. That's an OG copy, very clean. And we got uh, Deidre Schultz on the Blackberry Smoke wait list and Jerry Stone on the Blackberry Stone wait list. And we have Led Zeppelin. I got three. I just ordered 15 more. I was like, I'm going to go ahead and stock up on these because their stock is slowly coming down. They're, all my distributors, are they're, unless they decide to repress more, I can see the stock coming down. They used to say like 99 plus available. When I ordered 15, they had like 73 left. That's the clear vinyl. Clear Vinyl, Led Zeppelin 4. That's on Clear Vinyl, their fourth album, remastered, and that's part of the Atlantic 75th anniversary celebration on Clear Vinyl. All right. I've got metal. I've got other auctions over here. The next thing we're going to do is a... I don't know. Oh, I bet this is good. I bet this is good. Here, give me one second on this. Uh, this fairin here, I'm pretty sure this is not an easy one to get. Let me check this right quick. 1008396 and yes, this is the this is the Met Club edition. This is the Metallica. This is the Met Club edition, the Metallica Fan Club edition, Smoky Black LP. Smoky Black LP. Colored vinyl, their newest album 72 seasons, Lux Eterna. Love that song. If darkness had a sun, I like it. New Metallica sealed Met Club edition on smoky colored vinyl, $25 start. I could say a dollar. Let's go ahead and say $25. We'll save a lot of time. $25 start on that. All right, back up at the top. Cassie Center wants a Led Zeppelin. We have Forrest Appleton on a Led Zeppelin. There's lots more on the way if anybody else wants to go ahead and claim one. This is sold for $45. Led Zeppelin is sold for $45 to Robert Phillippe. Robert, you get that. Metallica's up for bid. Now... That's the Mac Club. It is sealed. It is sealed. This is from, uh, we're still doing Don Brzezinski's metal collection. I'm trying to take a chunk of these out because we just bought another huge metal collection in Houston. So I'm trying to sell off a little bit earlier than normal some of his stuff, and we just needed some auctions for tonight. So I'm pulling all kinds of random stuff to auction like rat. We never can get enough rat. Never. Even with the box set out, there's still a huge demand, especially for this album. They're most popular out of the cellar, out of the cellar, and this appears to be very nice. We're going to go ahead and call it EX, maybe borderline VG+. 
This is out of the cellar. It has the original Atlantic inner sleeve. I'll give this one a cleaning. It looks like it needs a wipe down, so I'll tag this one for to be cleaned. And this is not a club. This is a U.S. original. This is a U.S. original. Rat out of the cellar, $1 start. Well, let's call it VG Plus EX. Led Zeppelin's $33.99. Uh, Metallic is a $25 and $30. Next is Nickelback. Uh, I've got one in, but I went ahead and ordered two more. This was a special request for Crystal Newman. It's their newest album. It's on orange vinyl. So that's Nickelback, Get Rolling. That's $33.99. I've got two more on the way, like I said, from that new order I keep talking about. There's two more on the way if anybody wants to go ahead and reserve one of those. This is Get Rolling. This is Nickelback's newest album. It's on orange vinyl. Cool cover there. $33.99. That's Nickelback. That is $33. That is $33.99. There's a Led Zeppelin. Also, we have Blackberry Smoke. This is Southern Ground Session. Southern Ground Session. That's on Orange Crush, Orange Crush Vinyl. Oliver Ward, Amanda Shires plays on this one. That's on Orange Crush Vinyl, $28.99 for that Blackberry Smoke. Let me check the waiting list for that. The waiting list for that is, nope, I don't have any other waitlist list except for the Gold Vinyl, uh, newest one. So Blackberry Smoke is $28.99, $28.99. Okay, Alice in Chains. This is an unofficial pressing. They're on colored vinyl, $24.99, $24.99. Damn that river, we die young. Them bones, wood, junkhead, godsmack, put you down. Sick man, it ain't like that. Angry chair and man in the box. That's Oakland, California, 1992. Oakland, California, 1992. I've got five of those. I've got five of those. Alice in Chains, $24.99. I haven't shown that one in a while. Went ahead and ordered several of those. Update on Metallica. We put this up for a $25 start. We had bids for $30, $25, $26, $30, and then Rat got a bid for $30, and then Rat got a bid for $35, and then $10, then $25, then $5, then $40, then $50, and then $40. And then 40, Jerry Stone wants on that Nickelback waiting list. Jamie Wills Erickson wants on that Nickelback waiting list. Charles Verano takes a Blackberry Smoke. That's so to Charles Verano. Rat 55, Rat 55, and then Allison Chains is so to Jeff Carter, Cassie Center, Larry Drish, Adrian Villarreal. There's one copy left. We have Rat at $60. Robert Phillippe also gets an Allison Chains. Rat at $63. That means we need an update on Metallica, 72 seasons. This is the Met Club edition, and the high bid, I've got Robert Phillippe at $30. Michael Jacob was in first. Michael Jacob was in first, and he still has it. So Jason Conklin just bid $35. Jason Conklin's at $35, and Rats at $63 with Thomas Hujar. Next record is The X-Files. There was already a waiting list for this. My, these are always... i got to watch The X-Files because the soundtrack has the, the most incredible demand I've ever seen. The X-Files. Uh, I've never seen this before, but there is always, always a waiting list for the X-Files soundtrack. Jason Kenton was on the wait list. I've only got one, but there was only one person on the wait list. Limited edition going in the dark vinyl. I've been selling these for years, too. I've got to check this out because if the soundtrack sells as well, the show has to be good. Music by Mark Snow. $29.99, Glow in the Dark Vinyl. That is sold to Jason Kenton. If anybody else wants one, I've got them on back order. Two auctions up, but let's put up some more KISS stuff. The next KISS items are going to be, I don't know. I have a CD box set. Let's do this. Let's actually put up some KISS media. Uh, this is the Definite KISS Collection, uh, which has like this one here, Strutter, Demo, uh, 100,000 Years, Bell Sound Studios demo. It's, uh, I think it's just called Kiss Definite Collection. Here's Kiss. Here's the book. And I think it's a four, five, six, five CD. Let's see what's going on here. That one's sealed. It's three, five, five CDs. Let me check them all right quick. I don't know if I've actually looked at these. One dollar start. Disc one, 19, wow, 1966 to 75. What's that? The uh, That's got to be some of those, uh, whatchamacallit demos. That's nice. Disc one. There's disc one. Let me find disc two. Disc two is sealed. Disc two is sealed. Disc three. Disc two is 75 to 77. Disc three, 76 to 82. Wicked Lester is what I'm looking for. That has a few scuffs on it. Not bad. A few scuffs. Disc three. And then let's look at disc four and disc five. Disc four, 
used condition, not bad. There's some smudges on there. And then here's disc five. Is there something missing? There's disc five. Disc five is very nice, 92 to 99. Is there five discs? There's five discs, and then there's the book. Kiss is up for bid for a $1 start. There you go. All right, now I left off. We have uh, Metallica. We had bids, new bids for 35. Michael Jacob bid 40. Rat was at 65. We have uh, Jerry Stone wants on the X Files waiting list. Rat 67. Rat 69. Kiss 25. Rat 70. Uh, Rat 72. Kiss is at 10. Rat is at 80. Kiss is at 20. Kiss is at 1. I'll tell all about those three auctions in one second. First, Blackberry Smoke, find a lot. All three of these are available. Blackberry Smoke. $36.99. Let me make sure I didn't put him in my, in my waiting list as BBS. BBS, I did not. So Blackberry Smoke is available. I've still got all three copies, $36.99. All three copies for $36.99. And I have The Offspring. This is called Americana. Americana, $36.99. The Offspring, gatefold, single LP. Now, Metallica, the, uh, let's go first here. Met Club, that's the Metallica fan club, their edition of their new album, Smoky Colored Vinyl, sealed. The last thing that came in, the last high bid is now going twice, going three times, and that is still with Michael Jacob at $40. Sealed copy, $40 on that. Rat is out of the cellar. It is a, a round of VG Plus OG. Overall, about a VG Plus copy. VG Plus Vinyl, OG, not a club. Robert Phillippe has that for one, zero, zero. And then we have the KISS CD box set. The most recent high bid on this, on the KISS box set, was Tony Wade at $25. Clay Moore bid first, though, at $25. Clay Moore was in first at $25. So Clay Moore was in first on that at $25. Sounds like I need to watch the X-Files. Sounds like I need to watch the X-Files. Um... Uh, Susie Breedlove, first on Blackberry Smoke. That's called Find a Lot, 2LP, new and sealed, $36.99. I got two copies. There's The Offspring. There's another copy of The Offspring. Disturbed, Indestructible, $33.99. Disturbed, Indestructible, $33.99. And White Snake, I, I've never had this before, Slide It In, White Snake Slide It In, the 35th Special Anniversary Remix, cut at 45 RPM, Red Vinyl, $39.99. 2 LP Red Vinyl, 35th Anniversary Remix of Slide It In. Now, from what I understand about White Snake, is their mastering is weird between U.S. and U.K. There's something going on between the different masterings, so I don't know exactly what that means by remix, but it is on Red Vinyl, and it's a 45 RPM. I got to take another hit of Monster right quick. Quick timeout. Thank you. Might have a waiting list on Offspring. Okay. I will check that, Rachel. I should check everything because sometimes I'm surprised. Rachel, congratulations. Stephen Bender was on a waiting list. Rachel, you are now hired at Coletco. This is sold to Stephen Bender. I'm glad I checked. Usually after the sale, I'll go back through and like scan over the spreadsheet. I'm like, dang it, there was a wait list for that, and I didn't pull it. I got to order more. Rachel just saved me. That's so to Stephen Bender. He was on a waiting list. Let me go back up the top. Last thing I said was Rat at 100. Kiss box set got a new bid for 30. Rat got a new bid for 102. Kiss 30, Kiss 30. Rat 105, Kiss 40. I don't have any new Black Crows album. No, those are actually sold out, and I can't get any more, Christopher. Uh, Fred Carnell gets the White Snake. That's sold to Fred Carnell. Rats at 108. And we have Metallica is now officially sold. Let's take this off the table. It's sold, and that is to uh, Michael Jacob at $40. Michael Jacob at $40. There's Rat, 109, and then there's the Kiss box set. Let's get another auction uh, going. I got another Rat record on deck after that one. It is Invasion of Your Privacy. It looks nice, too. That's on deck. We're getting, we're getting the rats out tonight. We've called an exterminator. I'm the exterminator. I'm getting rid of rat records. I'm about to get rid of a lot of records when we start going through some half-off bins. All right, Michael Jacob wants a pack of outer sleeves. I'll go ahead and take that. I don't have them right here next to me. I hate selling those things unless I have them right next to me. 
But let me go ahead and write down your name, Michael Jacob. Rebecca, when she rewatches the sale, she'll have to write that down as well. We'll have to pull them. I hadn't, I got to open some new cases. We sell the heck out of sleeves. I just ordered 500 packs and I think we've already gone through most of them just from using them here at the store and selling them. Back up at the top, uh, Rats at 110, Kiss is at 41, Rats at 115, Jamie Wills Erickson wants on the X-Files, and we have another White Snake, and I've got three copies of total from Joy Division and New Order, $46.99. Total from Joy Division and New Order, $46.99. That was a great deal on the Metallica. The median on Discogs for that thing is $65. That one was sealed, so I have a feeling... Michael Jacob just got a great deal. Nice pickup. I've been starting a lot of auctions low. I've been starting a lot of auctions low. You got to make sure you got your eyes and ears open. You never know what's going to go up. Like another auction I'm about to show, which is Triumph. We did a Triumph record to basically start the show. Here's another one. This is Triumph Allied Forces. For those that missed out on the other Triumph, here's another classic. Allied Forces. $1 start. It's another, Don had some nice Triumph albums. These are near mint minus on the vinyl. I usually don't grade anything that high that's used like this, but this is truly nice, unless it's Japanese vinyl. This is nice, though. That's really near mint minus. Original winter sleeve, and that is up for bid right here. This is total from Joy Division and New Order. This is $46.99, and I think it was, I think it was a uh, waiting list on this. Joy Division. Joy Division. Joy Division. Phil Toretto. Phil Toretto was on a waiting list. This is the greatest hits of Joy Division and New Order. Best of. The best of Joy Division and New Order. Phil Toretto was on a waiting list. $46.99. What another great crate of new vinyl. Let's see what else we have in here. Back up at the top. Three heavy auctions going on now. We've got Michael Jacob, his outer sleeves. Uh, Rat 110. Kiss is at 41, Rad 115, Rad 120, Kiss 45, Kiss 45, Rad 125, Jamie Erickson on Joy Division, Kiss 100, or excuse me, Kiss 50. Uh, Jerry, I've ordered all the puzzles I can. They should be some this week. I've ordered everything I can. They're really low stock on puzzles. Kiss is at 55, Triumph 5, Triumph 6, Triumph 30. Kiss is at 60, Kiss is at 65, Triumph's at 30. And now Rat. Robert Phillippe has it for $125. Robert Phillippe has it for $125 out of the cellar. All right, how do we price this? Uh, we just, Discogs, uh, I always tell people this, Discogs isn't a price guide. Discogs is a marketplace. We use it for a reference, but, you know, a lot of stuff, as you see, we just put up for auction. It brings whatever it brings, and then some stuff we mark just whatever we think we can get for it. And if it doesn't sell, we mark it down. That's how we price stuff. There are certain records we never even look up, like Boston. We price Boston albums the same thing all the time. They sell. If they don't sell, we mark them down. So uh, Discogs is a reference for us to kind of make sure within, we're within a realm, but we don't actually use it for a price guide per se. Uh, I've always told people, be careful of Discogs. It's not a price guide. It's just a place where you can buy and sell records and look them up. Um, and get a reference, but you know, mark records sell for different prices all over the world. Certain things are more pricier at certain areas and certain markets, certain auctions. It just depends. So, we basically price stuff what we think we can sell it for so we can get it sold. And if it doesn't sell, sell, we keep marking it down until it's a dollar, until literally we put it out on our sidewalk for a dollar. So, that's how we price stuff. We just you know, we mark records. We got so many. We have to price so many every day. We don't have time to look stuff up. We kind of look at something. We price it. If it don't sell, we mark it down until it does. I think y'all see that when we do discount bins. So we tell people, we're going to put it out for sale. If it don't mark sale, we'll, keep, we'll discount it until basically it's a dollar. The psychedelic furs, and then we give it away. We'll send it to an auction, and they'll sell them off, or we give them to a, a thrift store or something. The psychedelic furs. Recap on this bin. New York, 1982. This is a 2LP. The Psychedelic Furs, New York, $39.99. That's a 2LP, live unofficial of the Psychedelic Furs, a concert live from New York, 1982. That is two copies left. I still got both of them. Romy Lou wants one, and now there's one left. Update on these auctions. Rat is at $145. The Kiss box set is up for auction. The high bid right now is Edison Toledo at $70. 
Edison Toledo is at $70. And then we have Triumph, Allied Forces. Daniel Buzide has bid $35. Daniel Buzide's at $35. Larry Vault, you're outbid. Larry, you're outbid. If you want to bid, let me know. If not, I'm going to sell it. Thomas is at $148. Thomas at 148. One psychedelic furs lift. Eagles Hotel California, 3399. Eagles Hotel California, 3399. Remastered Gatefold. We have Led Zeppelin, their fourth album on clear vinyl, 3399. Led Zeppelin. I've got like 15 more of those on the way. Clear vinyl. When the Levee Breaks, Rock and Roll, Black Dog. You know that one. Hope everybody has it. We have Blackberry Smoke. This is 2899. Orange vinyl. Blackberry Smoke, Southern Ground Sessions. Also, Blackberry Smoke, Find a Light. So make sure you let me know which one you want if you're claiming one of those. Two Find a Lights left. We have The Offspring Americana, one copy left, $36.99. Stephen Bender, use on a wait list. Thank, thank you, Rachel, for the reminder. Disturbed, Indestructible, the only Disturbed album left tonight, $39.99. Whitesnake, I'm really surprised we didn't sell out of these. Slide it in on red vinyl, 2LP, $39.99. And total... Greatest hits from Joy Division to New Order, $46.99. Blue Monday's on there. That's a great song. <laughs> I love the way that comes on. They played it pre-concert at U2 Live at the Sphere. That was an amazing atmosphere. All right, so those are all still available. We've already been through uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. We've already been through six crates tonight. Holy moly. All right, first thing I'm going to do is we're going to start going straight into some discount while I got... Everybody's eyes and ears tonight. Got a pretty good crowd. Still over 300 viewers watching on all platforms. I'm about to start grabbing some random records. And some of these are pretty recent. Uh, I'm trying to empty out some bins here because we got a project going on here at the store. I don't want to tell anybody because it's really geared for locals. But it will be open for everybody. But we got kind of a big on-sale discount project going on here at the store and when we're actually have it set up, I will tell all the details. But for any locals watching that's interested in really good, cheap records, we are trying to clear out our back room. We have so many like great five and ten dollar records that we never put out during our sales that we're trying to figure out a way to get rid of. And so we're about to we've got a big idea planned and John started on it today. So if you're local, Keep a lookout, okay? Because some of that could start as soon as this week, the official announcement, just FYI. So for any locals. And then I'm, I am going to try to do it here on Facebook, but I don't know how to do it yet, but more details to come. So uh, whenever we have it all set up. Now, you might want to go ahead and put this on your calendar. Not this Saturday, but the next Saturday, in-store only, we're going to have like 5,000 unshopped, never picked through, one dollar records like not this weekend but the next weekend so if you've ever think about taking a trip to coletco if you're out of state this is a great time to come because we also put everything on, in the store on sale that day as well and then you can dig through we're going to have one dollar albums one dollar cds and of course we won't be showing those on sale here we won't be doing those here on facebook we can't sell dollar records on facebook it's just not logistically possible to sell stuff on here for a dollar everything we have to go through to sell it so if you ever thought about taking a trip to Coletco, go ahead and put that on your calendar. Not this Saturday, but the next Saturday. This whole front part of the store, you're going to have like thousands of $1 records. Never shopped, never picked through. And then there's going to be another promotion that starts this week. Some of that's going to be offered here on Facebook. All right. Now, we got three crazy auctions going on. As soon as some of these sell... I used to only do two auctions. I've started doing three and plus posters. Posters will be back tomorrow. The posters we do here, the concert posters, we got some incredible ones, okay? We got some incredible ones. Those are going to start back tomorrow. Man, while we have KISS fans on, wait till y'all see the KISS posters we have. We have original KISS posters from the 70s, the 80s, the 90s. They're rolled up. They're really, really cool. We're going to get to those sometime, if not this week very very soon okay let me clear the air we're about to do a half off bin i'm gonna start at the top and just work my way down rad 150 triumph 40 dollars with marshall bassett rad 152 triumph 45 rad 155 is furs a parachute 
and disturbed. Craig Thomas, psychedelic furs is a parachute. Yes, it is a parachute recording. Psychedelic furs, pretty and pink's on there, $39.99. And then disturbed is sold to Hector Morin. Rat, $156. Kiss is at $85. Rat is at $160. Marshall Bassett, 48 on Triumph. Marshall, just $1 bid increments. You bid $47.50. We'll call it $48. Kiss is at $90. Rats at $165. Rats, $170. And Kevin Jordan says he wants disturbed and mortalized. Uh, I'll have to put you on a wait. I'll make sure you're on a waiting list because uh, that one got claimed. Kevin Jordan, disturbed and mortalized. Okay, so that means Thomas is out. Robert Phillippe has rat for $170. Final call. Kiss is a final call. Clay Moore, $90. Clay Moore, $90. And Marshall Bassett has Triumph for $48. Let's do some half-off LPs. Let's start clearing some of this out. I see some, uh, like, uh, some of those uh, horror soundtracks were from that collection. Right there's a couple of them. Be ready to claim those. They're now 50% off. We're going to try to empty some bins out. The best of the cow seals. The price I'm telling you is the half-off price, $7.50. This has the rain, the park, and other things. Indian Lake. Uh, what's the other one they had? Uh, is hair on here? Hair's not on here, but the rain, the park, and other things. I like that one. $7.50. That's the best of the cow seals. What do we have here? It's now $20. That's $20 off. King Buffalo. That was $39.99. It's a 10th anniversary on green vinyl. $20 for King Buffalo. Pat Matheny Group, just $5. It's in VG condition. $5, it's in VG condition, and a very strange brew. This is now $22.50. That means it was $44.99. A very strange brew is a 1969 U.S. pressing. There is some cover damage right here. A very strange brew. has a promo sticker on the front, but not a promo label. $22.50 on that. All right, let's sell wrap. Robert Phillippe gets wrap for $170. That is sold to Robert Phillippe. For 170. Robert Phillippe, you get that. Clay Moore, you get the KISS CD box set for $90. And it looks like Triumph is officially sold then. Triumph is officially sold to Marshall Bassett for $48. Nice pick up there. Marshall Bassett, that's sold to you. All right, let's get some new auctions going before we get too crazy in this half-off bin. Let me tag this and let me see what else I have over here in this random bin of metal. Have I sold everything over here? Do I still got pictures from the hype? Oh, I forgot about this, and I, why is this pulled out? Okay, this is no reason for the. These are, I'll show, these are sticker price. They, I, I pulled them out for the thumbnail, and I forgot to show them. These are sticker price. These are new arrivals. Them with Van Morrison, $49.99. Not an easy album to get. VG Condition, $49.99. Them featuring Van Morrison, VG Condition, $49.99. That's a buy it now, and so is Jay Giles, The Morning After. These are new arrivals. VG Plus Condition, $14.99. Jay Giles Band, The Morning After. Those are some new arrivals. I don't know why I had those pulled out. Uh, they were over here in the auction pile. Maybe I was going to auction Van Morrison, but not anymore. Uh, that's not an easy album to get. They're always in VG condition, too. All right, next, I think there's another Triumph album in here, but first, let's put up a black and blue. Black and blue. Let's see what this thing looks like. There's black and blue. Also, let me see. They brought me two other brand new crates of stuff over here. Let me see what's in here as well. Uh, Doomsday. I think I got some more comps. Yeah, here's some, uh, here's some more metal comps. Check this out. Doomsday News 3. Thrashing something. Hold on a second. Let's see what this is. All right, first we have black and blue, though. Black and blue. Geffen Records. Nice. Very nice. That's black and blue. There's the jacket. Black and blue. Self-titled, right? Yeah, self-titled. 1984, $1 start. Next is Doomsday News 3, Thrashing East Live, featuring Creator, Tankard, Savit, Corner, a First Division Heavy Metal Thunder live from East Berlin. $1 start. $1 start. Once again, very nice vinyl. It's been stored in an anti-static. Thrashing East Live. It looks like it has... There's the original, just standard inner sleeve, and that's it. So, just a standard inner sleeve, very clean vinyl. Doomsday News. 
$1 start. Okay, now, I had questions about psychedelic furs and white snake. I don't think anybody claimed those, so I'm going to put those back over here just so I'm not uh, crazy and thinking that they're sold. Now, I'm officially going to tag these half-off records. Jackson Blaylock first on the cow seals. For, sorry for the delay. We'll get focused on this crate. That's so to Jackson Blaylock, cow seals. Donald Roser, you were second. Adrian V on KB for King Buffalo. That's so to Adrian Villarreal. He was first to that. Jim Sadal on PM for Pat Matheny. That's so to Jim Sadal. Jason Conklin was second. Jamie, we've already sold King Buffalo. Thomas Hujar gets them. This is sticker price, by the way. Let's make sure that goes in for sticker price. And Jason Conklin gets Jay Giles' band. Let's make sure those go in for sticker price as well. So those were sticker. Those are sold and sold. All right, then Black and Blue got bids for one ten five twenty. Doomsday has bids for ten twenty and twenty five. There's a very strange brew twenty two fifty. Jim Dandy ready as hell. VG plus condition seven dollars and fifty cents. Jim Dandy ready as hell. VG plus seven fifty on that. Kitty, Daisy, and Lewis. That's a 2008 UK pressing. Now, $25, which means it's $25 off. Kitty, Daisy, and Lewis. That is $25, a 2008 UK copy. Next is Sam Cook. This is now $15. It's a 310-inch set, sealed. Record Store Day Black Friday. Sam Cook, the first mile of the way. Sam Cook is $15, and yes... That is sealed. Blue Oyster Colt mirrors, $5. VG condition, BOC mirrors, VG condition, $5. The Sweet Inspirations, What the World Needs Now is Love, a 1968 pressing in shrink wrap, VG plus, $10 on the Sweet Inspirations, and Jethro Tull A. Jethro Tull A is only $10. No condition notes on that. Tull is $10. Jethro Tull A, $10 on that. All right, now let's go back to the top. We got a black and blue, and we have a Doomsday News. Black and blue and Doomsday News. Let me put this Kiss box set over here. It was sold. Don't want to lose that. That's sold. And uh, I have some other Kiss stuff over here. Let me go ahead and grab that and put it on deck, which is this random collection of stuff here. Okay, and then we had black and blue 25, Doomsday do Doomsday 27, black and blue 26. Tommy Flowers, first of the Sam Cooke, that's so to Tommy Flowers, and I'm actually going to make that the first record in the next bin. This one here has gotten quite full, so let me put this right here. If you're tuning in, I'm going to really focus on just some discount stuff tonight, trying to clear some bins before we hit the big influx of the new, new stuff from these collections. This is so to Tommy Flowers, Retro Class Entertainment. It was second. Debbie Blair third. Jason Franz fourth. Jason Conklin first on BOC. Uh, Retro Class Entertainment first on SI. That's the Sweet Inspirations. You were first to that one. Donald Roser, you were second. We have an out on Black and Blue. And we have another uh, Christopher Brush on Sweet Inspirations. Black and Blue, 27. And then two people bid 30. Fred Carnell was first. Now, Doomsday News. This is a live compilation. Creator, Tankard, Sabbath, and Corner. Live from East Berlin. And the last bid on Doomsday News was Christopher Onzo. He bid 10. He put DD for $27. This is at $27. Doomsday News, live metal, $27. Jethro Tull still available. That was the last record. The Knack, no condition notes on this, $8.50 with the original winter sleeve. That has the hit song, My Sharona, on it. And John and Vangelis, short stories, $7.50. $7.50. Derek Clark says, Kitty Daisy Lewis is killer rockabilly blues from the UK. Brother, sister outfit. That's this record right here. Thank you, Derek, for the note. That's now just $25. Kitty Daisy and Lewis. Derek is our obscure reference, and he says that's killer rockabilly blues from the UK. Larry Vault first on the knack. That is sold to Larry Vault. Jason Conklin is second. Do we have a note on a very strange brew? This looks like it could be good. It's a 69 U.S. pressing, now just $22.50. There's some cover damage down here on the cover, but that looks like a very interesting record. $22.50 on that, that's after the discount. Black and Blue is at $36. Uh, Garrett Seipert takes the Kitty Daisy and Lewis. Thank you, Garrett. That's so to you. And we have Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, Love Beach. No condition notes on this. Anti-static inner sleeve, original inner sleeve as well, $7.50. Here's our next random lot of Kiss collectibles. The first thing is a Kiss iPhone case that's been used, but 
There it is. <laughs> and then what else is in here? So uh, $1 start on all these random KISS items. There's a KISS keychain, a KISS iPhone holder, $1 start on everything in this packet here. There's some KISS cards. These are from 1997, KISS cards. We have some KISS cards here. Are those stickers or cards? Those may be stickers. Some interesting artwork there. There's all four of those. Um, there's some original KISS cards in here from the 70s. There's some original KISS cards in here. Here's the original KISS cards from 78, a random assortment of those. And there's a modern one mixed in there, but there's some of the KISS cards from 78. $1 start on everything in this pack. Here's a packet of cards, and I think these are from 1992. Yep, there's a little packet of cards. Those are also in there. And there's a napkin from the KISS Cruise, a napkin from the KISS Cruise, and then there's some guitar picks and matches. The uh, matches are right here. There might be a guitar pick stuck down in there. Hold on a second. Yep, there's some guitar picks stuck down in there. There is uh, Hotter Than Hell and Creature of the Night picks or match matches. And then there's a Kiss Coffee House pick. And then a Gene Simmons pick. And another Kiss Coffee House, Myrtle Beach. So, but wait, there's more. No, that's it. Kiss cards. So picks, matches, cards, napkin, keychain, all kinds of random Kiss stuff in there. Some vintage cards in there as well. And then there is the iPhone case or some kind of cell phone case. It's been used though. All right, back up at the top. We pulled the Knack. Uh, we pulled the Kitty Dates, Daisy and Lewis. Black and Blue was at 40. Christopher Brusher got Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. Jackson Blaylock wants short stories. That's John and Vangelis. Thank you, Jackson. Black and Blue, 41. Kiss Collectibles, 557, 10, and 20. I don't think anybody else has been on Doomsday News. This thing is sold to Christopher Onzo for $27. I figured that would bring more. I don't think anybody else bid. Let me check one more time. Nope, Chris Franzo got that for 27. I figured that one would do more, but now it's sold to Christopher for 27, Doomsday News. Let's do some more half off records before I put up another auction. That's sold to Christopher for $27. Boy, we got enough metal uh, stuff up here, and plus we just bought, there's gonna be metal auctions every Thursday for definitely like the next six months. Heat Wave. We're in a half-off band, a half-off bin. Heat Wave is only six dollars and fifty cents. Heat Wave is six fifty. Chopping Mall. Here's one of those waxwork records I was talking about. This is now just thirty dollars. Chopping Mall waxwork half off is thirty dollars. Pink fluorescent remaster. Thirty dollars on those. Thirty dollars on those. And we have this was the original soundtrack by Big So, and this was the. The Siete, Note, and Nero, however you say that. But this is now just $22.50. It's on white vinyl. A couple of very heavily discounted soundtracks. And there's one more. The Sorcerer soundtrack by Tangerine Dream, now $27.50. It was $54.99. The Sorcerer soundtrack. Some, that's Tangerine Dream. Those are some big discounts. Those shouldn't be in there, but they are. Hope you were paying attention. Fred Carnell had black and blue for $41. We had a jump to the Kiss for $20. Tony Wade had the Kiss collectibles for $20. Black and blue was at $45. Jackson Blaylock first on the Sorcerer. And Fred was second. Thomas Hujar was third. Next is the El Chicano Revolucion. And this is now just $12.50. It's in VG condition on Cap Records. VG condition, $12.50. Also, Focus, Moving Waves. Focus is $5. VG condition on that. And Hubert Law's Afro Classic, now just $10. The cover has a little bit of damage to the laminate. That was a laminated cover. No condition notes on the vinyl. Bruce Guthrie has black and blue for $45. Fred Carnell, you're out. Just let me know if you want back in because you've been outbid. And now Tony Wade has the final call on that KISS lot for $20. Let me go back to my bin here and see what else we have. And the next LP I'm going to put up for auction is, I don't know, I'm looking. How about another Triumph record? These have been very popular tonight. Here's another Triumph. This is Never Surrender. Here's another Triumph record. Let's see what's going on with this one. How about a $1 start? 
This is Triumph, Never Surrender. This one is nowhere near as nice as the other. The other ones were pristine. This one is in about VG condition. This one actually has a feelable mark on it right there. So this is VG, maybe VG minus condition. We're gonna put it up for a quick auction. Triumph has the original winter sleeve and this is a $1 start. Triumph is a $1 start, $1 start on that. All right, now back up at the top, we have, uh, let's see here, black and blue got a bid for 46, Bruce Guthrie. And next is Janie C. Riley. Things go better with love. Janie C. Riley is $5. Janie C. Riley's $5. Old country music from Macon County Jamboree. That's from Macon County, Tennessee, if there's any locals watching. $7.50 from Old Country Music from Macon County. The best of Emmylou Harris. No condition notes on this. $7.50. The best of Emmylou Harris. $7.50. Fred, you're out on black and blue. Bruce Guthrie has that for $50. The other two soundtracks that didn't get claimed was Chopping Mall. Chopping Mall was $30. And the Siete, which is S-E-T-T-E, -T -T -E, Note. N-O-T-E, and Nero, I-N, and then N-E-R-O. I don't know if I'm close to that, but it's $22.50 on white vinyl. Triumph has a bid for one. Triumph has a bid for two. Jedit wants Heat Wave. Jedit gets the Heat Wave record. Jedit, you get Heat Wave. But Donald Roser gets the best of Emmy Lou Harris. All these records are half off the sticker on the back. Paul Ogley gets the focus from earlier, moving waves. Triumph is at $5. Like I said, that's VG or VG minus. Fred, you're out on black and blue. Let me know if you want back in for more than 50. New country, new faces. It's like a local country comp. It's sealed. It's never been opened. It's $5. Glenn Campbell Basics. Glenn Campbell's also sealed. Never been opened. It does have a punch hole and hop sticker. Glenn Campbell is $6.50. $6.50. This is $6.50, and it's Tim Harden, Sweet for Susan Moore. Tim Harden, Sweet for Susan Moore, VG Plus Condition, $6.50. Donald Roser gets the sealed Glenn Campbell. Chris Farrar wants the Hubert Laws. Alan Montgomery gets the sealed Glenn Campbell. Uh, nope, my bad. Donald Roser was first to that. Southside Johnny is $5. Love is a sacrifice. No condition notes on that. Black and blue, uh, it was very nice. Yes, the vinyl was EX Plus, Near Mint Minus, VG Plus cover. I'm about to sell... This, I was making, I've lost Fred Carnell somewhere. Bruce Guthrie has it for $50. And now final column, Triumph. That was the VG, VG minus copy. Robert Phillippe has that for five. Strange Brew detail. Jackson Blaylock, Strange Brew. The half off price was $22.50. No condition notes on the vinyl. It is a 69 US press with a promo sticker. There's some damage to the edge, but the vinyl is nice. $22.50 on that. Tony Wade, by the way, you got this batch of KISS collectibles. I hadn't officially called it, but let's call this. That's the one with the iPhone case. Those are sold to Tony Wade for $20. Those are sold to Tony Wade for $20. Chipping away at the KISS stuff, selling off what was left of the new little smalls we had back there. That's sold to Tony Wade. Jackson Blaylock will pick up a very strange brew board. I'll tell you what, if you're into odd and unusual stuff, this collection from New Orleans is going to be a gold mine for you, especially for psych and a garage and punk and soul and funk. I mean, there's so much stuff I think everybody that works here wants to listen to just to see what it sounds like because you're probably going to discover some incredible unheard music to add to your collection. Uh, black and blue, new bids, 55 and then 60. And then Jackson Blaylock got the uh, Strange Brew. Next is Boz Skaggs, down two then left. That is $10. Boz Skaggs, down two then left. $10 for Boz Skaggs. And Joe Cocker, luxury you can afford, $10 on Joe Cocker. Original winter sleeve, no condition notes. Bruce Guthrie, we're still bidding on that. And Triumph is officially sold to Robert Phillippe. That was a quick $5 auction because I found out it had a big uh, fillable mark on it. But that is officially sold for five dollars and we're going to put up something else new you never know what i'm going to pull out of these bins there could be stuff in here that's pristine there could be stuff in here that you could pull out a thrash metal that's been trashed some of this thrash has got trashed but i'll go ahead and sell that for five dollars check condition copy for sure and we have black and blue chris and boy still battling over black and blue i had a feeling that was going to happen let's go back to my bin over here and let's put up a copy of Loudness Hurricane Eyes. Let's take a look at this. Loudness Hurricane Eyes. It is a gold stamp promo. 
I have a feeling this is going to be nice. It is. This is actually extremely nice. Loudness Hurricane Eyes. It has the original uh, Atco Atlantic Inner Company inner sleeve. And then here's the jacket. It has the hop sticker. There's a little bit of writing on the hop sticker. Andy wrote his name on the hop sticker. Gold stamp promo. So we'll call that a VG Plus jacket. A couple stress creases. It does have a saw mark. Nice vinyl though. $1 start on loudness. Hurricane Eyes. $1 start on loudness. Hurricane Eyes. That's now up for bid. Next is Queen Samantha, the letter. Queen Samantha is $5. Queen Samantha is $5. Queen Samantha is available. So is Bazooki, Music from Greece. This is $5. Bozuki, Music from Greece on London International Label. $5 on that. Chris, uh, uh, Frazier, you're back out on black and blue. Bruce has it for $65. Bobby Goldsboro, 10th anniversary album. That is actually sealed. It's never been opened. $5 for sealed Bobby Goldsboro. Ben Vereen, Ben Vereen is $5. Ben Vereen is $5, and we have BB King. Wow, this is now just going to be 15 bucks. Shrink Wrap and Hive Sticker. Uh, Stevie Nicks is on here. Steve Cropper and Mick Fleetwood. A comp, just a plastic inner sleeve. No condition notes. $15 on that. $15 on that. Spiral Gyra Carnival. Spiral Gyra is now just $5. No condition notes on that. And Carol King, Pearls, Songs from Goffin and King. Carol King has the original on her sleeve, $7.50. $7.50. Let's go back up the top. I said black and blue is at $65, and I did a final call. Loudness had bids for $10, $5, $11. Roser wants the Bobby Goldsboro. That's so to Donnie Ro uh Almost said Donald uh, uh, Goldsboro. It's Donald Roser's. <laughs> That's so to him. Uh, Chris Ferrara gets, gets the Grease record. That's so to Chris Ferrara. Rodell Martin, that's Retro Class Entertainment. Rodell Martin, he gets the Ben Vereen. Thomas Hujar first on BB King. Surfo Caster was second. Loudness got bids for 15 and 15. And then Robert Tomek, you were third on BB King. Cassie Center fourth. James Rainey fifth. WV Mounty sixth. Davey Blair seventh. Jamie eighth. Brett Croce Jr., the ninth person. Loudness, 18. Romilu, first on Carol King. None required on Spyro Gyra. Loudness has a bid for 20. Another bid for 20. Romilu, you were second on Spyro Gyra. And Loudness is at 21. Black and Blue is officially sold to Bruce Guthrie, 65. That's sold to Bruce Guthrie. For 65. Loudness is up for bid. Still pulling out some random stuff over here from these metal crates. And if that perks your interest, you might want to stay tuned for like the next couple hours. We'll keep them rolling all night uh, until I pass out. I'm going to stand here and sell records till I pass out. Loudness is at 23. Next is Survivor. Survivor is now just $12.50. Clearing out some bins. Half off sticker if you're just hopping on. Ian and Sylvia. Ian and Sylvia, that's an original Vanguard, early folk there. $10 on Ian and Sylvia. And Jimmy Smith is now $12.50 gatefold. Some jazz from Jimmy Smith on the Black Verve label. That's at $12.50. And Carol King, Wraparound Joy. Carol King is $6.50. A little bit of writing on the cover, but it is just $6.50. Let me see what else I have in here. Hmm, I'm very curious what pressing of this... Uh, oh! I forgot I had another rat in here. Oh my goodness, what are we doing? Just having a rat, just casually. This thing looked like it could be nice too. Rat. Lay it down. Lay it down. Let's see what we have here. This is rat. It does have a saw mark. That means it's a retail copy. It does have an original in her sleeve. Let's hope it's nice. It's nice. It's very clean. I see very little wear. Let's call it EX Plus. This is a very clean non check condition record. Rad has the original company in your sleeve, and you know the drill. One dollar start. One dollar start. One dollar start. That's Rat, invasion of your privacy. I'm going to grab a packet of sticky notes because some of these we need to reclean after we sell them. But Rat's up for bid. All right, back up the top. We had Loudness at 21, 22, 23. Romilu gets Carol King. Loudness 23. Rats at five, rats at 25. Todd Rundgren, a wizard, a true star with a very cool die cut cover. That's now $10. That's at $10, Todd Rundgren. Durand, wow. Just fit, how did this not sell out of the uh, new arrivals? 
Duran Duran is now just $15. That was $29.99, their debut. The best of the Delphonics, $15 on that. The best of the Delphonics. Also, Spirit Clear, a 69 UK copy. Now just $22.50, a 69 UK copy. 69 UK copy of Spirit Clear. That's $22.50. And we have BT Express Golden Classics, which is a hits comp on the collectibles label. Beautiful vinyl, like pristine. $10 on that. $10 on that. All righty. Let me adjust my... Let me do a knotly seventh inning, seventh inning stretch. I can't believe we've already been streaming for three hours. This show has flew by to me. It's already quarter after 10. We still got 292 viewers watching. I think everybody's intently watching what could possibly pop up next in these half-off bins. Good thing is I don't know, and hopefully you don't know, unless you got some kind of like ESP time machine where you know what's coming up in these bins. Loudness. I had Curtis Marachi at $23. I'm going to keep rolling down the comments from there. That's Hurricane Eyes, $23. Next is Rat, 5, 25, 1, 3, 20, 25. Thomas Hujar on TR. TR was Todd Rundgren. So did Thomas Hujar. Rat, another $25 bid. Shakedown on Duran Duran. Shakedown got Duran Duran. Rat, 26. Hallbrook, you were second on Todd Rundgren. Jamie, third on Duran Duran. Donald Roser, fourth. Rami Lou, fifth. Mike Torrey, sixth. Sean Reed, seventh. Paul Ogley on SP. SP was for Spirit. Paul Ogley got Spirit, Rat 35, Rat Out, Tommy Flowers on PT Express, Holbrook second on Spirit, Retro Class next on Spirit, Rat at 40, Scott Oman wants Survivor from earlier, nobody claimed that earlier, Survivor, is that still in here? There it is, Survivor, that's so to Scott Oman, and we have Loudness at 25, so new bid, Loudness is at 24, now 25 of Alan Montgomery, and Aaron Civic has the Rat album at $40, let's go through this half off bin, one more time. Half off being one more time. Dan Geller says he's out on rat. We got two auctions up. Let's go to this one more time. Maybe we can wipe it out. If not, I'm going to go over here and grab some other stuff, and we're going to do the same thing again. Next is, or first, or next, is Jim Dandy. Ready as hell. VG Plus condition, $7.50. That's on the Hacienda label. Jethro Tull A, $10 on Jethro Tull A and Chopping Mall. Waxwork Records, that is now $30. It's a 2014 pink fluorescent remaster, Chopping Mall, Chick Sereno. Artwork by We Buy Your Kids. The half-off price is $30. All right. And then Loudness, got a new bid for $26. Jamie Wills Erickson on Jethro Tull. Chad, are you getting the new Eagles box that comes out next to the 6LP set? Um, that's the first I've heard about such. I will look into that. So my answer is no, because I have not heard about it. But the actual answer could be yes, because I will probably post some kind of pre-order for that. Aaron has rat for $40. Does nobody else want to bid? Final call, $40 on that. Loudness got a new bid for $26. The other one was the Sete, Note, and Nero. This was remastered. It is the original soundtrack, and that is now $22.50. It's on white vinyl. El Chicano Revolution. That's VG condition, $12.50. Janie C. Riley was $5. Janie C. Riley, the Macon County Jamboree, $7.50. New Country, New Faces, $5 on that. We have the uh, Tim Harden, Sweet for Susan Moore, VG Plus, $6.50. Southside Johnny, No Condition Notes, $5.00. Love is a Sacrifice. Boss Gags was $10, down to then left. Joe Cocker, Luxury You Can't Afford. Joe Cocker was $10. Alan Montgomery wants the new country, new faces. That's sold to Alan Montgomery. Also, we have Queen Samantha the letter, $5 on Queen Samantha. Ian and Sylvia, $10 on Ian and Sylvia. Jimmy Smith, who's afraid of Virginia Woolf, that's still available for $12.50. And the best of the Delphonics, $15 on that very thick vinyl in shrink wrap, definitely near mint minus. We got new bids on both auctions. Rat got a new bid at the last moment with Joshua Day for $45, and Greg Lapey's back in on loudness at $27. That's where we're at on our auctions. Does anybody else want anything in there? Let me know. Now is the time. New bid on loudness for $28. New bid on Rat for $46. I'm going to go find some more stuff just like that to knock out over here. So I'm going to have to shift a few things around. Really hadn't cleaned up the store 
Uh, really hadn't got to clean up the store since uh, we were here on, uh, boy, when was the last time we were here? We was here, or uh, the last time the store was open, I guess s Saturday. So uh, I still got like stray records laying around from uh, Saturday. We still hadn't got to. Let me find what I want to go through next over here. I think this being right here, possibly, let me figure out what's been deposited in here late recently or what's been over here for a while. Um, that stuff I've seen before. This stuff here looks interesting. This stuff here looks interesting. I don't think I've been through these in a while, and why not just go ahead and discount them, see if we can take a big chunk of them out for sure. For sure. Like I said, we have a, a, a big to-do list. I don't know. I still really hadn't decided if I want to do posters or not tonight. I have a feeling um, my to-do list is growing in my head as I look around here and see more and more stuff I have to do to get ready for a big show because this uh, we've got an influx in records in the back and where Paul was on a trip. Uh, he's going to be off tomorrow. John normally would be here, but I need to price some additional stuff myself. I need to price some additional stuff myself. I'm trying to figure out what's, uh, see what's going on out here. I think somebody's out front in the store. That's what I thought. <laughs> I was like, what's going on outside? Okay, let me go back over here and see what's going on. Loudness is at 28. Rat was at 46. Rat was at 50. Uh, George Share wants the Delphonics. George Share wants the Delphonics. Loudness is at 30. And uh, so let me go pull the Delphonics for George Share. I've already put that back over here, but I know where they're at. That's so to George Share. Thank you. So probably one of the things in there I can't believe it didn't sell was probably that those two soundtracks. Those two soundtracks, and then possibly the Jimmy Smith. Kind of surprised those hadn't sold. So uh, let me go over here. Let's go over here, and there's the best of the Delphonics. All righty. So that is sold to George Share. Yes, new fresh half off crate. Let's figure out where we're at on these auctions. Alan Montgomery is the high bidder on RAT for $50. This is Invasion of Your Privacy. Alan Montgomery has it for $50. Alan Montgomery has that for $50. Loudness Hurricane Eyes. Loudness Hurricane Eyes. Greg Lapey was at 27. Curtis Marachi, 28. Greg Lapey, 30. Curtis Marachi out. Final call on Loudness for $30. Rad has a new bid for $51. let us go through a half-off bin. Everything in this bin is going to be half-off sticker. Let's go through them right now. Half-off sticker. First record. The price I tell you is the discounted price. We have Carol King, Fantasy, EX Condition, $6.50. Textured cover with the original inner sleeve, EX Condition, $6.50. Alan Montgomery, you're out on right. The best of Shirley Temple, $7.50. The best of Shirley Temple, $7.50. Rami Lou first on Carol King. That's so to Rami Lou. Ben E. King, Music Trance. Ben E. King is $10. Ben E. King, Music Trance, $10 on Ben E. King. We have Bloodstones, Greatest Hits. Bloodstones is $7.50. Bloodstones, Greatest Hits, $7.50 on that. And the Crown Heights Affair, Foxy Lady. Crown Heights Affair is $10. That's on the Delight label. Crown Heights Affair, Foxy Label, Foxy Lady, $10 on that. $10 on that. Seth, you're extremely late. Do you have anything to say? Well, Seth shows in like at 10.30 and he usually leaves at 11, so he's going to have quite the productive night. Back up at the top, we have a Rad at 51, and then Rami Lou got Carol King. Chris Veronza was second. Rami Lou on ST. ST was Shirley Temple. That's so to Rami Lou C. Rat got a new bid for 52. Davey second on Shirley Temple. Chris Brush a third. Rod L. Martin, Retro Class Entertainment on B. S, which was Bloodstone's Greatest Hits. That sold to uh, Rido Martin. Donald Roser was second. Still got Crown Heights Affair and still have Benny King. Wow. And then Loudness, nobody else bid on this. We were done. And this is officially and finally sold to Greg Lapey for $30. $30 on that. Sold to Greg Lapey. All right, I'll get some new auction started in just a second. That sold to Greg Lapey for $30. And we still got Rat, and that's been... That's between Aaron Civic and Alec Montgomery. Aaron Civic, if you're still watching, let me know if you want more in for more than 52. Alec Montgomery has the high bid on that over on YouTube. 
Next is Johnny Taylor, wall to wall. Johnny Taylor is $10. Wall to wall, Johnny Taylor is $10. And England Dan and John Ford Coley, Knights are forever. England Dan, $5. Knights are forever. Also, Dr. Birds and Mr. Hyde, a UK copy for $15. A UK copy for $15. Us, the Birds, Dr. Birds, and Mr. Hyde. Retro Class Entertainment wants Johnny Taylor. That's so to Rydell Martin. Rami Lou wants ED for England Dan. And Donald Roser wants Dr. Birds. Those are all sold. Now, Rats at $53. Aaron Civic's back in. Let me grab a new auction. Alan Montgomery back out on Rat. Once again, another war for Rat. Nothing new there. And let's see what else. That, oh, another rat. Wow, that's their first EP. That's coming up on deck. I should have done that one earlier. Uh, ooh, nice. I haven't seen this in a while. This is Queens Rock. This is their self-titled album. Queens Rock, it's a newer release. I think it's just self-titled. Queens Rock, let's take a look at it. Queens Rock, it's on gray marbled vinyl, 180 gram. Queens Rock, there's the black inner sleeve. Queens Rock, and I think it's just called Queens Rock. Yeah, it's self titled. The hot sticker says a return to form. Queens Rock, 180 gram, two classic live tracks, and the entire album on CD. And there's the CD. So it does include the CD as well. So there's the Queens Rock CD. There's the full album. It has one little uh, seam glip right there, one little seam blip. That's not going to happen anymore because we're going to take it out of the jacket. How about Queens Rock? A $1 start. Queens Rock, $1 start on Queens Rock. All right, Alan Montgomery, if you're still with me, let me know if you want to end back in on Rad. If not, I'm selling to Aaron. Let's keep going through some half off stuff. Cruising 61, these are awesome compilations. Cruising 61 is $6.50. Cruising 61 is $6.50. Chuck Berry's Golden Decade. Chuck Berry's a 2LP compilation of Chuck Berry's greatest hits, now just $15. Chuck Berry, super nice, has the really cool pink radio on the cover. $15 on Chuck Berry. Rats at 53. We have Queens Rock at 1, 15 and 15. And this is Bobby Womack, Save the Children. Shrink wrap and hype sticker. Bobby Womack is $10. Featuring Carlos Santana on guitar. Featuring Carlos Santana on guitar, $10. Bobby Blue Bland, Midnight Run. Bobby Bland's in shrink wrap. $15 for Bobby Bland, $15 on that. And Barry White is now six dollars and fifty cents. Barry White, nineteen seventy-eight, six fifty on that. All right. I hope Alan Montgomery was done because this is officially sold to Aaron Civic. Aaron, is that technically your first time purchase with us, Aaron? If so, thank you and welcome. You get wrapped for fifty-three dollars. Alan just said out. I'm glad that came in because this is sold to Aaron Civic for fifty-three dollars. So, Aaron, thank you. And if you are a first-time buyer, I need to get your information. If you're uh, that's your first purchase with us, I think you were watching tonight for the first time. So thank you and welcome. That's so to you. I'm going to mute my mic for one second while I take a drink of Monster. I definitely need to. All righty. First time. So, yes, make sure you message our page with your email address and mailing address. The last bid that came in on Queens Rock, Joshua Day bid $30. And then Rydell Martin put BB for Bobby Bland. Thank you, Rydell Martin. Donald Roser got Barry White. Uh, George, you were second to that one. Queens Rock at 32. Queens Rock 32. Queens Rock 35. Leslie Wickline on Cruise and 61. That's so to Leslie Wickline. Queens Rock 32. Queens Rock 33. Vangelis, Heaven and Hell. Vangelis is now just $5. No condition notes on that. Queens Rock is at $33. And Santana Shango, that's now just $10. Santana Shango, original on her sleeve. Santana is $10. And America is now just $5. No condition notes on it either. America Hat Trick, one of their earlier albums, $5 on America. That's now up for bid. That's now up for bid. All right. Oh, boy. This looks nice. Oh my good! Wow, this is sealed. This is sealed. Rat, a sealed club copy. Even better. Their debut EP sealed. It's a club, so it's not going to be that OG, very desirable pressing from uh, Time Coast. 
but it is a sealed club from Atlantic time. It's still probably going to have that Time Coast label, but this is wrapped. It is an RCA Music Club, but this is sealed. $45 start. $45 start for wrapped. That is the sealed EP. How about a $45 start? Very nicely. Didn't realize it was sealed. Nice seal, too. Uh, no really tears in the shrink or anything. Rat, $45 start. That's up for uh, that's up for bid. All right, and then Queens Rock was at 36. Blade Singletary gets Vangelis. That's so to Blade Singletary. Uh, and then Tommy Flower says, let Blade have America. So actually, Tommy was first, but he's surrendering that over to Blade Singletary. So Blade, you got Vangelis. You also get America. Christopher Brusha first to Santana. That's so to Christopher Brusha. Queens Rock is at 38. Queens Rock is at 40. Rats at 45. Rats at 50. And Chick Willis now. Chick Willis is $7.50. Chick Willis is $7.50. Seth, you leave it? You didn't even do anything. Wow, Seth. Seth has been here for seven minutes and he's leaving. That's what happens when you let a pharmacy, a pharmacist work part time for you. Not only a pharmacist, but a friend. So just FYI, if you're ever running a business, be careful hiring friends and family. Just FYI. We have Chick Willis now $7.50. Chick Willis, $7.50. $7.50 on Chick Willis. And The Shylight's Greatest Hits, $10. The Shylight's Greatest Hits, Volume 2. That's on Brunswick. The Shylight's, $10 on that. And Two Steps from the Blues. Wow, Bobby Bland. Two Steps from the Blues, $10 on that one. Back up at the top, we had Queens Rock at $40 of Darren Wartman. Rat was at $45, then $50, then $60, then $55. And then 65, Christopher B. first on CW. That was for Chick Willis. And then we have Seth. Yes, fire. I should have fired him, boy. Golden opportunity right there. George Sheriff first on the Shy Lights. Corey Gaston first on Bobby Bland. That's so to Corey Gaston. Rido Martin second. Christopher Brush a third. And we have Car Wash, original motion picture soundtrack for Car Wash, $10. Very clean vinyl. Car Wash, MCA Records, 2LP. That's the soundtrack. $10 on that. And Count Basie, everything's coming up roses. Count Basie's now just $5. Count Basie's now just $5 on everything's coming up roses. That's one of those jazz reissue series on that. Very, very cool. Just so you know, if you're here watching right now, I got a Motorhead record on deck. Maybe. This thing's sealed too. Wow. And then I have a, another Queens Rock record on deck. Wow. Great auctions. We're doing half off vintage stuff and we're uh, selling some, uh, selling some uh, great auctions back here. So let's go back up the top. The last thing I pulled was Bobby Bland, which was Corey Gaston's BB comment. Corey Gaston got that. We've already pulled the shot lights. Yep. And then Rydell was second on Bobby Bland. Then Christopher Brusha. Uh, ST condition for Sandy Mile. ST condition. That might have been something we already sold. I think that's already gone. Uh, Tim Turner on CW for Car Wash. That's sold to Tim Turner. Donald Roser was second. Jackson Blaylock first on Count Basie. Casey Oliver, you were third on Car Wash. Stanley Bedwell fourth. And what's the Queens Rock at? All right, let me show this again. This is Queens Rock self-titled, 180 gram. It's on the gray marbled vinyl. It's on the gray marbled vinyl. It also includes a CD, gatefold, obviously near mint minus vinyl. There's one little scene bust on top of the jacket other than that. Very, very nice. And Queens Rock, the last bid that came in was Darren Wartman at $40. Darren Wartman at $40. Darren Wartman at $40. Now, we have Rat, the self-titled EP. It's a sealed club copy. Rat is the self-titled sealed EP, their debut release. It's a sealed club. David Tate has this for $65. I repeat, Rat is sealed. Rat is sealed, and that's $65 to David Tate. $65 to David Tate. All right, so now back up at the top, we have uh, Queens Rat 4142. Uh, shows me first on Car Wash. That is because you're watching on, fa or you're looking at your Facebook chat. You got to keep in mind, we're streaming this on YouTube, Facebook, and X. Most people's watching on Facebook and YouTube. And if you're looking at just your Facebook chat, you can't see everything. You can't see YouTube comments. You got to pay attention to what's going on right here on my screen where my hand's going up and down. And that's also mirrored right here on my phone. 
uh, unless there's some kind of glitch. But Tim Turner was first on car wash. And so your chat is not going to be accurate. You got to pay attention to whatever pops up here on the screen or just whatever I say, which is the same thing that pops up here on the screen. So uh, you can't just look at your chat because there's people watching on YouTube as well. And Facebook's not going to show YouTube comments. But Restream does, and they embed it, and they produce it right here on the screen for us. This is called the Restream feed. That's called Restream right here. That's what we're using. They take software where they can get all the comments to come to one stream for us. I'm glad whatever genius came up with that. Uh, David Tate is at $75. That's the high bid on RAT. That's because Kevin Jordan bid 70 and we got lots of new bids on Queens Rock. We're going doing some half-off vintage. We've wiped out most of this crate. Let's keep it going. I have, wow, this should be an instant seller, $17.50. Donald Fagan, the Nightfly. Donald Fagan from Steely Dan. No condition notes and original on her sleeve. How about $17.50? Bad Company, Rough Diamonds. Wow, sealed. Bad, bad Company, Rough Diamonds, sealed. $13.50 for a sealed copy. Never been opened. Brass Construction, Conquest. Brass Construction is $7.50. No condition notes on Brass Construction. And Pat Matheny Group is $12.50. Beautiful copy on ECM, First Circle. That is now $12.50 for Pat Matheny Group, First Circle. Wow, there's some great records being dished out right there. I'm going to walk over here and make sure I've sold all the KISS stuff I wanted to sell. I think I got some KISS cards. Here's going to be a big lot. Uh, I'm going to start this a little bit higher because if this is the only thing that sells and this is the only thing somebody ends up buying, it's going to cost a little bit to ship these. But uh, I'm going to start these at $35. That will cover shipping, even though it would probably cost 20 bucks to ship these. I have an original store display with unopened packs. And this is uh, the KISS cards from 1990, 2000. What year is this from? I don't see a copyright date, but it says Kiss Alive Collector Cards. It's an original store counter display. Lots of unopened packs there. I don't know if it's a full set or not. Boy, did y'all hear that thunder? It's still storming here. So there's that. Then here's another box that's empty. Here's another box that's empty. A couple stray cards down in there. And then here's this very cool Kiss Collector Cards, a Paul Stanley display. And there's loose cards down in here. And there's loose, random loose cards and a couple packs and pack wrappers down in there. So you're getting these three, essentially these three things of KISS cards, this counter display, that counter display. It's just an empty box. And this really cool one, Paul Stanley one. That's really cool. And that is a $35 star. That's for all these cards, including this one with pretty much a bunch of unopened packs, that box, and then that box of loose cards. $35 for those KISS cards. $35 starting bid. Now, up at the top, we had uh, Queens Rock at 43, Rad at 75, Queens Rock at 45, Rad out, Larry Vault first on DR, which was Donald Fagan, I think. He put DR. Larry, I'm assuming you meant DF for Donald Fagan. If so, that's so Larry Vault. Still doing half off sticker. Paul Ogley was second. None required was third. Donald Roser, first on Bad Company. That's so to Donald Roser. David Tate, second. Jeff Carter, third. Holbrook, fourth. Alan Montgomery, fifth. Hayden Ernest, sixth. Manny Ray, seventh. Nick Bargeron, eighth. Davey Blair, ninth. And then we have Kiss, 35. Donald Roser, tenth on Bad Company. Uh, Rats at $80. This is a sealed copy. A sealed RCA club copy of Rat for $80. New bid, so that's still going. And Queens Rock is at 45 of Clay Moore. Everybody else is out. Final call, Clay Moore, $45. Let's keep going through half off. Pat Matheny's still available. Super clean copy, $12.50. Next is Leon Russell. Stop all that jazz. Leon Russell is $10. Stop all that jazz for Leon Russell. Todd Rundgren Runt. Todd Rundgren is $15. Todd Rundgren Runt. No condition notes on that, $15. The Who, great compilation here. And it's on the original DECA label. That's the original pressing of that. Super clean, meaty, beady, big, and bouncy. Great music on here. I can see for miles and miles. Happy Jack, I can't explain. My Generation, The Seeker, Pictures of Lily, Pinball Wizard, Boris the Spider, Magic Bus, Substitute. That's on the original label. Just 15 bucks for that. Clarence Carter, Dr. CC. 
Clarence Carter is ten dollars. Doctor CC for Clarence Carter, ten bucks on CC. Clarence Carter and Joe Walsh recorded live. EX condition nine dollars on Joe Walsh recorded live. EX condition nine dollars on Joe Walsh and Rick Wakeman. The myths and legends of King Arthur and Knights of the Round Table. Rick Wakeman is ten dollars. Gatefold textured cover ten dollars on Rick Wakeman. All right, so. Rat was at $80. Rat was at $82. The kiss cards over here in the corner, the kiss cards, Tony Wade was at $40. Tony Wade was at $40. Queensrock, $42. Queensrock, $46. Christopher Brusha, first on LR. That's going back here to Leon Russell. That's so to Christopher Brusha. George Shera, first on The Who. That's so to George Shera. Christopher Brusha, first on CC. Clarence Carter, Nick Barger on second, Kelly Bagwell third, Rats at $90 of Robert Phillippe, Blade Singletary first on Joe Walsh, George Shera second, Hallbrook Seam on Rick Waitman, the legendary keyboardist from Yes, that is sold to Hallbrook. We have an out on Rat, we have a new bid on Queens Rock. Queens Rock's at $47 with David Tate, that's now going once, going twice. Rat just got a new bid for $90, Jeffrey Dunlap's at $90, Jeffrey Dunlap's at $90. Dollars. Robert Phillippe bid 90 first, though. Robert Phillippe bid 90 first on Rat. That is sealed, unopened. And then Tony Wade, final call on the kiss cards. Tony Wade has those for $40. Continuing with some half off. Focus, here's another copy. We had VG earlier. Here's VG Plus. $7.50. $7.50. Original motion picture score to 110th Street. Songs written and performed by Bobby Womack. That is now... 15 and 4 $19. $19. EX condition, $19. I had the movie poster for that the other night. We did. Uh, Tracy Sawinger first on Focus. Uh, Paul Ugly second. Rido Martin on Bobby Womack. That's the soundtrack here. New bit on Queens Rock for 52. Jeffrey Dunlap. Let me know if you want more in for more than 90 on rap because the first person to bid was Robert Phillippe. He bid first at $90. Boz Skaggs, Middleman, VG Plus, $7.50. Boz Skaggs, Middleman, VG Plus, $7.50. The Who, It's Hard, VG Plus Condition, $7.50. The Who, It's Hard. Messages, Deep Purples in VG Condition, excuse me, now just $7.50. It's in VG Condition. It's a 2LP, Green Warner Brothers label, $7.50. Queens Rot, $52. Rad at $95. And Leon and Mary Russell make love to the music. No condition notes, $10 on that. Leon and Mary Russell, $10. All right. Tony Wade, you get this lot of kiss cards for $40. Tony Wade gets that lot of kiss cards for $40. Thank you, Tony Wade. Those are so to you. Selling the, what's left of this uh, kiss collection. I've got uh, two, uh, two items here to sell together. I'm going to say, uh, actually, we can auction them. We'll go ahead and keep a, uh, just to keep it entertaining. Found these in the back. They're Funko Pop soda figures. Funko Pop. Now, I know how it is with Kiss figures. I wish I can get more of these, but this is the Pop Soda, which they're a little like, they're still Funkos, but they're a little, little different. They come in this soda can. You open them up, and they're down in there. And we got Gene Simmons, and we got Paul Stanley, the demon and the star child. So there's the demon. There's the star child. Buying both of those together, buying both of them together, $15 start. Kiss, Funko, Pop Soda, Paul Stanley, and Gene Simmons. $15 start on that. $15 start on that. Rats at $95. Christopher Onzo, first on Deep Purple. Rats at $100. And the soda's at $15. Now, where did we get to on Queens Rock? Once again, $52. Clay Moore, you're out. Let me know if you want back in. Darren Wartman has it for $52. Rat is at $100 with Robert Phillippe. Jeffrey Dunlap, you're out. Next is Joni Mitchell. Wild Things Run Fast. Joni Mitchell is ten bucks. Joni Mitchell's ten bucks. Joni Mitchell ten dollars. And Elton John leather jackets. Gold stamp promo. Original under sleeve. Elton John is ten bucks. Ten bucks on Elton. Janie C. Riley country gold. Janie C. Riley five dollars for Janie C. Riley. Five dollars for Janie C. Riley. And Booker T. Set by Booker T. and the MGs. Nice condition. In sh wow. In shrink wrap. Beautiful vinyl. $12.50. The Kiss Funkos are at $20. Donald Roser on JM for Joni Mitchell. Christopher Brusha on Elton John. Clay's out on Queens Rock. None required second on Elton John. Surfo Caster first on Booker. That's so to Surfo Caster. And we have uh, 
Corey next on Booker T and the MGs. Hallbrook was second on Booker T, then Jim Sedal, then George Scher. We're done on Queens Rock then. This is officially sold to Darren Wartman for $52. Darren, that's sold to you. They're still bidding on rap. And wow, the Kiss Funkos just at 20 with Jeff Garland. Just at 20 with Jeff Garland. Those are Jeff, uh, Jeff Garland's uh, right now for $20. Going once, going twice. All righty, Queens Rock. How about another Queens Rock? How about another one? That one is sold. Uh, that album's out of print. Trust me, if I can order new Queens Rock, we stock them here. But some of these I can't get. I got to order some more tonight. I put in a, like I said, I put in a huge order of new vinyl, but I've already started making notes. I was like, dang, I didn't order more Queens Rock. I didn't order uh, B-52s. I had somebody asking for B-52s the other day. Uh, if you think of any artist you want me to order, just drop me some notes right now. Uh, I don't have any Rolling Stones hardly in stock. I'm sold out of like Voodoo Lounge and Bridges of Babylon. Um, I needed more uh, Stone Temple Pilots like Core and some of their other albums. Oh boy, just so much to order. I, I was on there today for hours. So there's, there's so much in stock, so much to get. More cramps. Yeah, I got to get more cramps. I didn't restock those. Rats at 120. Let's grab that other Queens Rock. This is, speaking of Operation Mind Crime, Operation Mind Crime 2. Operation Mind Crime 2. This is um, Queens Rock, Operation Mind Crime 2. Gatefold, 2LP, two $35 start. We'll go ahead and just jump it to there. Nice vinyl. A rich winter sleeve, 2LP, Operation Mind Crime 2. This includes a poster. It includes a poster, and it's a 2LP. $35 start on Queens Rock. There's the jacket. No condition notes with that. All right, let's go back up top. Rad 110, Rad 120. Did you order more cramps? Got to do that. Casey Musgraves, did you get me one? Casey Musgraves is sold out. Can't not get any more of her new album. Not on black vinyl, not on colored vinyl. They're, we're awaiting a restock of those. They're definitely going to press more. It's just a matter of when. Jeffrey's out on this. Final call on the sealed rat for $120. let us go through some more half-off records. We have Captain and Tennille, $5. Captain and Tennille is $5. The Cannonball Adderley Quintet, The Happy People, $10. The Cannonball Adderley Quintet, The Happy People, $10 on Cannonball Adderley. We have All Time Great Bloopers, Volume 1, now just $5. That's a two-record set, All Time Great Bloopers, $5. Mahalia Jackson's Greatest Hits, $5. And The Kinks, Give the People What They Want, VG Plus Condition, $6.50. Hey, look, Robert Lugwood Mastering. <laughs> the Kinks, VG Plus, $6.50. All right, James Bragg orders said some Savannah, orders some Cosmic Fall. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Uh, let me screenshot that. Uh, let's see here. Queens Rocks at 40. Uh, George Scherer put CA for Cannonball Adderley. That's so to George Scherer. What color vinyl are you getting? Um, I think the record store exclusive was like gold looking. I think it's like a gold looking color, but I can't really remember. We only got a few copies in. Um, is CT sealed? Captain and Tennille was not sealed. No, Captain and Tennille not sealed. Uh, Vicky Allison got the bloopers. Thank you, Vicky. Larry Vault first on Kinks, then Blade Singletary, Queens Rock 41, Romy Lou and Mahela Jackson, Paul Ogley third on that, Queens Rock 42. Sealed Rat sold 120 to Robert Phillippe. 120 for Robert Phillippe. Nice. I'm going to put it back in this resealable bag it was in and just reuse that because it is a very nice. I'm not a fan of resealable bags, but that's a nice one. And that sold to Robert Phillippe for 120. All right. Uh, Buck Cherry. Yeah. Buck Cherry, I usually order them. I ordered some more Blackberry. Let's see, there's Buck Cherry, there's Blackberry Smoke, and then there's, what's the other group? It's like in that realm. It all starts with Black Blackberry Smoke. No, not Blackberry Smoke, not Buck Cherry. Um, man, it's something very, all those get me really confused, but it's something right in there. I ordered some of their music on vinyl pressings yesterday. They should be here Tuesday or Wednesday. Queens Rocks at 44. Wow, there's, I'm, I'm grabbing, reaching for more, but there's not, there's any more in here. Um... Black Stone Cherry. Yes, Black Stone Cherry. I've got some more of those on the way. They've got several al albums in print on music on vinyl. Uh, okay, our next auction is uh, Raven, Stay Hard. Raven, Stay Hard. Very clean and original. No condition notes on the vinyl. Raven, Stay Hard. No condition notes on the vinyl. Original Atlantic Inner Sleeve. 
And this is not a club. This is an original retail copy. EX Plus or better vinyl, VG Plus jacket. Raven, how about uh, a $15 start? Raven is a $15 start. Stay hard. And then over here we have Queens Rock Operation Mind Crime 2 up for bid. And that just got a new bid for $45. Let's see, Sleep Token, Butthole Surfers, Doc Star. Yeah, let me screenshot all those. I'll order some of those. Uh, Butthole Surfers just had a huge reissue of their albums, and I ordered them all, and we didn't get any. I put my pre-order in too late, so hopefully they do a restock. Bullet for Valentine, yes, those. My Bloody Valentine. Uh, so many artists, so many artists that we sell constantly, and, and I usually look them up, and I'll go to iTunes, and I'll search somebody like Queensryche. And then I'll order Queens Rack, and then I'll go to the bottom and I'll look for similar artists and I'll click on the next similar artist. I'll order their albums and then I'll look up another artist and I'll go to their similar artist. And I just keep doing similar artists, similar artists, similar artists so I can remember where we're at. Now, there's something I forgot about over here because it's in the corner and I forgot about it. I need to do this one more time because I forgot where we was at. Jeff Garland had these two Funko Pops for $20. These two Kiss, Funkos, Soda Pops, Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley. Jeff Garland had that for $20. That was a final call, but I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. I kind of forgot about them. I've got the yapping, and I forgot about them. Queens Rock is at $45.46. Ravens at $15.20. And, and let's go through this half-off bin one more time. First time recapping it. This thing was full. This is all that's left right here. We have Ben E. King, Music Trance. Benny King, no condition notes, $10. The price, I'm telling you, is the discount price. Crown Heights Affair, Foxy Lady, $10 on Crown Heights Affair. Chuck Berry, Golden Decade, Chuck Berry's $15. I thought somebody bought that earlier. Debbie, did you claim this earlier? I think Debbie Blair claimed that earlier, and I didn't pull it. Let me set that off to the side. Uh, we have Bobby Womack, Save the Children. Bobby Womack is in Shrink Wrap, $10. We have Brass Construction, Conquest. Brass Construction is $7.50. Pat Matheny Group. Pat Matheny Group. This is $12.50. First circle for Pat Matheny Group. Todd Rundgren Runt is $15. Todd Rundgren Runt is $15. No conditionals on that. Raven. Tony Samuelson has this for $20. Alan Montgomery, you're out. Let me know if you want in for more than $20. Never mind. Alan Montgomery just bid $25. Let's do a final call on Queens Rock. Dave Kavanaugh has this for $46. And everybody else is outbid. David Tate, you're outbid. Everybody's out at six. Dave Kavanaugh, he has that for 46. Jeff Garland, you get the really good deal on the Funkos. These are sold to you for $20. I would have put those out in the store for probably $20 a piece. Those are sold to Jeff Garland for $20. I would have priced those and put them over here in our toy case for $19.99 each. You get both of them for $20. Uh, Debbie Blair gets Chuck Berry. That's sold to Debbie Blair. Can you put my name down for car wash next time? Stanley, we really don't do waiting lists for vintage pre-owned stuff. It's impossible for us to do that. We only do waiting lists for new vinyl. Sorry, but the, I've it's impossible. We can't do waiting lists for pre-owned. Otherwise, people would be wanting on waiting lists for every metal record, every Metallica record, every Slayer, uh, OG, Velvet Underground, anything crazy like that. So we just do waiting lists on new vinyl. Uh, Paul Ogley first on Todd Rundgren. Raven 25. Queens Rock out. Raven out. Do you still have the, Rones, the Stones Rock and Roll Circus? I actually don't. Yes, I do have that. It's right back here. Queens Rock is at 50. I also have Boz Skag still available for $7.50. And The Who is VG Plus 750. Leon and Mary Russell, 10 bucks. Janie C. Riley, Country Gold, $5.00. And Captain and Tennille was $5. So that means I'm about to sell Raven to Alan Montgomery for $25. Stay hard. Clean vinyl, $25. And we have Jamie Wills Erickson first on the Who. And then Queens Rock still getting new bids for $50, $51, and $60. I can check on new pressings of that. I can check on a new pressing if you want me to uh, on a car wash. That actually may be in print on new vinyl. Anybody else? I'm going to go grab a new crate. But let me go through this crate back here so I can show him the, the Stones Rock and Roll Circus. If anybody else wants anything in there, let me know. I'm going to put them over here with the other leftovers from this previous bin. I'm still going to do some half off, but let me very quickly go through some other uh, new new vinyl over here. Scott Jokemstaller wants PM. That was from the batch that I just uh, pulled out. And PM was for Pat Matheny. That's so to Scott Jokemstaller. Nice pick up there. EX Plus or better, and that was $12.50 after the half off. That is sold 
to Scott Jokenstaller and Joshua Day wants Captain to kneel. Okay, I'll pull that right now. We're still bidding on Queens Rock though. We got a $65 bid, now $67. I'm going to put that over there. I'm going to go ahead and sell Raven. And Raven is sold to Alan Montgomery for $25. Alan Montgomery for $25. Half off new. That will never happen. <laughs> that will never happen, no. Uh, we rarely discount new vinyl, and when we do, it's not half off. We usually uh, maybe like 20% off. So, no. Uh, if we do half off new, it's either an overstock or I have lost my mind. Um, if I'm doing half off new, I am taking, I'm taking some incredible hits on uh, cost. <laughs> I wish I could for y'all's sake, but for my sake, we would quickly go out of business. I would have to legit, legitimately, like, we'd go out of business. All right, there's that, there's that. All right, so uh, let's hit some highlights back here very quickly. Does anybody need any new, does anybody need any new uh, original MoFi Master Sleeves? Packs of 50, $26.99. I got two more on here I would love to sell to somebody. Packs of 50, Mo Finer Sleeves. Yeah, I did. Some of those, I've ordered stuff before I can't sell. Like I've ordered stuff before and I'm just cursed with it. Nobody wants it. Nobody wants to buy it. And I eventually, I've sold some stuff before. I've sold some LPs before where I'm losing like $30 on them. I've sold some new vinyl for $30 less than what I paid for it. Uh, but I just... I can't get rid of it, so we don't keep stuff long here. All this stuff here, this has been stuff in just the last month or two. Uh, it, it will hopefully all be gone by by May or June. Everything on this table will be gone, whether it's been sold naturally or we've marked it down. By May or June, they'll be gone for good. All right, this is Van Halen live, 4LP, $99.99. Live right here, right now, $99.99. That's the 4LP edition Live Van Halen, right here, right now. The Misfits, Earth AD. The Misfits is $33.99. The Misfits, and we've got Rob Zombie, Hellbelly Deluxe. Hellbelly Deluxe, that has Dracula on it. Rob Zombie is $34.99. Firestarter soundtrack, music by John Carpenter. Firestarter is on colored vinyl, yellow and bone splatter, $29.99. And there's Misfits Collection, Misfits Collection Volume 1. $33.99. Back up at the top, we had Queens Rock. Uh, well, first I got to pull Joshua Day's Captain and Tennille. I hadn't done that. Joshua Day wanted Captain and Tennille. That's back over here. This is officially half off, which makes it $5. This is sold uh, to Joshua Day for $5. Then Queens Rock got bids for $67, $68, $70, $75. And then has a bid for $80. And then out. And then Antonio Villa Nueva wants a pack of new MoFi sleeves. Those are $26.99. Those are sold to Antonio V. Next in here is next in here is Ice Cube Lethal Injection, $33.99. Ice Cube Lethal Injection is $33.99. And Kanye West Late Registration, $39.99. Kanye West Late Registration, $39.99. So here's the Queens Rock they're bidding on. Let me show it one more time. Here's the Queens Rock. It's Operation Mind Crime 2, 2 LP with poster. Antonio V has it for $80, and that's a final call. Let's go ahead and get another lot going. Here's one of my last bundles of some KISS stuff, which is right here. And this is more KISS cards and a KISS magnet. Uh, interesting story on the KISS. I got to tell you all about the toolbox sets because now it's an interesting story. It's actually all come full circle with those toolbox sets. So here's some KISS cards. These are actually in a binder. That's been sleeved. Some uh, random different KISS cards. These are got a copyright date on them from 1997. There's a KISS magnet. There is a Lick It Up tour sticker, and I think that thing is actually original. I think that is from 1984. KISS Lick It Up, and then here is some more KISS cards. And just because this is in a binder and it's a little bit bigger package, and it's going to cost extra to ship, $25 start. Lick It Up magnet and this binders, two binders of KISS cards. That's now what for bid, $25 start. That's KISS, $25 start. We have Smashing Pumpkin, Siamese Dream, $59.99. Smashing Pumpkin, Siamese Dream, that's $59.99. And here's the Rock and Roll Circus, whoever asked about it, $79.99. And this is, who asked about this? $79.99. And this was, 
I forgot who asked about it. But there it is, $79.99, Rock and Roll Circus Expanded Edition. That's the Stones, Taj Mahal, the Dirty Mac, which is Clapton and John Lennon. Uh, Jethro Tull's on here, $79.99. Rush. Now, the other night, we sold out a Rush. Then I just ordered 10 more of these. This is the Moving Pictures Half Speed Master and the very nice Gatefold Jacket. Very nice, thick jacket. Probably one of the better pressings of these that have been made. Half Speed Master, Moving Pictures, $39.99. That's Rush. Brian Arrigo wants rock and I have not shown that in a while. Brian Arrigo gets the Rock and Roll Circus. We have Lizzie Borden. Lizzie Borden is a Master of Disguise. That's on Sky Blue, uh, Sky Blue Marble Vinyl, $33.99. Scott Jokumstaller wants Rush, Moving Pictures, $39.99. The Kiss Lots at $35. And Sandy Mile wants SD if it's an O. Uh, if it's a OG, possibly Jamie Wills Erickson on Rush. Now that was my last copy. Like I said, I have more on the way. Like for sure, they'll be here by these will be here by Wednesday or Thursday. Like ten extra copies. So for sure, getting them. If anybody wants to go ahead and reserve one, Jamie got that one. I don't have any more left. And then here's another Lizzie Borden. This is Give Them the Axe. That's on white and blue marble vinyl. That Lizzie Borden's thirty three ninety nine. And Deal with the Devil, that Lizzie Borden is $33.99. Let me go ahead and sell this Queens Rock. It's been a while. I'm ready to get some new auctions up. This sold Antonio V for $80. Antonio, you get this Queens Rock for $80. And then the Kiss lot back there is at $36 with George Shera. You get the two binders of cards, a magnet, and the Lick It Up sticker. And this is sold to Antonio. Let's all put it away in this nice package here. That is sold. And next record is Typo Negative, $38.99. And Creator, Live at Dynamo Open Air, this is $28.99. Any Badlands, a Trigo Hop sticker in pristine? Uh, yes, actually. There's one in the metal collection from Houston. I didn't want to put it in the picture, but uh, there's a copy, there's a pristine copy of Badlands in there, yes. Doors, A Live She Cried, that's on green vinyl. Doors is $29.99, that's on green vinyl. Collective Soul Self-Titled. $33.99 for Collective Soul. Fleetwood Mac Mirage, that remastered studio album, $31.99. There's their greatest hits for $31.99. My last copy of Street Survivors, $33.99. And Stone Temple Pilots Core, that is a great grunge album. Wicked Garden, Dead and Bloated. Creep is on there. And Plush, of course, $33.99. And then this is a Pink Floyd Live and Official. I need to put this with the other Pink Floyd stuff. Montreux, 1970. That's a 3LP. 3LP Live Pink Floyd, $84.99, $84.99. Typo Negative, Typo Negative is 2LP, Ghostly Green Vinyl, limited to $1,500. That's called Dead Again, $38.99. George Sherry, you're out on KISS. Tony Wade has it for $37. Let's get a new auction going. We're also about to do some more half off. About to do some more half off, so bear with me. I'm seeing what else I have in here. And let's do a Metallica. Maybe this thing's on colored vinyl. It's probably on black. If it's on colored vinyl, it's really good. That's hardwired to self-destruct. My guess is black, and it is on black vinyl. So this is a Metallica hardwired to self-destruct 2LP gatefold. 2LP gatefold. And we have another insert in here as well. It's got two inserts. Nice, clean-looking copy, though. Metallica. Let's say a $20 start. Metallica is a $20 start. $20 start on that. So, Kiss is now at $39. Now, somebody asked earlier, Sandy Miles says SD if it's OG, and then Donald says Pink Flow if it's OG. Now, these are all new and sealed records. There's nothing in here original. These are all new and sealed from our distributor. Everything in here has been manufactured and pressed probably within the last year. They was actually pressed at a pressing plant. These are all new and sealed, new vinyl from our distributors. This concert is from 1970. It's a sealed bootleg. It's a new pressing. The concert's from 1970, Pink Floyd, 84.99. But everything in here is new and sealed, just FYI. So, yeah, everything in here is new and sealed. I wish these were all sealed OGs. This would be, if this was a sealed OG, that would be like $1,500. That would be amazing. But they, these are all new and sealed. We have Pink Floyd, Stone Temple Pilots, Leonard Skinner, Fleetwood Mac, Fleetwood Mac, Collective Soul, The Doors, Creator, Typo Negative, Lizzie Borden, Lizzie Borden, Lizzie Borden, Smashing Pumpkins, Kanye, Ice Cube, Misfits, Firestarter, Rob Zombie, Misfits, Van Halen. Now, 
What I tell some people is some of these is the only way you can get it on vinyl, and it is the OG. You know, like some of these pressings like this may be, yeah, like Collective Soul. This album came out in 1995. This is the first time it was ever pressed on vinyl. This is the OG, Collective Soul. So just for clarification, some people is like, I'll wait for the vintage copy, or I'll wait for an OG or a vintage copy. And I'm like, well, there is no OG. And some of these, like I said, if you want an OG of this, hundreds of dollars, you know, several hundreds of dollars. And if you want a sealed one, that's serious money. That is serious money. Same way with stuff like Ice Cube. That's very difficult to find. Um, this is the first time ever on vinyl. Um, these Lizzie Bordens are reissues. We don't get them very often, though. That's first time on vinyl. That's a reissue. You can get that. That's obviously a reissue. That's not too easy to get. They made millions of these, and that is a tough original. That is hundreds of dollars for a true one of those. Misfit, original Misfits albums are some of the most valuable records you can buy. Misfits originals of Misfits albums are also very, very expensive. Sean Reed gets Misfits Earth AD. So that's why we stock new vinyl, because sometimes originals are most out of most people's uh, budget buying range. All right, let's get some more half-off stuff. I think I'm going to go through this crate right here. I've got another half-off bin. Here we go. Let's see what we have right here in this half-off bin. Metallica has bids for 20 and 21. Are we done on KISS? I was waiting for Tony Wade to say out. Tony Wade, are you done on the KISS lot? George Shera has it for $39. Bruce Guthrie, you've been outbid on Metallica. Mick Masson has it for $21. Mick Masson has it for $21. Let me put this crate back on the table over here because I don't like this empty space. And everybody's eyes and ears open. We're about to do another half-off bin. Probably going to be doing these for a little while. And, boy, all this week, we're going to be putting out some great stuff. I'm, I'm definitely about to recap uh, the new stuff from the night. What did I come over here to do? I come over here to get a bottle of water. Uh, Going to recap the new, new stuff tonight. We had great, fantastic new, new vinyl rivals, and then I'll go through what's left of the vintage stuff and take offers on it. I'll go through what's left of the vintage stuff and take offers on it. Let me go grab another bottle of water. I've had two monsters and two bottles of water since I've been live. No bathroom breaks. No bathroom breaks. In the back of my mind, I'm actually calculating where I'm going to be going to get food because I don't have anything ready here tonight. All right. I have a buddy with a substantial punk collection. Includes OG Misfits and Sam Hain. Then he has a substantial amount of money. He has a substantial amount of money then. All right, KISS 21, 22, 24. KISS is at 40. KISS is at 42. Metallica 25, Metallica 25. No, no Waffle House. I can only handle Waffle House like once a week. No, that's, uh, that's rough on me. I got to start eating healthier. All right, next, half off, Ben. Let's see what's in here. The Doobie Brothers with Michael McDonald. One step closer. A rich one or sleeve, $7.50. $7.50. We have UK Danger Money. UK is $10. UK Danger Money, $10 on that. He refuses to sell. That's why that stuff is so difficult to get. A lot of people who do have the original Misfits albums and these original punk and original metal records, most people's like, I'm taking them to my grave. And then either their kids get them and they don't want to sell them, or they do end up for sale after somebody possibly passes away. So a lot of this stuff's in private collections. And it's not going anywhere because a lot of times kids or nephews or nieces inherit this stuff and then they don't want to sell it because they're a collector themselves. Their uncle or their dad got them into it. So this stuff just stays in families and it never goes anywhere. And more and more stuff goes into collections and it gets harder to get. Paul McCartney, give my regards to Broad Street, $12.50. Paul McCartney has the original on her sleeve. $12.50. Everything in here is half off sticker. There's Maca. We have Emerson Lake and Palmer Love Beach, $7.50. Emerson Lake and Palmer is $7.50. And we have Emerson Lake and Palmer Works. Only $10 on Works. Only $10 on Works. Emerson Lake and Palmer. Now, Metallica just got a new bid for $26 with Mick Masson. And where did we get to on Kiss? Tony Wade, you're outbid again on Kiss. George Shera has it for $42. George Sarah still has that lot for $42. There's another copy of Emerson Lake and Palmer. It's also 
Back-to-back copies. Larry Drish gets one. Does anybody else want one? There's another one. Metallica's at 26. Bruce Guthrie, you're out. Steve Hackett, highly strung. Steve Hackett is $10. Highly strung. $10 on that. $10 on that. And Weather Report, Mysterious Traveler. Weather Report is $10. With the hop sticker, $10 on that. We do $7 in limited shipping. $7 in limited shipping. That's as much as you want to buy. $7 on the shipping. That starts tonight, Monday. We do this tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, six nights a week, sometimes on Sundays, but not every Sunday, $7 in limited shipping. Some people order 75, 80 records. It costs us $120 to ship it to them. We only charge $7. That's how things go around here. So Larry Drish got the first name of Lake and Palmer. I'm assuming George Sherry got works. Now, there's a copy of Love Beach in there. If anybody wants those, if anybody wants that one, it's still available. Tony Wade's out on the Kiss stuff, so that means George Sher has it for $42. That's a final call. The Bearded Italian, you were next on Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. Then Paul Ogley, and then Donald Roser on Weather Report. That's so to Donald Roser. We're doing a half-off bin. Everything in here is first come, first serve. The great Buddy Holly. Buddy Holly's on $10. That's on the Vocalion label. $10 on Buddy Holly and the Doobie Brothers living on the fault line. $8.50, a rich winter sleeve, the Doobie Brothers. It has a promo sticker, beautiful, a promo, a promo sticker, a promo sticker, $8.50 on that. And the Jaggers, we went to different schools together. The Jaggers is now $10. All right, Kiss is officially sold. This Kiss lot is officially sold to George Sher for $42. Bruce, I was waiting for your word on Metallica. Mick Masson has it for $26. Ball's in your court. You can buy it, or you can bid, or you can say out. Mick Masson has it for $26. That lot of KISS stuff is sold. So we've sold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different lots of KISS items tonight. Those are all gone. Let's go through some more records. Jackie Reynolds will take the Emerson, Lake, and Palmer Love Beach. That's sold to Jackie Reynolds. And we have Art Garfunkel, $5. Hop sticker, promo sticker. Original on her sleeve, five dollars and poster. Wow, five, I don't think this came with it though. I think this goes in a Simon and Garfunkel album. That might go with this, but I think that goes with a Simon and Garfunkel album. Five dollars on that, and we have Bob Dylan, "Slow Train Coming." Dylan is now just twelve dollars and fifty cents. Original on her sleeve, twelve fifty on Dylan and Robert Palmer. Double fun. Robert Palmer is in EX condition, nine bucks for Robert Palmer. EX condition, nine dollars on that. And the birds, Notorious Birds Brothers, VG Plus, three, VG Plus, thirteen fifty. Original sixty eight Pittman. What happened to the Motorhead album? It's right here. Let me figure out if it's an OG or a reissue. I've got to check this. I think it's a sealed reissue, but either way, we're gonna put it up for auction. The SKU is four oh five zero five three eight four six four one eight four. And this is called Snakebite Love. And this is a 2019 reissue of Motorhead, Snakebite Love. It is sealed, and it's going up for a $15 start. This is Motorhead, Snakebite Love, a sealed 2019 reissue. $15 start on that. $15 start on that. Back to the bin. So, Metallica did get a bid for $30. And then Donald Roser was first to Art Garfunkel. That's so to Donald Roser. Romulu second. Leslie Holt third. Bearded Italian first on Dylan. That's so to the Bearded Italian. Thomas Hujar on RP. Robert Palmer. So to Thomas Hujar. Mix out of Metallica. And we have the Moody Blues on the threshold of a dream. VG plus $5. VG plus $5. This has the inner sleeve and the book with it. This has the original company inner sleeve and the book. Moody Blues on the Threshold of a Dream. Paul says that's his favorite Birds album. Now, how is somebody going to leave this in the bin? It's a 68 Pittman pressing, too. Only $13.50. Moody Blues is complete with a booklet. 1969. OG looking for sure. Just $5 on that. Now, uh, Metallica. We had a final call on this for $30 with Bruce Guthrie. $30 for Bruce Guthrie. Now, Paul P. Saul K., you put 33, but I have no idea what that was for. And then Motorhead has a bid for 15 and now 20. Bearded Italian, first to Moody Blues, then Paul Ogley, and then Curtis Marachi. Bearded Italian picks up the birds. That's so to Bearded Italian. Next is, thank God, it's Friday. This is now $12.50. $12.50 on thank God, 
It's Friday. That was $24.99. $12.50 on that. 2LP soundtrack. Another Dylan. This is New Morning. Original inner sleeve. Company inner sleeve, that is. $12.50 on Dylan. New Morning. VG Plus. And another Moody Blues for those who just missed out on the other one. This one's $7.50. Also, no condition notes. It is a gatefold as well. $7.50 on that. We still got 255 people watching at a quarter after 11. Incredible. Incredible. Quarter after 11. We have Metallica. Uh, this is officially sold to uh, Bruce Guthrie for $30. This is officially sold for $30. And that is sold for $30. Okay, and then Motorhead is at $20 with Danny Thomason. And then next is Jackie Reynolds on Thank God It's Friday. I've got to make a note to make sure that goes in for $12.50. So the, the price on this is $12.50. Make sure that goes in. And that's Jackie Reynolds. Thank God it's Friday. Paul Ogle gets Moody Blues. Chad, can you check on Emerson Lake and Palmer Works? We had two copies of Emerson Lake and Palmer Works when the Ben first started, right? Emerson Lake and Palmer Works. Larry Drish, you got one of them. And then George Scherer got the other one. That's who got the works. We had two copies of it back to back. No condition notes. Motorhead 21, Motorhead. How about them Vols? Did I miss something? I've been out of the loop. What's happened? Did they play again today? I'm going to lose. Sorry. Between these collections that's come in, uh, I haven't got to watch much, Mar much March Madness. I was here Sunday trying to watch. I think I watched Purdue and uh, somebody, and then I've just... Uh, I haven't been able to, I haven't been able to, wow, Merciful Fate. Do we still got our metalheads watching? How about some Merciful Fate? What in the world? Let me check this out. Also, I got to go plug up my phone, and uh, I've got to uh, plug up my laptop. I'm going to have to take a quick uh, 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 technical timeout. I, I need a TV timeout here in a second. I think this thing may be unofficial. Let me take a look at it here. I'm trying to figure out exactly what we have because I know if this is original, it's not too easy to get. It's red. Let me look it up by red. I think this is an unofficial. It is. It's a red marble 2013. Still pretty cool, though. This is Merciful Fate. That's going to be our next auction. All right, so Merciful Fate. This is obviously blocked on Discogs because it's an unofficial. They made 5,000. Classic and ultra hard to find. Semi-official. Semi-official Merciful Fate fan club recordings. Original release for a short period in the mid-80s. Has the same catalog number. So this is fan club recordings of Merciful Fate. It's on red vinyl. And this is, on, this is a, uh, this is a uh, $25 start. $25 start. This is Merciful Fate from the depths of hell. Yeah, I watched them beat, or I watched them kind of most of the highlights. I didn't get to watch it live when they beat Texas. So play Friday, Sweet 16. Great. That's fantastic. I don't get to get much Vols basketball until this time of year, but business has been so busy, have not got to get to a lot of that. All right. Motorhead, 21, 24, 25. My first Moody Blues clan does show anyone ahead of me on Chad's feed. Paul Ugly, you got Moody Blues. You got the Moody Blues. You got the second one. You got the second Moody Blues. And then before that, I showed another Moody Blues, which that first one I showed, the Bearded Italian got. The first Moody Blues threshold, Bearded Italian got it, then Paul, and then Curtis. Then I showed another Moody Blues, and Paul, you got the second one. Okay. So we got Motorhead and we got Marshall Fate. We got MH and MF. Back to the half off bin. Rare Earth, get ready, $9. Rare Earth, get ready, $9. No condition notes on that. That whole that whole B side is like a twenty yeah twenty one minute twenty one minute and thirty second jam of Get Ready by Rare Earth pretty epic that's now nine dollars no condition notes on that uh, Dio Dato we had this in New Arrivals tonight ten dollars no condition notes on this Dio Dato Prelude the two thousand one Space Oddity the uh, Ric Flair song the Elvis Presley song Herbie Mann Stone Flute now fifteen dollars. Herbie Mann is $15, Stone Flute. Buddy Miles, we've got to live together. Buddy Miles is $12.50. Buddy Miles is $12.50. We've got to live together. Buddy Miles is $12.50 for Buddy Miles. And the Beach Boys love you. The Beach Boys is in shrink wrap and original inner sleeve. The Beach Boys is $10. 
the Gamecock intro. We don't talk about that one, David. We don't talk about that one. It's just Elvis, Space Odyssey, and Ric Flair. has nothing to do with the University of South Carolina. We have Motorhead, <laughs> for obvious reasons, if you're a Vols fan uh, from a couple years ago. Danny Thomason had this for $25. Danny Thomason had this for $25. Danny Thomason had this for $25. He's been the final bid for a while. I'm about to sell it to him. Then we put up a red vinyl, Merciful Fate, and this got bids for 25, 35, 30, 30, and then 40, also with Danny Thomason. Larry Drish first on Rare Earth, Get Ready. That's so to Larry Drish, None Required second. Donald Roser first on Buddy Miles. That's so to Donald Roser, Thomas Hujar second. The Beard Italian first on Beach Boys, Derek Zarro was second. And Paul says the Herbie Man has an incredible lineup, including Sonny Sherrick. That is Stone Flute. That's probably why the band's a little bit more vinyl, a little bit more than his other albums. Roy Ayers is also on here. Ron Carter, $15. This is that's the half-off price. Very clean. Has a uni-pack die-cut sleeve. Herbie Mann, Stone Flute, $15 on that. Also, Chicago Hot Streets, $5 on Chicago Hot Streets. is $5, no condition notes. Christopher Bursher got Herbie Mann. Now, Christopher Onzo just bid $40, but we was already at $40. Danny has this for $40, and nobody else bid him on Motorhead. I'm going to go ahead and sell it. Danny gets the Motorhead. Nobody else bid against him again. There was three other bidders. Nobody ever set out. Danny, you get that for $25. And you still got Merciful Fate at $40. No one's outbid you on that. You got it for $40. But we're still there's still time to bid on that. But I am going to go ahead and sell you the sealed Motorhead reissue for $25. All right, Chicago is just $5, FYI, $5 on that. Dennis Coffey and the Detroit Guitar Band. Dennis Coffey is in shrink wrap on the Sussex label, $15. Merciful Fate has a new bid for $45 of Christopher Onzo. American Flyer, Spirit of a Woman. American Flyer is $7.50 for American Flyer. John Kroof's Midnight Snack, $7.50. Featuring Brian Ritchie, Victor Lorenzo, and Gordon Gano of Violent Films. $7.50 on that. Also, this is Loggins and Messina Finale. Loggins and Messina is a 2LP, $7.50. Bruce Guthrie, first on Chicago. Merciful Fate's at $50. And let's see what else I can put up for auction. Let me go over here to this other crate. Let me go over here to this other crate and see what I can dig out. I got a... I have an OG... I think it's an OG Metallica uh, Master of Puppets without a jacket. It's just a disc. So um, how about a white snake? Let's do a white snake here. Uh, Nick, here's what's on the agenda for tonight. This is a half-off bin. I'm going to finish going through it. Then we're going to recap it. And then I'm going to go through the new vinyl that came in for tonight. And then there's just a little bit of vintage left over. We're going to go through that buy it now best offer. We're probably maybe going to hit one more bin. Uh, maybe buy it now best offer, half-off something. I told you all my agenda tonight was do some half-off stuff, clear out some of these bins. And we've definitely done that. We've been through three half-off bins and pretty much sold all of everything that was in there. We have enough where we could do 50 more, but tonight has kind of flew by. We've had some very busy auctions, some very, very high-quality auctions tonight. That usually takes some additional time. White Snake is called Love Ain't No Stranger. Love Ain't No Stranger. It's definitely a 12-inch single import. Let's figure out exactly when and where. This is White Snake, Love Ain't No Stranger, and it just needs cleaning. It appears that it's in about EX condition. It is a 1984, and that is a UK single. White Snake, Love Ain't No Stranger. Like I said, I'm going to make a last-minute decision on movie posters. I have so much to do here. If Paul's still watching, he can vouch. Uh, this store, one, is a disaster where we've uh, moved around so much stuff to store all these records. We have so much to price. I have so much to research and so many auctions to get ready. So in order for us to have a great show tomorrow again, we might have to have a shorter show tonight than normal. And I think we're going to hit posters again, both movie posters and concert poster auctions tomorrow. Uh, Tanner's at home resting. He's going to come in late tonight and join me and probably take pictures of more posters. Tomorrow we're going back to concert posters, lots of new arrivals and lots of new new vinyl available as well. Mercil Fates at 50. That is the agenda. Debbie Blair gets Loggins and Messina, Larry Drish third, Bearded Italian fourth or third. Lighthouse, can you feel it? Lighthouse is $5. Can you feel it? 
Lighthouse is $5. We have Mammy. Mammy is $10. This is called As In Mammy Van Doren. As In Mammy Van Doren, $10 on that. Did I tell an opening bid on White Snake? Did I say $15, $10? Did I say? I didn't. I didn't. Y'all read my mind. A $10 start. White Snake, $10 start. Merciful Fate is about to be sold to Danny Thomason for $50. Chris and Rita, Natural Act, $12.50 on that. Chris and, Chris and Rita, Natural, natural Act, $12.50. Sean Phillips, Sean Phillips is $7.50. Original on her sleeve, Sean Phillips is $7.50. Also, we have the Gentries. The Gentries is on the Sun label, $7.50 on the Gentries. And I have Jean-Luc Ponty, Imaginary Voyage. Jean-Luc Ponty. $5 on Mr. Jean-Luc, $5 on that. White Snake has bids for 10, 20, and now 25. And last record before I end Merciful Fate is another Loggins of Messina. So fine. That L&M is just $5. Let's sell Merciful Fate to Danny Thomason for $50. Danny, that's so to you. Nice Merciful Fate red vinyl, limited to 500, unofficial. That's so to you for $50. Next is the White Snake, which now has a high bid with Jeff Carter. For $25, great song there, Love Ain't No Stranger. Larry Drish on KN. KN was for Chris. No, he put LM. Loggins of Messina was KN Acclaim. Was that for Chris, maybe? I'm definitely going to give you Loggins of Messina. White Snake's at 29 We also have Arlo Guthrie, Hobo's Lullaby. Arlo Guthrie is at $10 now after the discount price. Arlo Guthrie's $10. Hal Holbrook's Mark Twain's Tonight. Hal Holbrook's Mark Twain's Tonight. $5 on that, and Teenage Guitars Go Civil War. This is actually now $30. Gloria Kennedy, Gloria Kennedy and her three electric guitars, the half-off price is $30. John Dorsey gets Arlo Guthrie. David Tate's out on White Snake. Jeff Carter has that for $29. Final call, $29 on that. Very quickly, let's run through those again. Let's see what else I have over here to auction. And uh, earlier, we put up a Loudness album, which got a lot of activity. Here's another one. This is Loudness, Thunder in the East, one of their more popular albums. Loudness is now going up for bid. We have the original inner sleeve for it. The vinyl is super clean and super nice. Loudness, let's put this up for a $15 start. Original inner sleeve, Thunder in the East, Loudness, original U.S. pressing, $15 for that. Final call on White Snake, $29. Here's what's left. The Doobie Brothers, $7.50. If I don't say anything about condition, it's a very clean, very nice copy. UK, Danger Monday. Danger Money, UK is $10. Paul McCartney is $12.50. Give my regards to Broad Street. Steve Hackett is $10. That's called Holly Strung. The Great Buddy Holly's $10. The Doobie Brothers, Living on the Fault Line, $8.50 on that. The Jaggers, we went to different schools together, $10. Bob Dylan is VG plus $12.50. Dio Dato still available. $10 on that. Bearded Italian, you're, you're first of the doobies. Let me know if you want Fault Line or One Step Closer. you got dibs on either one. And then we have Dennis Coffee in Shrink Wrap. That is now $15 for Dennis Coffee. Also, we have American Flyer, Spirit of a Woman, $7.50. Paul McCartney is an OG. Yes, sell this to Pam, to Sandy Mile. Paul McCartney is sold to Sandy. Stan, Stanley Bedwell on Buddy Holly. That is sold to Stanley Bedwell, Buddy Holly. John Meeks on DC. Dennis Coffey, so to John Meeks. Nice pickup there. That was a very nice copy. And we have John Kroof's Midnight Snack, $7.50 on that. Let's go ahead and sell the White Snake to Jeff Carter for $29. Jeff, that's sold to you for $29. Loudness has a new bid with Luke Rosenberger for $21. I'm going to move that right over here. And then the Beard Italian is going to let us know which of the two Doobie Brothers he wants. Just let me know on that. Lighthouse is still available for $5. Can you feel it? Mammy is $10. Loudness is at $21.22. The Chris Christopherson picture disc, Chris and Rita Coolidge, is now $12.50. Sean Phillips was $7.50. The first one, that was uh, One Step Closer. That's so to the Beard Italian. Thank you. The Gentries, that is $7.50 with Jimmy Hart, the professional wrestler. The Gentries, that's on Sun, $7.50. Also, we have Jean-Luc Ponty. That's now $5.00. Imaginary Voyage. Hall Holbrook is $5.00, and Teenage Guitars is now $30.00. They're still bidding on loudness. That's between Luke and Danny. Danny still has it for $22.00. All right, Luke's back in at $23.00. Not done with that yet. Let's see what else I have over here. And, man, there was only like five new vintage arrivals left over for tonight. There's not going to be much to recap there, but we did get some incredible restocks 
of, uh, let me see what was in here. Yep, yeah, is this these here, these here, and let's see. But we did get some great new, new vinyl in. I think we went through three different crates. Yeah, we went through three different crates, and I think all that's left is right here in this. Let me get them all into two. Go through them a little bit better, a little bit faster. There's an empty crate. There's an empty crate. Now, what was right there? That's the first crate I went through, which was a warm-up. This is a random thing here. Let me put that there. That's the ones I just went through. There's the metal stuff. And, oh, I got all these Taiwan records. I'll have to show those to you. I'm not ready to sell them yet because I want to take some pictures of them because they're really cool. But we have a collection of Taiwan records. Uh, there are some of them on colored vinyl. They're very, very cool. All right, loudness is at 28. So here is all the new vinyl that's left from the night. We had three full crates, and I think this is all that's left. So let's go through these one more time. This is new, new vinyl from the night, sticker price. First is Creed, Human Clay. Uh, we actually sold three. I had two left over from another crate. So uh, here's the two pretty much from tonight, but we already sold three. Human Clay, $39.99, 20th Anniversary Craft. Uh, Nick Cave and the Bad Seas, The Boatman's Call, that's $39.99. By the way, Loudness is at $28 with Luke Rosenberger. Uh, Danny Zell, so that's a final call. We sold several copies of Purgatory, Tyler Childers. This has Feathered Indians on it, Lady May, Universal Sound. That's one of his original studio albums, $26.99. Casey Musgrave's Golden Hour is $36.99. Whitesnake, kind of surprised it's still available. The 30th anniversary edition of the 1987 album, it's remastered and expanded on two LPs, and it is a UK import, $59.99. We also have Echo and the Bunny Men, Songs to Learn and Sing, $33.99 on that. Bearded Italian wants the White Snake album, that's sold to Bearded Italian. We have uh, Antonio Villanueva on Creed Human Clay. Casey Musgraves, what color? Uh, Casey Musgraves, it should be, they still press these on clear vinyl. I think they've always pressed these on clear vinyl, and they've never not pressed them on clear vinyl. $36.99. Derek Zarzaro on Echo and the Bunny Men. We probably have like 20 waiting lists for tonight. So whenever all these restock, everything we sold out of, whenever they come back in, you'll have to catch them a second time because we had some great stuff we sold out of. We had two other Casey Musgraves albums that we already sold out of. Blackberry Smoke, be right here. Blackberry Smoke is $33.99. And that is on black vinyl. Is that the fifth anniversary? I don't think so. They don't really advertise it as a fifth anniversary. It's just the most recent in stock. Smashing Pumpkins, pure acoustic. $38.99 for Smashing Pumpkins. That's an unplugged. And by the way, we had a new bid on loudness. Uh, Alan Montgomery bid $30. So Danny Thomason, you got outbid on this. $30 on that. James Bragg put NC. NC was for Nick Cave. That sold to James Bragg. Uh, and then, by the way, Derek Cesaro gets Smashing Pumpkins. The Blackberry Smoke, I cannot get any more black vinyl, or I haven't got any in a while, so I've went ahead, or any more colored vinyl, I've went ahead and ordered black vinyl, and I'm going to make a post, because not everybody got one that pre-ordered it. I was very limited on colored vinyl, and they've had a huge demand lately. So that is $33.99 um, on Blackberry Smoke. We have one... Um, we have uh, Nine Inch Nails, Pretty Hate Machine, $29.99. Primus Pork Soda is $39.99. Creed, My Own Prison is $33.99. Creed, My Own Prison, $33.99. Craft, The Smash Hit, Multi Platinum, and that is $33.99. And we have an out with loudness. Luke Rosenberger has it for $31.00. And we have Derek Zarzaro wants a Nine Inch Nails, and Brian Arrigo wants Primus Pork Soda. Now, Brian, well, now wait a minute. Derek and, Prim uh, Derek and Brian, you may have been on a waiting list on both of those. Hold on a second. Primus, let me look that up. Der Brian, I don't want to tag you for one twice, and then a week from now, we have to take it off your waiting list. But no, you was already on there, and Nine Inch Nails, uh, Fred Carnell. Never mind. Y'all don't have these. My bad. So Derek Zarzaro on Nine Inch Nails. That's sold to Derek Zarzaro. Did I already put that over here? I did. That's sold to Derek. Brian Arrigo gets Primus. James Bragg gets Blackberry Smoke. Loudness is now at $32. So Luke and Allen are bidding on that now. Luke and Allen are bidding on that now. You need some real records. I didn't know these were not real records. Loudness is at $32 with Alan Montgomery. Now $33. So that's all that's left. Let me read those one more time. Creed, My Own Prison, Blackberry Smoke. Casey Musgraves, Golden Hour, Tyler Children's Purgatory, and Creed, Human Clay. I had no idea these were not real records. Wow. Somebody said I need real records. 
These aren't real. This, these are fantasy records. Let's go through the new vintage stuff from tonight. The new vintage stuff from tonight, and I'm going to do buy it now, best offer. This is all that's left from two crates. Yes, we had a knockout of some new arrivals tonight. Loudness is at 35. Susie gets a Blackberry Smoke. There's now one copy of Blackberry Smoke left. One copy of Blackberry Smoke left. That one is sold. That is sold. All right, Loudness is at 35. Luke's at 33. So these are now buy it now. Best offer. These are now buy it now. Best offer. Rick Wakeman, Journey to the Center of the Earth. This is EX Condition, $17.99. Rick Wakeman, Journey to the Center of the Earth. This is EX Condition, $17.99. So these are now buy it now. Best offer. Van Morrison, TB Sheets. VG Condition, $14.99. VG Condition, $14.99. Van Morrison, TB Sheets. Joni Mitchell Blue is still available. VG Condition, $34.99. Joni Mitchell Blue. VG Condition, $34.99. And Marshall Tucker Band. Marshall Tucker Band, VG Plus Condition, Where We All Belong, 2LP, $17.99 for Marshall Tucker Band. Also, Ducks Deluxe, Don't Mind Rocking Tonight, Ducks Deluxe is in VG Condition, $9.99. These are buy it now, best offer. The Beach Boys in Concert, also VG Condition, $12.99, 2LP on that. Derek Zarzaro said he'd give $15 for MTB. Marshall Tucker Band sold to Derek for $15. Next is Climax Blues Band, Sense of Direction, VG Plus. That is $14.99. Also, tell him, America's number one hit, The Exciters, VG $9.99. We have Beach Boys for $10. That is Surfo Caster. Sell that to Surfo Caster for $10. We have Out on Loudness. Let's go ahead and sell this to Alan Montgomery for $35. Let's go ahead and sell this to Alan Montgomery for $35. Been a great batch of auctions tonight, taking out more and more dense of the stuff. That's sold to Alan Montgomery. We have, do you have any Pink Floyd? All the Pink Floyd we have is new and sealed, Finn Olsen. We just have new and sealed. But yes, we got lots. We got one right there. It's an unofficial bootleg concert. We have Bob Dylan Hard Rain. That's VG Plus 1999. Christopher Brusha, you get Van Morrison for 10 bucks. That's sold to Christopher Brusha. We have Ed Bruce, Tell Him I've Gone Crazy, $14.99. Now, this, this is the only three records left in non-check condition. That was the check condition stuff. We have Ed Bruce for $14.99, the Sweet Substitutes for $9.99, and then the 12-inch single from the Fabulous Thunderbirds, $19.99, Rock This Place, $9.99. Paul Ogley first on Bob Dylan for $12, and this is, I'll do $15 on this. We had it marked for $19.99. I'll do $15 on that, Paul Ogley. Somebody did kind of color in the B there and Bob, just FYI. All right. Uh, now, anything original Pink Floyd, we sell immediately. We're either going to auction it or if it's in a bin, it's going to be sold immediately. So he said, okay, sell him Bob Dylan for 15 Wow, we've almost sold all the new stuff John Mark for today. Anybody else? That's Fabulous Thunderbird, Sweet Substitute, Ed Bruce, the Exciters, Climax Blues Band, Ducks Deluxe. Now, Derek shared a note on Ducks Deluxe. He said, awesome. Can't go wrong, it's New Wave Pub Rock. If anybody's interested in any New Wave, Ducks Deluxe, that was VG999. I can't believe we have an original Joni Mitchell Blue still sitting in here without even an offer. VG Condition, $34.99. He says, if you like Nick Lowe and Elvis Costello, you're going to like Ducks Deluxe. So if anybody wants to try that out, VG999. All right, I'm just going to move these over here. And Derek says he'd give seven and try it out. Derek, I'll sell that to you for seven to try it out. Best on Joni Mitchell. I will sell that for an even $30. I'll sell it for an even $30. Wow, well, we have, that is amazing. I don't know if we've ever, of course, it was just two crates, but that's pretty amazing. That's all that's left on that. And we've emptied another crate. So let me step over here. I got some stuff over here uh, that I found by this jukebox. We sold a jukebox uh, in the store. We had a one we restored and fixed up. And uh, when we were moving it around, I actually found a couple crates of records over here. And I was like, what the heck? Where did all these come from? And there's some pretty good titles in here. And I'm about to bring them over here and do them half off late night. And I hope everybody's ready. And I should have went through these a little bit earlier, but maybe we can wipe most of them out. If I do a half off crate, I'm doing it to really move some merchandise. So... That's why I'm here doing this. Christopher Brusha said he'd give six for the Fabulous Thunderbird single. Sold. Sold. I'll sell you a 12-inch single. That is sold to Christopher Brusha for $6.
And Paul, let's make a deal on Joni Mitchell. I want that to go to you. So just tell me what you're thinking, and I will sell it to you. And I have filled up another bin. Let me go ahead and set this off to the side. And uh, get a new one started. So we know this is officially half off. Casey Musgraves. I'll tell you the first time I ever heard Casey Musgraves, I was on my way to Washington, D.C., and I woke up, and the golden hour was playing on the radio in the car. And I woke up, and I, I was in like a daydream because I, I had been dreaming. And I honestly thought it was some kind of angel singing. And I, and I kind of stopped, and I was waking up, and I realized it was a song. And I was like, who is this? And I was informed it's Casey Musgraves singing Golden Hour. It wasn't, it wasn't the song Golden Hour. It was, uh, uh, what song is it on here? Slow Burn. Oh, it was Slow Burn, yeah. I heard that, and I was hooked. And I was like, Wow. Her voice, yeah, that's, let's go listen to that. That's what I heard. I heard that for the first time, and I thought, I was waking up, I thought, am I dreaming? What is this I'm hearing? I would never, didn't know anything about her till right then. Paul Ogley, sold. Joni Mitchell, $28. Joni Mitchell sold you for $28. Nice, glad to see that going into a new collection. All right, let's do a half off, Ben. It is pretty late. I don't know how much stuff I want to auction. It's very late to be putting up, uh, uh, metal LPs. So uh, uh, let's see here. Let me put these back here. Let me put these back here. We've emptied a crate of that. Uh, and let's put this right here. And here we go. All right. Uh, let's see here. 28. Casey, I'll get a go if you have one. Derek, this is available to you. It's you know, I'm not a fan of any kind of pop, modern country. This is getting borderline. You know, I'm more of like Tyler Childers, Sturgill Simpson if I'm going to listen to country. This is borderline into the pop stuff, but uh, her voice is uh, just so incredible, I think. So, uh, it, you know, like I said, if I'm listening to the country, it's going to be something like that or something like Cash or something classic. So, for me to listen to that, that tells you something. Um, and also I have filled up, I wish y'all could see it over here, but I have an entire rack. I pulled out about 70 copies. I still got jar of flies in stock and I'm going to do a post in the morning. All the invoices went out today. So everybody's been invoiced that well, last week was the pre-order. This week was everybody who bought one live. So if you do not have a jar of flies, if you do not have a jar of flies, then they're available for $28.99. $28.99. That's jar of flies, $28.99. $28.99. Hard to put in category. Yeah, it's not country, but it's not like modern pop or hip hop. It's just like, it's not country. It's not like the, mo it's not like Luke Bryan either. I don't know. It's, uh, it is hard to put. It's definitely billed as country. It's under the umbrella of country, but, uh, these are definitely black vinyl. These are $28.99. They're new and sealed, $28.99. Uh, and so if you've got an invoice and you don't have one on there, then we've no one, then you need to claim one. Just FYI. Do you have Iron Maiden's Brave New World available? Let me go check on that before we start running through this. And I'll go do that right now. Iron Maiden Brave New World. I went through all the Iron Maidens on Saturday night and I really don't remember. Brave New World. I got in vivo. Brave New World. Yep. $54.99. It's an import only. That's why it's a little bit more pricier, but it's a 2LP, $54.99. Brave New World, $54.99. The colored vinyl Allison Chains were only sold at their website. <clears throat> it's only sold on their website, and it's they're sold out. The colored vinyl, if you didn't get one through their website, they're done. Uh, indie stores like myself, we only got black vinyl. All right, Luke says he'll take this. All right. There we go. That's sold at sticker price. Half off vintage bin. Let's see what's in here. Did I, I feel like I'm forgetting one more thing. Uh, maybe not. Okay, let's do this half off bin. We have the Bee Gees Trafalgar. This is $10. The Bee Gees Trafalgar. No condition notes. Original Atco label. OG pressing. $10. Bucks. 
10 bucks, $10 on that. BG's, Harry Nilsson, son of Schmilson. Harry Nilsson is $12.50. We're off to a great start. An original 1972 pressing with booklet. 1972 pressing with booklet, $12.50. And we have John Lennon, Double Fantasy. John Lennon is $10. John Lennon is $10, Double Fantasy. Uh, I actually have, Danny, we never show that stuff because it's over here. I actually have some of that in stock. Let me bring it over here. Uh, I got Zach Bryan and that kind of stuff right over here. Uh, we have a special crate for it because we sell so much local. We're obviously just east of Nashville, so uh, lots of uh, this stuff's already popular, but we sell even more of it. Let me set that right there. See, I've got a, I've got a stick, I've got a tag on it. It says Country Americana Popular Artist. I got a whole crate full of it. All right, so we have BG sold. These are officially half off sticker. BG sold. Derek Zarzaro. Nielsen sold. Derek Zarzaro. George Scherer, sold. John Lennon, Edwin Riviera, your second. This is going to be a great crate. Hope everybody's watching. I have the Chesterfield Kings tripping out. That's from Dale's Pittsburgh collection. Sealed, now $18.50. The Chesterfield Kings tripping out. Sealed, $18.50. 1997, Spain. 1850 on Chesterfield Kings. Bob Dylan saved. $17.50. Original on her sleeve. No condition notes. $17.50. Bob Dylan saved. $17.50 on that. And Double Cross, first choice, special 12-inch mix. That is now $5. $5. No condition notes on that. Uh, another one, Body to Boggy Boogie. That is now $10 after the discount. And we have TTED Hip Hop Rappers featuring MM and C-Rock X-Ray. That is now $5. Some hip hop rap singles there. The Guess Who, So Long Banatine. The Guess Who is $19. The Guess Who, Song Long Banatine, that is $19. And Spirit, The 12 Dreams of Dr. Sardonicus, yellow epic label, nine bucks. Nine bucks. The price I'm telling you is the discounted price. The best of Buffalo Springfield, wow, $17.50. That's a newer reissue label. It is a club copy, that's why. Club copy of that, $17.50. That has stopped people, what's that sound on it? And Botman Turner Overdrive, Botman Turner Overdrive, this is BTO2, $7.50 for Botman Turner Overdrive 2. Taking care of business, $7.50 on BTO. And George Scherer first on Spirit. Enjoyed my first sale. Good night from Texas. Sean Reed, thanks for joining us. We do this every night. Hope to see you on every night. We do this every night. And every night, you'll see something different. We rarely go through the same records. Every once in a while, we'll hit our new vinyl, maybe a second time in one night. But every night, all new stuff. So every night will be a different experience. We have the Bearded Italian first on BTO. And we have John Meek second. What does it mean when it's a club copy? That means it was a record sold through the Columbia Record Club or the Columbia Record Club. You had to have been around back in the day for that. That was, if you were alive during that period, you know what it is. If you're not from that period, it was a club where you could have paid money and, the, and they, you could have ordered records through mail. That's what was going on. So uh, they were manufactured just for sale for the club. The Grassroots, Powers of the Night. The Grassroots is $6.50. Grassroots is $6.50. I have Cliff Richard, I'm No Hero. Cliff Richard is $7.50 for Cliff Richard. I'm No Hero. And, excuse the nightly nudity, Michael Franks, Objects of Desire. Michael Franks, Objects of Desire, $5. Mike Torrey's first on Grassroots. Going through a half-off bin here. We have mixed by another 12-inch single, Empty the Milky Way. That one is $20. That one was $39.99. That must be pretty desirable. That's now $20 after the discount. Men at Work Cargo, $12.50. Extremely nice copy. Men at Work is $12.50. And Van Morrison Wavelength, this is $18.50 after the discount. Original under sleeve, hop sticker, and gold stamp promo. And gold stamp promo on that. I'm going to take a quick time out and show you some of these records we were just talking about. The first one here is a very popular record by Zach Bryan. This is called Deanne. Zach Bryan is one of the more popular. You could put Zach Bryan in that category with Childers and Sturgill, more of the more popular uh, non pop country music. That's Zach Bryan Deanne, $29.99. Zach Bryan Deanne, $29.99. I think if you like Tyler, 
If you've got my recommendation from Tyler Childers over the years, you'll like Zach Bryan. That is $29.99. That's a new and sealed copy. I've got a bunch of those, uh, Deanne's, $29.99. All right, back up to the top, we had Derek Zazaro first at Minute Work. That sold to Derek Zazaro. These are still half off. He also gets Van Morrison. George Sherry was second, and he also wants a Zach Bryan, Derek Zazaro. So these are new and sealed. If anybody else wants one, these are sticker price, by the way. Uh, Rebecca or Jake or Tanner, whoever rewatches the sale. I'm always talking to people in the future because either Rebecca, Tanner, or Jake is going to rewatch the sale so we don't accidentally. Uh, Derek would love to have that half off. That's $29.99. I have Pete Townsend, Chinese Eyes, $7.50 for Pete Townsend, Chinese Eyes. That's $7.50. Also, the Young Rascals, Groovin'. I like this music. $12.50. That's on the original two tone label, Groovin' by the Young Rascals, $12.50. A girl like you's on there. How can I be sure? Grooving down a crowded avenue. You better run. That's twelve fifty. Surfo Caster wants to Pete Townsend. Pete Townsend was the lead guitarist in a group called The Who. Uh, the Standales. Why pick on me? Sometimes good guys don't wear white. That's an original mono pressing from Tower Records. It's now just seven dollars and fifty cents. It is in VG condition. Uh, Slum Village. Kanye West and John Legend. Kanye West and and. Uh, uh, Slum Village. That's VG plus ten dollars on that. Also, we have Martin Luther King Jr. A Message to the World. It's midnight. This is a spoken word MLK Jr. record. Ten dollars on that. Let's see what else I have in this crate. I have one copy. It looks like of Ryan Bingham American Love Song. Ryan Bingham is thirty one ninety nine. Ryan Bingham American Love Song. That's new and sealed for thirty one ninety nine. Christopher Brusher wants Tower. That was the Tower Records here. Uh, that's the label. And that's so there's lots of collectible stuff. That's the first label Pink Floyd was on here in the United States. That's so to Christopher Brusha. Alan Montgomery, first to MLK. Danny Thomason was second. And a spoken word, there he is. Tonight's nightly appearance of JFK. Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask how many records you can buy in a week. That is JFK, $10. Also, Edward R. Morrow, I can hear it now. This is a chronicle of World War II. This is $7.50. It has authentic sounds and voices. That's a spoken word record as well. So there's JFK. There's another World War II record. And there's another JFK. This is actually sealed. It's never been opened. $12.50. It's called the presidential years. It's another spoken word record. So there's back-to-back -back JFK records. And the next one is Reno and Smiley, the 1983 collector's edition. Reno and Smiley is sealed. Bluegrass, volume 5. 750. Alan Montgomery, let me know what JFK record you want, or you can have both of them. Next is, oh yeah, here's another very popular artist, Whiskey Myers Mud. I've only got one copy, new and sealed. Whiskey Myers is $28.99. $28.99, that's Whiskey Myers Mud. I've also got that in stock. Um, and then Alan Montgomery is, uh, he's going to let us know on JFK, but the Bearded Italian first to Reno and Smiley. Uh, that's so do uh, Bearded Italian. Next is Debbie Blair. She wants Whiskey Myers. Let me see if I got any more copies. If not, we'll have to take a waiting list because if I just have one, I used to have about 10 of these. That's how many I've sold here in the store without really realizing it. Yep. So let's order more of these. Let's put Debbie Blair down for this one. That's sticker price, $28.99. And then Derek and Susie, if y'all are okay with waiting list, let's do a waiting list for Whiskey Myers Mud. Alan said he will take both JFKs. He did find out. He found out what the CIA would do to him. That is sold to Alan Montgomery and Alan Montgomery. There's Ryan Bingham. And we have 16 great country performances, Elton Britt. Elton Britt is $5. 16 great country performances, $5 for that. Derek says yes on the wait list for Whiskey Myers. I think Susie will do the same. We'll find out for sure, though. There's Elton Britt. There's that again, and Godly and Cream. Godly and Cream is just $10. Godly and Cream, that's called Ale. That is Godly and Cream, $10 for that. And Was Not Was, Born to Laugh at Tornadoes. Was Not Was, $10 on that. Next, and this is still in stock on the indie exclusive colored vinyl. This is Coulter Wall. Coulter, Coulter, blah. This is Coulter Wall, Little Songs. Indie record store exclusive on blue vinyl. Coulter Wall is $31.99. That's called Little Songs, and that is the indie store exclusive blue vinyl. Coulter Wall, that's $31.99. Paul Ogley on GNC, Godly and Cream. That is sold to Paul Ogley. Buffalo Springfield pressing gear and price. 
This is a 1980s pressing. This is a non-barcode, but it's an 80s club pressing or late 70s club pressing. That's a late 70s or early 80s Atco label. $17.50 is the half-off album. Half off, and that's $17.50. Vinyl's near mint minus. Barkley James Harvest, Eyes of the Universe. Barkley James Harvest is $10. Bucks. No condition notes on that. Barkley James Harvest. And Cat Stevens, Very Young and Early Songs. Cat Stevens, I like this comp. It's his early stuff. $10 on that. $10 on that. The sound, the tracks on Coulter Wall. The tracks on Coulter Wall was Prairie Evening, Sage Butch Wall, Standing Here, Cole Rawling the Blues, Corralling the Bruce, Corralling, Corralling the Blues, The Coyote and the Cowboy, Honky Tonk, Night Hawk, For a Long While, Cow, Calf, Blue Yodel, Little Songs, Evangelina, and The Last Loving Words. I think that's one of his more recent releases. The Bearded Italian wants Cat Stevens. That's so to the Bearded Italian. Original Rock Classics by Vanilla Fudge. In Shrink Wrap, this is a French reissue, a French reissue, $10 on that. Very nice, though, in shrink and superb vinyl. Robert Palmer. This is in shrink wrap. Another top copy in shrink wrap. A rich winter sleeve. $10 on Robert Palmer. And we have Glenn Fry from the Eagles. This is one of his solo albums called Soul Searching. That is $10. Glenn Fry is $10. George Scherer wants VF. That's Vanilla Fudge. That's so to George Scherer. Doing a half-off bin if you're just hopping on. Doing one of the last bins tonight, of tonight. We're doing some half-off records. Um... If you're curious about the new stuff that's come in for this week, as uh, far as the collections, we're really going to start putting a lot of that stuff out tomorrow. Big metal nights all week. There could be metal shown at any time this week, especially on Thursdays. Just FYI. Here's another record out of the Country Americana band, and that is Cole Wetzel. Cole Wetzel, and that's called Sellout. I've only got one of those, I think. Cole Wetzel's $28.99. Co Wetzel's $28.99. Next is the Hollies, a crazy steal. We're doing some half off stuff here. The Hollies, a crazy steal. That's in shrink wrap for $10. And David Wright and the original Home Band. I was about to say, I don't think this record was all that cheap. It's not. The half off price is $20. The half off price is $20. This was originally $39.99. And that is David Wright, the original Home Band. $20 on that. Robert Phillippe on CW. CW was for Co Wetzel. And this is Sticker Price, Co Wetzel Sticker Price, by the way. Thank you, Robert. Fairfield, out on the open west. Frank Fairfield is VG plus $15. Frank Fairfield, out on the open west. The half off price is $15. That was $29.99. Little Richard, the real thing. Little Richard's a UK, a UK pressing on reprise or reprise, whichever you prefer. $15 on that. $15 on that. Little Richard. Here's Jose Jimenez. Jose Jimenez, the first man in space, the astronaut. EX edition, $6.50. $6.50. George Sherry wants Little Richard. I bet this next one's going to sell. This is Sturgill Simpson, A Sailor's Guide to Earth, $29.99. Sturgill Simpson is $29.99. I've got one. I've got two. I've got, how many of these do I have? I've got two of them. I've got two Sturgill Simpson, A Sailor's Guide to Earth, $29.99. I've got two Sturgills there. Next is uh, The Birds, The Notorious Birds Brothers. We sold a copy earlier. This is on the original label, and this is $7.50. The Notorious Birds, that's a Columbia 2i, $7.50. Derek Zarzaro wants a Sturgill Simpson. That is sticker price. I don't think I have met a modern. It may be in one of these bins, actually, a new stuff, but I think in this bin I don't have one. Um, hmm, what do we have here? This is Layla Layla. Uh, I want the door to open. It's clear. A vinyl with splatter. The half-off price is now $10. Layla Layla, $10 on that. Jamie, uh, now, Jamie, I'm going to attempt to say your last name, and then I'm going to call you Jamie K, okay? Your last name is pronounced Craw Enbull. Craw Enbull. Crawhenbull. Crawhenbull. How about Jamie K? Jamie, you get the birds now. I'm pretty sure you're a first-time buyer, so if you are, thank you and welcome, and confirm that with me, and then I'll give you some instructions. Stephen Steele steals. Stephen Steele's is seven dollars and fifty cents. Stephen Steele's, and we have Gallagher and Lyle break away. Gallagher and Lyle is EX condition five dollars. EX condition five dollars. Gallagher and Lyle. In the summer of his years, a tribute to JFK. Now, this is not actually spoken word. This is actually music. This is actually music. It's a tribute to JFK. 
$7.50. Jamie, uh, Jamie has bought before. Okay, well, welcome back. Maybe I've always called you Jamie K. I've never tried to, I don't remember ever trying to say your last name. Maybe I've just said Jamie K every time. But this has music by uh, Sarah Vaughn, June Bug. That is uh, $7.50. Next is The President Strikes Back. I think this is a comedy type, one of those 60s political type things. $6.50, that's The President Strikes Back. Actual speeches from FDR and JFK. Actual speeches from FDR and JFK, $7.50. And we have Great Moments from the World of Sports, narrated by Jim McKay. Great Moments from the World of Sports, narrated by Jim McKay. Jim McKay, VG Plus, $5. Lee Michaels, Recital. Lee Michaels is VG Plus, $5. And the Steels Young Band, this has a great song on it, Long May You Run, Stephen Steels and Neil Young, VG Plus Condition. $7.50. Alan Montgomery wants the JFK and FDR. That's sold Alan Montgomery. Let's pull something out of this crate. I got another Ryan Bingham. This one's Ryan Bingham live, recorded in Texas. Ryan Bingham is $28.99. Ryan Bingham live. That's $28.99, live in Texas. I got two of those. We have Paul Ogley on LM. That's for Lee Michaels. And we have Jamie K getting the Stephen Steels. Thank you. This is his second time buying with us. Welcome back. Also, The President's Thriller, uh, this one right here, The President Strikes Back, this one right here, Alan, that is so to you as well. Next is Rodney Crowell, but what will the neighbors think? Rodney Crowell is in VG condition, $7.50 on Rodney Crowell, seven fifty on Rodney Crowell. And we have Marvin Rainwater, Marvin Rainwater, this is now $5 for Marvin Rainwater. Marvin Rainwater, boy, that's tough to say. Jackie to Shannon, $5 on Jackie to Shannon. And we have Razor Light up all night. Razor Light is sealed. It's never been open. It's a 2019 pressing. Razor Light is now $15. Let's show something else. This is uh, a fairly recent release, too. This is Ryan Bingham, Watch Out for the Wolf. And that's on Bonfire Orange Indie Exclusive Vinyl. And that is $29.99. Ryan Bingham, Watch Out for the Wolf. That is new and sealed. Also, Orange Vinyl. $29.99. Stephen Broadskies, Expose Your Overdubs. That's a 2000 pressing on clear vinyl. $17.50 on that. Stephen Broadskies, Expose Your Overdubs. The Prisoners, Revenge of the Prisoners, now $20. A 1984 pressing. The Prisoners, Revenge of the Prisoners, it is $20. It's a 1984 pressing. 1984 pressing. Uh, this is Andrew Jackson Jihad. It's on tricolor vinyl. The half-off price is $25. AJJ, the Bible 2, the Upward Spiral, that is $25, AJJ. The Best of Delaney and Bonnie is now just $10. They've got some great music. Eric Clapton plays on this. That's on the original Atco label, $10 on that. The Best of Delaney and Bonnie and War, the music band 2. War is a gold stamp promo, original on her sleeve, just $15 on that, $15. Derek Zazaro wants Ryan Bingham. I'm assuming that's the most recent one we showed here, Derek. That was Watch Out for the Wolf, new and sealed. That is sold to him for sticker price. George Sherry gets Delaney and Bonnie, that's half off. And Debbie Blair was uh, first on War, that's half off. Barrett Italian, you were second on Delaney and Bonnie. Westbound number nine, Flaming Ember. Half off price on that is 10 bucks. We also have the Dehumanizers, End of Time. Interesting. Now just $9, VG Plus condition, the Dehumanizers. That looks like it should be worth more just based on the cover, more than $9. And that is uh, available. And Mickey Gilly. Mickey Gilly is $7.50. Uh, all the Ron Bingham you've shown, okay? Uh, well, there's one. I know you just got that one. You want Ron Bingham live, right? There's Ryan Bingham Live. You didn't get that one earlier. Uh, there's Coulter Wall. I'm putting that back. There's one Sturgill Simpson, and only had one of these, which is American Love Song. So I'll give you that one. That was so you. And that's all the Ryan Binghams, right? Yep, that's, I think you got one of each. Jeff Carter first on the Dehumanizers. That's so you at half off. Christopher second, Danny third, Christopher Brush a fourth. We have Linda Ronstadt with Nelson Riddle and his orchestra for sentimental reasons. $5 on Linda Ronstadt. Traffic is now just $10. Low Spark of High Hill Boys, $10 on that. And Quarter Flash is $10. Quarter Flash is 
$10. Now, the last couple things I have left in here is Ryan Bingham Mescalito. So uh, I've got two of those, $46.99, $46.99, and I've got another Coulter Wall. That's on black vinyl. That was Coulter Wall on black vinyl. So nobody bought blue. I doubt they want black. And then there's the other and last record in this crate, Ryan Bingham Mescalito. And Derek, I'm assuming you want one of those as well. Uh, Leslie Holt on LR, that's Linda Ronstadt. Uh, John uh, Meeks gets traffic, that's so to John Meeks. Beard Italian got Quarter Flash, and then this is probably one of his most popular albums. These are sold to Derek Zarzaro and Brent Robley. So Ryan Bingham sold, and Ryan Bingham sold. Of course, new vinyl, sticker price. Those are sold and sold. Still doing some half-off stuff here. How about another John Lennon, Double Fantasy? This is in VG condition, $6.50. It has the rich on her sleeve, $6.50 for Double Fantasy. Billy Idol, wow. There's some a corner damage. The corner got really dinged. It's, it's like really smushed and creased. Um, the half-off price now makes it uh, $12. $12 on that. John Lennon sold to Edwin Riviera. We have Jamie Erickson on Billy Idol. And we have Os Rotten. This is not actually a vinyl. This is not actually a LP. This is $40 after the discount. It's a 1988 hardcore with Zion, and it has a C, it's just a CD. It's $40. It has this Zion or Zine, uh, like newspaper type book with it, and then the CD. No, no vinyl, actually, with that. It was $79.99. Still pretty desirable for what we found out on Discogs. Ian Deary and the Blockheads. Ian Deary's only $10. And we have Sounds of Nashville Baseball. Sounds of Nashville Baseball. That is sealed. It's never been opened. It's now $12.50. I'm going to mute my uh, mic right quick and take a drink of water. I forgot what I was doing. Okay, not a claim. Zine, magazine, a zine, like magazine. Thank you, Leslie. Zine, that makes sense. Never had anybody explain to me that way. See, that's the kind of stuff I need. Thank you, Leslie. Is white punks on dope and the endury? What, they, they've got some, they've got some stuff uh, bleeped out in here, but I don't say that's not on here. White punks on dope is not on here is the Young Rascal Stereo. I'm pretty sure it is. Let's take a look at it, though. I'm going to read just everything that's left in here. If anybody wants to make an offer, let me know. These have been around for a while. But yes, this is a stereo copy. This is, this is a stereo copy, the Young Rascals. Uh, stereo copy, yes. Uh, Tanner, you distracted me, yes. Uh, I'm going to read what's left in here, and if anybody wants a price, let me know. If you remember the price, even half off, and you want to make an offer, let's get some more of these sold. I can tell it's getting later. Uh, we'll see what's going on after this crate. Like I said, we got so much to do. Uh, not going to do a late-night poster show or anything tonight if you already missed that announcement. I've officially made my mind up for that. We're going to try to start working on this new stuff that came in so we can have a killer, killer show tomorrow. Right, Tanner? Plus, I'm extremely hungry. Tanner's going to be photographing posters, back to concert posters, back to movie posters tomorrow. Boy, and it's still raining here really hard. All right, so uh, Tanner, yeah, Tanner walked in with food, and that reminds me how hungry I am, but also uh, how much stuff I have left to do here in this uh, store before we can even get a show going tomorrow. So, uh, and how much we got to clean up before we open, if we are open tomorrow. We might not be open tomorrow. I got to call my mom after this show ends. So here's what's left in here. If you need a price, let me know. Or if you want to make an offer, let's get some of these sold. We have the Chesterfield Kings tripping out. That is sealed. That's from Dale's Pittsburgh collection. The Chesterfield Kings tripping out. Bob Dylan saved. Don't hesitate to make offers. I'm going to pull out all these 12-inch singles and maybe make a bundle deal with somebody. I'm going to pull all those out. There's the Guess Who, So Long, Bannatyne. Cliff Richard. We have Michael Franks, Objects of Desire. There's another 12-inch single. There's another 12-inch single. I'll make a bundle deal with somebody on those. Elton Britt, Was, Not Was. 
Edwin R. Morrow, I can hear it now. The best of Buffalo Springfield, the half-off price was $17.50, like I said. If anybody wants to make an offer on something, let me know. Barkley James Harvest, Robert Palmer Riptide, Glenn Fry Soul Searching, Don't Hesitate, the Hollies A Crazy Steel, David Wright Original Home Band, Frank Fairfield Out on the Open West, Jose Jimenez, Layla Layla, Stephen Steeles, Gallagher and Lyle, In the Summer of His Years, JFK, Great Moments in the World of Sports, Jim McKay. Christopher Brusha said he'd give 12 for the Chesterfield Kings. That's so to Christopher Brusha for $12. Thank you. Marvin Rainwater, Jackie DeShannon, Razor Light Up All Night. We have uh, GF Price, Glenn Fry. The half off price was $10. The half off price was $10 on that. Glenn Fry Soul Searching. $10 on Glenn Fry Soul Searching. So that is the half off price. Next is Chris Russia, David R. $10. David R. 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 What was David R.? Also, was there another question there? Jose Price, uh, Glenn Fry, guess who? DR. What was David R? David R? I don't see a David R. Or am I crazy? I possibly could be crazy. Christopher Russia. Uh, David, right. This, this one right here. Okay, uh, let's see here. Let me move. Hold on a second. Before all that, Tracy Sorgan said pricing conditions on Rascals. Tracy, the half-off price is twelve fifty on the Rascals. Twelve fifty on that Tracy on the Rascals. And then we sold the Chesterfield Kings. I said the Glen Fry price. This is sold to Christopher Brusha for ten dollars. Bert Jordan, the Jose Jimenez price. The Jose Jimenez price was $6.50. Springfield and Dillon for $20. I'm going to say, let me think about that. And then Bones, I don't have any of that, Danny. Edwin Riviera on Glenn Fry. So I think that's a claim from who just asked about that? Edwin Riviera. Glenn Fry, Jose sold. Who asked first? Bearded Italian. I think Edwin Riviera wants it for the $10 price, Bearded Italian. So if you want this for $10, let me know. If not, I think Edwin Riviera wants it. Let me set that off to the side. Tracy Sorger takes the Rascals, and that was for the half-off price for $12.50. Burt Jordan wants Jose Jimenez for the half-off price for... Uh, six dollars and fifty cents. And what is the up all night record? He says, "Go ahead and sell it, Edwin Riviera. You get this for half off." Luke Mitchell. These two records would be thirty dollars if you want them. I'll say both of those for thirty dollars, Luke Mitchell. Okay. And then we had guess who? Solon Banatine, Cliff Richard. I'm no hero. Uh, Michael Franks. We had the Elton Brett. Was not was. Edwin Morrow. Robert Palmer. Barkley. James Harvest. The Hollies, Out on the Open West, Layla, Layla, Stephen Stills, Gallagher and Lyle, in the summer of his years, great moments of sports, Rodney Crowell, Marvin Ringwater, Jackie DeShannon, Razor Light, Up All Night. This is by Razor Light, Up All Night, Leslie. The half-off price is $15. It is sealed, a 2019 reissue. Stephen Brodsky's Exposure Overdubs, The Prisoners, AJJ, Andrew Jackson, Jihad, Westbound Number 9, Mickey Gilly. This is the... Os Rotten, and then Baseball from Nashville, and then Ian Deere and the Blockheads. By the way, if anybody wants these 12-inch hit, kind of rap, hip-hop singles, I'm thinking five, 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 and five. And I'm pretty sure I just said five, five times, $25. One of those in there was originally marked $39.99. So if you don't want to buy it, I'll put it on Discogs after the sale, probably for $39.99. So... Just no pressure, but just FYI, 25 for those. If anybody wants those 12-inch singles bundle. Anybody else on anything in there, just let me know. Now is the time. 
Oh boy, I'm excited about all the stuff we have in the back. I can't wait to post these videos of these metal records and just to see everybody's comments and reactions, and especially some of this other rare stuff from this New Orleans collection, the 45s we've already found, the albums we've already found, just incredible batch of stuff. It's going to be very exciting to show this. I love it when we have great stuff to show because y'all aren't here to see the same old stuff. You're here to see rare, unusual, hard to get premium records. That's what I try to bring here every night. And of course, we do have stuff like this that's going to get discounted, that's left behind, that almost nobody wants. But I tried during the prime time to have the best of the best, and we have to travel literally the entire country. Uh, we're talking to somebody right now in Montana that has a massive collection. So we're constantly looking for these incredible hordes of amazing albums to travel and, and buy. So uh, getting 20,000 albums in at once, that's a big deal. That's, we're really having to work. Uh, we want to, we ha really having to work in the back the last 48 hours to get all this stuff that's packed in there. Plus, we got toys, we got Star Wars toys, hundreds of new Funkos, Funkos from a collection. Not like new Funkos, like from our distributors, but we bought like horror toys and Star Wars toys, and there's new posters back there. Uh, Brent says he'd give eight for Barkley James Harvest. That's so to Brent Ribley for eight dollars. Anybody else? Anybody else, before I sign off, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. Uh, what pressing is the July Psych LP? Um, is that, that's not something in this bin, is it? No, I have no idea. Is that something you saw a picture of? I have no idea. Jamie says he'll give eight for Michael Franz. Do you carry the record clean kids? Uh, Stanley, I'll order some of those. I'll order some of those tonight, and they'll be in this week. But yes, we do. I just don't have any in stock. This sold to Jamie K for eighty dollars. I'm going to go ahead and stop the show there. Uh, very early, a quarter after midnight. Very, very early. Best thing on YouTube. Thank you for the entertainment. Well, that's a strong compliment. We're getting a lot of new uh, subscribers on YouTube. Um, but Luke, if that's something you saw a picture of, then uh, I have no idea. Uh, Joan Osborne. I will check on that. But yeah, I've got to order new stuff. Uh, we have already more wait list. I didn't get through tonight. And uh, y'all just got it. Okay, yeah, I have, I have no idea. I know the right pressing of that. Re I'm, sh I'm, I'm assuming it's a reissue, because that record in the right condition is very. It's like hundreds and hundreds of dollars. I think July. I know Paul has talked about it before. I think that the certain pressings of those can go. We got sock records back there that are hundreds of dollars, like hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Very rare stuff extremely desirable, rare records. That's what I like. Remember when midnight was late? Yeah, now midnight's early, and I feel weird in the sale, but I better stop because I'm wasting precious minutes of pricing new stuff, uh, eating time, pricing stuff, cleaning stuff. I got to get some amazing auctions ready again for tonight. And, uh-oh, you know what? I had some more. I had some more new vinyl here I didn't go through. I thought I was missing something. Here's uh, some new vinyl I didn't go through. Psychedelic Furs, New York, $39.99. Psychedelic Furs, New York, $39.99. That's an unofficial. White Snake slotted in the 35th anniversary. 35th anniversary on red vinyl. White Snake, $39.99. Total from Joy Division to New Order. Total from Joy Division to New Order, that's $46.99. The Offspring Americana, $36.99. Blackberry Smoke, Find a Light. Blackberry Smoke was $36.99. Blackberry Smoke, The Southern Ground Session, $28.99. Led Zeppelin was, was uh, $33.99. That's on clear vinyl. And Eagles, Hotel California. I didn't actually get to go back through these a second time. I knew I was forgetting something. Uh, $33.99 for Hotel California. I was like, there's some new vinyl missing because I, I condensed two crates. I knew there was more. So there's Hotel California. That's a new remastered copy. For $33.99. Also have um, uh, Led Zeppelin for $33.99. That's on clear vinyl. Susie wants Southern uh, Ground Sessions, Blackberry Smoke. Dan Davis wants Offspring Americana. That's so to Dan Davis, Offspring Americana. And then Blackberry Smoke, Find a Lot. It's uh, $36.99. Leslie says she'll take one of the first. Now, was that the one that Susie just got or was that Find a Lot? 
Uh, Derek Zarzaro wants the greatest hits. That's Joy Division New Order. That's so to Derek Zarzaro. And then White Snake slotted in is $39.99. And then Psychedelic Furs is a live unofficial. Uh, we sold two of these and I have one left. It is a parachute recording and that is uh, $39.99. So that's Psychedelic Furs New York, 1982. White Snake's on red vinyl uh, slotted in. That's the 45 RPM, 45 RPM red vinyl special cut. Leslie Holt wants a Blackberry Smoke Find a Lot. I will keep you in mind on cleaning kits too. Sherry Darnell, I'll have to put you on a waiting list for, Sherry, I'll have to put you on a waiting list for the total, but I will give you the psychedelic furs. I had a feeling we'd wipe some more of this out. That's so to Sherry Darnell. Thank you, Sean. I do get sleep, just in, it's in weird times of the day. Like today, I slept from like uh, noon to like, or actually from like 1 to 5.30. So, <laughs> weird time to be sleeping. It's hard to sleep during the day. Like I got blackout curtains, but whew, it's just just so, uh, it's hard. I, I like going to bed. Every, if I can go home when it's still dark and like get to sleep during darkness, it's amazing because I'm usually having to sleep when it's daylight. And it's terrible. Eagles, there's, boy, how many albums did they sell of these? That's like 50 million copies sold between the two of those. And then White Snake and Blackberry Smoke. That's only four records left in there. That is, uh, we had some great new vinyl. That's all that's left. That and then the few LPs back here in the back, which was Creed, $33.99. The new Blackberry Smoke album, that's the black vinyl, $33.99. I got a restock of Tyler Childers Purgatory and then Creed, Human Clay. That's it. That is absolutely it with new vinyl. We sold pretty much three full boxes. So uh, appreciate everybody for doing that. Got something on my lip or tongue. All right, I'm definitely in, in the feed now. Thank you. That was the last minute uh, spur of uh, sales. Sorry I'm in, in so early, even though it is midnight. Get some rest and be back for the regular. This is the only time this week we're going to be doing this. Rest of the week, expect 2 a.m. shows for sure. Rest of the week, we're going to be on here late, okay? Definitely, definitely late, so... Uh, sorry it's early, but uh, I feel bad ending at midnight. That tells you we, st we still got 176 people watching on both platforms. So sorry to disappoint everybody. We'll be back tomorrow. See you then.